next time, Claire, we go on live TV, please could you wash your hands? Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they're a bit, aren't they? But if you watched, if you watched earlier, then you'll know why. We'll know why. Yes, of course, you'll know we'll why. Watch earlier. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. clip. Right, uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, you don't want me touching. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. um, sorry if I seem a bit robotic. Put my back out, <laughs> and I don't know how, other than I think I was just picking up toys. It's tidy enough. It's not good for you. Oh, it's not good for you, is it? No. Next time, that two-year-old can do it for herself. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she can do it for herself. She's old enough now. She's old enough. Well, she comes back from work. She oh. can tidy up her toys. I should think so. Yeah. That's enough of that. She's like, "Mummy, this morning she was up before I left. Mummy, cuddle." I, like, I can't. I can't get down oh. there. So literally, we had to lift her up. Oh. I know. I know, getting old, eh? Oh, we'll have to look after you today then. Oh, I'm all right. I'm all right. I've got, I've borrowed Ruth's chair, so it's all oh, good. Okay. I'm all right. Okay. Right then, and there was absolutely no way on earth I was missing this Friday no. show. No, no, because, no. Because, oh my goodness, as we come to the end of the 13th birthday celebrations, no. you might be thinking, ah, it's gone so fast, mm, hasn't it? Yeah, it totally agree. You might be thinking, oh, right, okay, so they've done the best bits. It's winding down. Winding down, definitely not. Because no. I have to tell you, this weekend is completely jam-packed. Where do we start with today, honestly? I'll, I'll tell you what, makes sense, start at the early bird. Because truly, this strand is absolutely mind-blowing. Now, the other day, when I was physically able-bodied. Um, <laughs> the other day, we had, slightly smaller in their size, the beauty that is Zircon, the amazing Zircon. And we spoke about how Zircon is, is doubly refractive, uh, yada, yada, and it absolutely flew out the door. Today, we have another one of your favourite colourless stones. And I, I, I think I'm right in saying... We've never had a that topaz, have we? We've had a that zircon. This pinnacle. Would we all agree? It do, it can't get any better than what is on your screens right now. It cannot get any better than that. And lovely jewelry maker viewers, we have a mega auction quantity. So we are talking about. 500 available and let me just for one second because I know our star buy, sh buy sheets right here I was looking at this last night um, you won't believe the price point on this Claire because if that were diamonds you'd be talking decolourless eternally flawless wouldn't you and it would be probably thousands of pounds because we are bringing it to you from our very own cutting house as well um, so you know that you are going to get exceptional exceptional quality um, it is going to the most affordable price tag you can shop ahead on this right now and secure your place we have got just over 500 of these and like I said it's going to be about 20 to 9 that we're going to be bringing this to air there it is an item one on the website so all the W's at jewelrymaker.com I would encourage shopping ahead even though there is 500 of them people won't just buy the one I can say that for certain um, and as we're on this screen um, it's an ideal opportunity for me to mention that it is um, of course lounge hour so what that basically means is you can shop ahead. Lots of these items are secured at their price tag. Some of them will be going significantly lower. Um, yes, some will be plentiful in their quantity. Some will, will be a little bit more minimal. Um, so yeah, shop ahead if there's anything that takes your fancy. For example, what are those? Uh, hang on, Ross, stop. Stop. Hmm. Go back. What's that in item number 18? Fancy shaped freshwater cultured pearls, $24.99. Are we serious? Are we serious? Oh, there's only six available. Oh. Well, they're not going to hang around, are they? Oh. I know. How dreamy are they? Number 18, but we can carry on because you've also got some beautiful cultured Brock pearls oh. there at 19, which are amazing. Um, they're quartz. Yeah, they're, they're nice beautiful. Well. They are. I've seen that strand before. Um, there's loads of beautiful goodies, including sterling silver diamond cut chains. You've got some beautiful adventurine on there. Oh, you've got the turquoise locket on there, last oh. remaining quantities of those. Some of our lovely uh, Elsa Peretti inspired meter long lengths, which oh, are absolutely amazing. Yeah. 
yeah, gorgeous Bolivian amethyst. So it is definitely worthwhile taking a look at the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com um, for, yeah, for, for, for items that um, you need to secure. Um, but definitely, I would strongly, strongly encourage shopping ahead on the topaz. It is mind-blowing. Mm. Already, I can tell you, um, a, you know, a, a percentage of those are sold. Um, yeah, they're not going to hang around, are they, for sure? I mean, imagine that, Claire, just in a simple kind of diamond tennis bra bracelet inspired. God, you could just stare at that. I could, I could watch that all day. Oh, me all too. All day. Me too. A waterfall style earrings. Oh, I mean, eat yes. your heart out. That's yes. red carpet yeah. glamour all over. And then um, your kits at nine o'clock today, Claire. Oh, I know. I know. They're pretty special, they aren't are. they? Because you've got... Um, wow. Look at that. Look at them. Yes. Yeah. the prettiest, prettiest pink. It really is. And I understand this is a first... Now, you've got, mm. not only have you been blessed with the Queen Conch. Yes. But you've also got the first time ever um, an opportunity to get hold of Queen Conch in multiple strands. Yes. In rounds. I know. Three, 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 three strands. That necklace, yeah. Claire, um, whilst you were demoing this morning, I was ogling it, is absolutely beautiful. It's, I feel like it's classic design. Oh, it's stunning. And they are, they are so beautiful to work with. So uh, amazing. Um, so, of course, we've got Dave stepping into the studio yes, to lovely. launch that. So very yeah. excited about yeah. that, Claire. Needless to say that with it being Queen Conch and the rarity of Queen Conch, there is only a limited quantity of those. So we won't have mm -hmm. hundreds, for example. There's less than 50. I mean, look at these shapes. We've never had it in the rounds, to my knowledge. Have we had them in rounds? No, I didn't think so. Um, so, and I love the rice bead shape. Oh, they're um, so, brand new Queen Conch launching today, yeah. including some amazing pendants and lovely sterling silver uh, components to go alongside it. Your deal of the day today, we're going to be welcoming, well, Dave's going to be with us by that time. Um, so, this is your deal of the day. But also, Dave, I understand is maybe going to be revisiting the carvings. Yes, um, that we uh, that we brought to you the other day. So if you missed out on that opportunity, don't you worry. Um, look, Claire, it's an interchangeable pendant that you put <gasps> your carvings in, so they so they they just pivot. Oh so my gosh! Them. I know, amazing, aren't they? So we've got the carvings that are calibrated <gasps> to fit with inside. I say calibrated, carved. They are master carved. Um, he might have a yeah that's true ross he, uh, ross is just saying he might have something to say about the prices so that we took on. those two because we did take them a little bit lower in his absence there we go um anyway so that's happening as well your master class today claire yes really beautiful beautiful rings some lovely they? adjustable rings yeah um but again these are much uh, they're very different to the adjustable rings that we've had previously so if i, I think sometimes you can think adjustable rings and almost like um oh and not necessarily childlike or but but I don't know, not refined. These are so refined. I think the way they've been designed and having that um, sort of like, it, although you've got the open part, it's at the front and it's behind the detail. It, it just looks, it just, everything flows. It's, it, they're beautiful. They are absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. And of course, one size fits all. So um, you don't have to worry about gaining your sizes. Um, and also, you know, if you retail or gift, then fabulous. You're yeah. not going to worry about absolutely. any of that. Yeah. So they're yeah. happening at 12 o'clock and we've got them in different designs. Um, possibly the most intricate of your adjustable that we've ever launched so it really is going to be the most incredible jam-packed show for you this morning jewelry makers we've got so much um queen conch uh, and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna show you some of these because honestly they are gonna blow your mind um oh the chain that i referenced has just sold out on the website number 18. oh look at those i know how amazing are they coming up with dave about 10 o'clock let me show you another shall i hang on because these are, I th I'm going to go as far as saying these are my favourite designs that we've uh, that we've seen. This is stunning oh, as well. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So you can see that flame. Oh, how beautiful! And it, amazing that we are getting the opportunity to own Queen Conch mm. with all of its rarity. And Dave will, if you don't know the rarity of Queen Conch, then Dave will obviously tell us the story of it. Queen Conch, um, I think it, it, it takes multiple years for them to reach that size. Um, and I believe it's seven, but don't quote me on that. Um, rotations of the Queen Conch horn um, that gains that maturity, if you like. But as you can imagine, Conch is a food source to many, to many uh, um, fish. Mm. for example um oh my goodness me yeah is this the first time we've ever master carved queen conch 
I think so. Um, and these are just a couple of the examples that we've got coming up with Dave, like I said, around about 10 o'clock today. So it is going to be amazing on the back. And it, it, it's lovely that it links in with your kits, Claire, as well. Mm, yes. So you yeah. can use all of those. Are good oh, things, wouldn't they? Yeah, you can use these with Claire's kits at nine o'clock as well. So um, without further ado, we'll get this show underway, shall we? Text in, come and say hello. We'd love to hear from you this morning. Tell us what you're up to this weekend, because it is officially the weekend, Friday. Yeah, I think it starts yeah. on a Friday morning now. Um, definitely today. Um, have you, what injury, that could be our texting topic, how, what, what injury have you ever endured in the most meaningful of, uh, meaningless task? That's going to be a texting topic. Like picking up toys, like I was. Do you remember, do you remember when I was doing some, I was stitching something? I was stitching something, uh, dropped it, dropped the needle. Yeah. I was doing what? Bead it. Some sort of, it was a beading needle. Dropped it, trod on it, <gasps> it broke off, and it was in my toe oh. for, I think it was for a year. And don't, do you not remember? I moaned and moaned and moaned for so long, bored everybody, and then I went for an x ray, and there was still like, I think it was over a centimetre of it. Oh in, my, in my goodness toe. me! That's going to have it removed. So that's a, that was my oh story. Oh my goodness I know. me! I know. I was like, it's not there. I remember looking for it. Where Where's the it? other end? In my toe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Similar story. Some time ago, this was. Uh, Tiggy would have been just a baby. I heard this, hell, hell, from upstairs. So, of course, I go running upstairs, and there's Tom um, <laughs> sat seat down on the toilet holding his foot again he's gonna love me for telling this story <laughs> and I, I clutching his toe rocking like like he's going oh what, what what is it what is it what is it and i looked down and needle but a sewing needle um that had penetrated i'm gonna say through his toe ah! right the way through ah! the, the little fleshy bit so it was kind of going you could see it going in and then coming out again <gasps> just about avoided his nail um, and it still had the cotton attached. <laughs> That's handy. <coughs> I'm going to worry about threading that needle, do we? <laughs> anyway, so he's like, I was like, okay, oh. okay, I'll get it out. So I grabbed the cotton, pull it. Of course, it slips through my fingers. He's like, ah! Oh. So in the end, get my jewellery maker pliers. Ah, oh, there yeah, we go. There you go. That's it. Yank it out. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of laughing because I just think it's quite funny. But, but, <laughs> Oh, it was the cotton. Was okay? <laughs> it was the cotton. He was fine. He was absolutely fine. A little bit of Savlon on. You're all good. He's a big burly bloke. Come Nurse on. Nurse out. <laughs> oh, it was the little oh, wibbly, making me feel it funny. It was the wibbly bit of cotton that, that got me. Anyway, as you can see, I was never destined to be a nurse. <laughs> right then, shall we get cracking, lovely jewellery makers? Your wonderful creations in the Wall of Fame. <laughs> God, the hobby maker team, like it, like it, like it feels like it's the Bahamas in here. It's cooler now. It was. Oh, good lord! It's like yeah, it's tropical this morning. Tropical. Ooh. Starting us off this morning, and not only with beautiful jewellery, but a beautiful photograph. We have Denise. Good morning, Denise. Oh, how lovely! Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Number four hundred and ten. And Denise says, "Hi guys, this is my entry for this week. I've taken the Laramar connector from one kit and built my own little kit of seed beads, uh, shell pearls, and bicones from a butterfly kit." It's loosely based on a demo Mark did the other day. Um, I was chopping a tree down in my garden and thought how nice um, a backdrop it would make. Also played around with the photo app uh, to get a decent uh, background for a change. Good luck to all. I think that's beautiful. That's gorgeous. Absolutely Denise, yeah. beautiful. Loving that, Denise. Mm. Uh, number 411 is from Kim. Morning, Kim. Again, Ooh, amazing yeah. jewellery, beautiful yeah. photography. And Kim says, hi, please find my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's a 925 sterling silver uh, rosary link necklace featuring Grand Didgeri, all from jewellery maker. Ooh, I love jewellery. That's gorgeous, Kim. Um, good luck to everybody. And birthday shows have been great with some unmissable deals, she says. Stay safe, everybody. Um, thank you, Kim. That's absolutely beautiful. Number 412 is from Alan. Oh. Amazing. I think Alan might have 
I think Alan may be one on They're Wednesday. very lucky, Kim and Alan. Very, very lucky. Are they? They just, I hope you play the lottery. Yeah. Um, and Alan says, please find my entry to this week's Wall of Fame a 925 sterling silver slider bracelet with freshwater pearls, sterling silver spacer beads and seed beads, all from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to everybody entering. What a week it's been with deals and demos. Stay safe, everybody. Alan, it's absolutely beautiful. Stunning, we love yeah. that. Yeah. Amazing. Classic. Number 413 is from Fran. Ooh, oh, Fran. Wow, Fran. That's amazing. The work that must have gone it's into that. It's everything in there as well, isn't it? Look, it's the the clasp as well. That's amazing. And the photography. Um, and Fran says, greetings all. Hopefully the weather in your area is being sensible. No, it's not. No, no, I can answer that. Um, <laughs> this is a Cellini spiral. Not sure, um, as I think I may have cheated the start and end. I, there's no cheats, Oh, good there? for you. Um, six O's, eight O's, and 11 O beads in matte black AB. Silver lined light sapphire and blue lined aqua AB. First one I've done. So need um, a confirmation I've done it right, please. Hope you like it uh, and that everyone and everything is going in the right direction. Oh, Absolutely. Fran. Fran I don't think you need any confirmation, my lovely. Is it a beautiful piece of jewellery? Yes. yes. I think you've excelled. It's, it's absolutely oh, it's stunning. Mm. Stunning, stunning. Uh, number 414 is Ooh. from Anila. Again, absolutely beautiful. amazing, Anila. Um, Anila says, quite simply, dear jewellery maker team, here's my bracelet I made this week using sea beads and silver plated findings. All from jewellery maker. Anila, Anila. absolutely stunning. Good luck beautiful. to you. Beautiful. Good luck. I've got our 415 and this is Denise Tucson. Please find enclosed this week's entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a white pearl necklace with a silver clasp. I'm not sent in an entry for a while as I've been busy sorting my craft room out. Good luck to all and to me as I need more stash. Happy birthday to you all. And that's from Denise. That's beautiful. Love a really, good sort really out classic. as well, yes. Denise. Gorgeous. Love that. Stunning jewellery. Good luck. So oh, next wow. I've got uh, 416 and this is uh, Sean Kerr. Oh, goodness me. Look at that. Amazing, Sean. Such a talented man, isn't he? That, do you know what that reminds me of? That, that stone in the centre as well and the piece of jewellery ultimately. It reminds me of like uh, the Imperial Crown. Yes, something very, very regal about yeah, it. Beautiful, it? Yeah, beautiful, Sean. Sean says, this is my most ambitious piece to date and it took over a week to make. The inspiration came from a Monica booklet I bought ages ago and I used the cabochon setting technique from that booklet for the central motif. I then built uh, around it using cubic right angle weave. The necklace consists of craw components and I've used hematite and praseolite. Everything apart from the abalone cabochon is from JM. This nearly broke me, lol, but I'm already planning my next piece of utter madness. Love and hugs to you all. And that is from Sean. Amazing, Sean. Sean. Good luck. Yeah, it's worth it. Absolutely worth it. It's wonderful. Uh, next, I've got uh, 417, and this is Norma Cowan. Oh, beautiful, Norma. That is stunning, isn't it? Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Norma says, hi, all at JM. Been thoroughly enjoying birthday shows. Here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a dainty jadeite gourd suite in sterling silver. As always, good luck to all in the draw and a big thank you to all at JM. And that's from lovely Norma. Beautiful. It's gorgeous, Norma. Good, good luck, luck, everybody, yeah. in the draw. Wonderful, wonderful You've still entry. got time to send your photographs and messages in and, of course, lovely pieces of jewellery so we can admire them, of mm. course, and show them off to the world. And you never know, you might be one of the two lucky winners that happens on a Wednesday morning. The only stipulation is, of course, that you use jewellery maker components. Um, right then, without further ado, should we get cracking? Yeah. Because it is going to be an absolutely amazing Friday morning show show um well done on your demo this morning by the way oh, thank you we were watch i was watching in the gallery oh, yeah. i don't know if you i wasn't being too disruptive was i no no i mean you say that no you, you sure well no it's because when i hear i could hear you and I thought, oh, i'd like to give her a little cutch now but i obviously couldn't because i was you were, you were polishing and you were polishing yeah. polishing yeah, yeah absolutely we were learning yeah. some top tips um okay shall we get cracking then with some beautiful jasper Amazing oh, popper Jasper. Um, <coughs> Ross is saying straight away you set the price wrong. Okay. Um, so it's going to be on and gone. 
beautiful natural poppy jasper where you've got these lovely warm red tones all solely from mother nature um two pounds and 99 pence yeah, these are these are an amazing genuine gemstone mm, they are and also they just cry out for it's from the most simple of design simple stretchy bracelet to something like your seed beading and your looming yeah macrame would be nice as well rosary linking yes tassels yeah. i think it's quite a mark smith strand that is. it is oh and he loves his jasper yeah. he was saying the other day wasn't he mark he was saying oh would, would you another jasper mania show Ooh. that would be nice make sure you shop ahead nice and early though because uh, items are limited good morning olga years ago glued a pre-night cabochon then tried to put it on uh, with a stanley knife oh no blade pointing towards myself the blade went right into my hand oh olga oh. Into did you go and have oh, a tetanus Olga. jab after oh bless you i've done it now haven't i oh bless you olga florence hello one of my favorite names that is florence by the way um hi um are they roscoe i'll read your message and then i'll get back to what i'm thinking um hi i had half a pin taken out of my foot which was embedded in a bone through cleaning a carpet without shoes on oh, oh. florence yeah i'm with you on that one. Oh, in your oh. bone as well goodness me I don't, I, it's, it's, it is the most insignificant of tasks, isn't it? Normally not the most enjoyable of tasks either, where we give ourselves injuries. The theme, though, isn't it? Is it? So you hurt yourself by doing tidying up. Florence, by cleaning, need to stop all that. Stop all that. Yeah, fair enough. No more cleaning. I'm, I'm all right with that. Fine. Way, yeah, like, I, I can't yeah. move. It's I'm, dangerous. It is dangerous. It is dangerous. Florence, um, can, am I allowed to say, Roscoe? Because was it yesterday or the day before? Wednesday was a very, very, very significant day in a certain favourite jewellery maker member of crew um, because his beautiful, beautiful partner who was expecting found out whether it was going to be a baby boy, Roscoe, or a baby girl. And it's going to be a little girl. Yay! Oh, oh. Ross. Oh, how Ooh. lovely. Florence. Florence is a beautiful name. That's a lovely name. One for, yeah. the, one for the pot, maybe. Oh, you've decided. Oh, it's going to be Gaelic. Right, fair enough. Because obviously Ross is... Oh, uh, they're both Scottish. Oh. So it's going to have Gaelic descent. Amazing. Any Gaelic suggestions? Yeah? Can we just can we suggest names? Because we might be able to sway you on that, Ross. You never know. No? What about someone like Keris? I know it's Welsh, but Keris? That's a pretty Keris name. Is lovely. Pretty name. Keris is nice. I do like Florence though. Oh, a little girl. A little Lady Roscoe. Girl. Look, and I hope she's got your beautiful hair, Ross. Yeah. Be wonderful flame red hair. Amazing. And I was like, right, I'll start, I'll start putting all Tiggy's clothes in a bag now. So, oh, he's, yes. <laughs> yeah. so he's got loads of clothes. Right, then, well done, everybody. Congratulations. Let's move into some amazing Herkimer courts. Love this. Um, if you prefer your Herkimer courts to have that kind of black rutilation, the lovely monochrome um, inclusions, then this is absolutely a strand for you. That doesn't mean it sacrifices its fabulous brilliance and performance. Quite the opposite. This is lovely. Yeah, it, really lovely. Uh, and again, it's naturally faceted um prime example of what herkimer court should look like it's got this double termination so this one here being perfect look you can see you've got the double termination points at either end of each of the stones that's not done on a cutting wheel that's done by mother nature it's a fascinating gemstone and absolutely one of our favorites here at jewelry maker um, we are under let's be honest under 30 pounds for this gemstone is absolutely incredible even here at jewelry maker um, but under 10 pounds that's an absolute steel an absolute steel it's it's mining a couple of locations around the world but not that many i tell you what minute clock on your screens it's friday we've got a fabulous friday plan for you all today um hello margo there is a saying in scotland any lad can make a laddie uh, makes a man to make a lassie oh margo good. that's lovely Aww. is it true russ are you all man yeah he says he's all man <laughs> I won't tell you what he just said then. <laughs> um, but he's all man, apparently, Margot. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, little Roscoe, Lassie Roscoe. Mm. It's even cuter because you said Lassie. I love that. Um, in 22 seconds, it's going lower. How many have we got, Russ? Only 24 available. 
Oh, she's going to be thinking, she's going to be able to, she'd be like, put 60 second clock on your screen right now in Chloe's tummy, isn't she? <laughs> she's going she's gonna, to, she's going to know how to produce a jewellery maker okay. show. Oh. Even from the comfort of the womb. Oh. Amazing. Oh, I can't wait to meet her. I know, me too. Are we allowed squishes, Roscoe? Yeah. You're going to bring her in. Good. Good. Can't wait, can't wait for that. Only, only a few months, isn't it? Seven ninety nine for you this morning. Again, make sure you do check them out. I'm thinking back to some of the, uh, um, uh, was it Norma who did that lovely, really simple long mm. line necklace? Yeah, I think you could gorgeous, do something yeah. like this. Yeah. Um, hello to you, Catherine in North Yorkshire. I was great. Oh, just straight. That, I, oh, I was grating cheese and ended up removing half of my index fingernail oh, down to the nail come bed. In, come in. Took me a while to use a grater again. I bet it did. Oh, that sounds painful. See, there's perks to having um, gel on top of your nails. Because I've, yeah. Oh, Catherine, bless you. Oh, you a like fear that. of graters oh, now. And it's those, you know, those, what are those? Those ones? Oh, don't. The ones you see chefs use. What are they called? A, that? Like a guillotine type thing. A what? Mandolin. Mandolin. Yeah, savage. Savage, savage. My, da my dad, I, um, obviously I'm going back some years now, but and it's when I was still living at home, my dad was said once, eh, I was upstairs, L. I'm like, yeah, probably early 20s, probably younger than that. Um, I'm just going to take myself to the hospital, OK? And of course I come out and I was a proper daddy's girl. What's, what's the matter? What's the matter? And he's just holding his index finger. I was like, what have you done? I can just see this blood. I said, like, what, what have you done? I've just routed the top of my, no, it was his thumb. I've routed my thumb like a router machine. I was like, okay, and you can just see this kind of trail of blood where he's what, I'll drive you um, to there. And he had literally routed, after, if you can imagine, like, it came to a point, his thumb, oh. so he lost his nail on a router machine. <laughs> he was very calm about it, though. Don't panic. Just got to take myself to A&E. Um, make sure you check it out. I've got to stop talking about this because I might be oh. making people squeamish, might I? Um, $7.99, well done, everybody. Limited in their quantities, so make sure you do check those out. Beautiful prime example of what Herkimer oh. Courts is. Um, okay, moving on. I've got to show you this because it's first, it's a really lovely long strand, pristine eye clean clarity. I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever seen topaz as good as this before? I, I genuinely don't think oh, I have. Oh, look. You know, in a strand, we, I don't think we've ever, ever, ever done topaz to that degree before. Beautiful, isn't it? It's remarkable in its clarity. And, you know, I always say that topaz is a naturally brilliant forming gemstone. It loves to show off clarity. So, um, you know, you can't, diamonds can't say that, for example. They actually have inclusions, whereas this gemstone, um, it can be cut more times than a diamond. Um, it, yeah, it, 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 it wins in my eyes um, in the brilliant stake. So that's coming up. You can shop ahead and pre-order on this. We've got over 500 or rather I should say we had um, mm. because they're already flying out on your pre-orders. I mean, look at that. Claire, it's that absolutely is, it beautiful. Is, it is stunning, isn't it? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, again, make sure you do check out your baskets on all the items that I can see you've been shopping ahead on. Um, okay. And let's move on to some lovely nephrite. Oh, loose nephrite. Oh, these. I still can't see the core screens. It's weird. Essential colour selection. Oh, we're still okay. Um, here we go. Carved oh, nephrite. Is. But these are doubly carved. So you've actually got the sunflower front and reverse. If I just turn one around just to show you. There you go. Um, so beautiful and these have been left in their um in their matte texture rather than sort of giving you that high polish that's the joys of gemstones you can have them um, um sort of you know really glossy and shiny or you can have them with this wonderful uh texture almost like you have almost oxidized the gemstone now nephrite one of the world's rarest first price crash is going to blow you away um you do get the pair of them it's not just the one and you can see it's uh it's it's a mixture between your spinach green and your wow. mutton fat colour. First price crash when we actually consider um, that this, of course, is one of the most expensive gemstones that exists. Remember, the most expensive jade that sold to, uh, to an auction was not jadeite, it was nephrite. Already, we are under £20. And that is for the two. That's working out, what, £10 each. 
10 pounds per carved nephrite sunflower lovely to see um sort of flowers like this because we, we, we you know we're quite used to seeing things like the lotus flower or maybe the peony um but a sunflower which are out in full bloom aren't they at the moment um it, i don't know it's something that i think is very much global rather than just sort of an in eastern influence um we are going lower how many have we got then roscoe pardon 24 available good morning elaine good morning beverly good morning to you meath good morning to you allison i can see you there people on the phone lines as well susan in merseyside nice to see you this morning i hope you're all well it's going to be sunny this weekend isn't it so oh i hope so apparently it's sunny this weekend and sunny Wednesday, Thursday. Just so happens to be the days that we're in work, guys. Just, yeah, just so you know. Yeah, we are. After lunchtime, we can get out and enjoy the sunshine, can't we? Um, it's all good. Uh, but yeah, it may be sunshine. So that'd be nice. Um, in eight seconds, take the nephrite. Natural nephrite. We should, uh, you know, it's to it's steal Carved it. as well. Yeah, Both true. sides. Yeah. We should, uh, and drilled through the centre. Yeah, yeah. So you can easily put just put pin, this in, yeah. yeah, on a head pin. Pop it in amongst your beaded designs as well. £14.99. So it's yeah. working out at a crazy £7.50. Nice oh, that would be nice, yeah. And the way it's drilled, you could you could just put your sterling silver wire. So it would be yeah. a spinning one. Oh, yes, yeah. Like a spinning yeah. ring. That's a lovely idea. Make sure you do check out, though, because we only had a limited quantity of them, and it is absolutely one of our most popular gemstones, as Claire said, particularly because it is carved. Love the sunflower. I always think they're quite, you know, I don't know, I can always imagine, imagine them saying, ee, ee, ee. <laughs> They're just cheery, aren't they? Yeah. But... Genuine natural nephrite for £14.99 or £7.50 mm. per stone. Even if you just popped it on a head pin or a bale, if you like, um, and suspended it from a sterling silver chain. How amazing is that? If you're seeing your name on this side of the screen, so that I would strongly recommend checking out your baskets. As you can see, there's lots of people there. Um, Elaine and Kent, Lynn, Jackie, Durham. Hello to you, Maker. Hello to you, Meath, Sue, Angela, Alison, uh, Susan in Merseyside. Hello to you. Lots of multi buyers as well um so yeah that quantity of 24 doesn't hang around at all um and keep those messages coming through lovely jewelry makers we love hearing from you all this morning i hope you're all well excited about today's show it's going to be a cracker it really really is um hello olga um we had a list of boy and girl names if it was a girl we thought uh the name what's the how do you pronounce that fray off oh, oh it's beautiful uh, bad, which is gaelic for heather oh I like that That's as well. That's lovely, Olga. Yeah. Beautiful. Freyos, because uh, um, it's uh, Caleb's name is Gaelic as well, isn't it? Kada, sorry, I always say it wrong. Uh, Kada's name's Gaelic. It's... Beautiful. So beautiful. Little bubbers. Mm. That's lovely. Heather's beautiful too. Mm. Heather's a beautiful name. Mm. Um, loving that. Fourteen ninety nine. Well done, everybody on the verge of selling out. Natural fat. Shirley, congratulations. Lynn, well done to you. There's six left. I'll leave that one with you. Congratulations. Shall we stick with the nephrite, but this time in a strand? So maybe you want to create sort of the long line necklace, or maybe you have one of your sunflowers at the bottom. Again, you can see this has got a really beautiful um, spinach green colour. We always refer to the colour um, of your nephrite. Well, jade full stop really but um yeah spinach green to nephrite remember is what imperial is to your jadeite this is totally and utterly natural love the kind of uh, um sort of organic nature of these beautiful smooth ovals um for me it's just crying out to be an elsa peretti inspired piece um she's particularly fond of, of nephrite jade um above others but i think because of the distinctive color now i'm going to show you the launch price of this and then we're going to take it to your early bird price tag. Imagine these with some of your lovely topaz dotted in between that you can shop mm. ahead and purchase right now, lovely jewellery makers. Maybe you want to create that real contrast between sort of the sort of lush greens, the simplicity of the, the nephrite shape with the decadence of your sparkling topaz. You can shop ahead on those. Okay, 60 seconds on your screen. How many have we got? We've got 30 available. When we launched this strand to air, it closed at 49 pounds and 99 pence. If you, you look, take a look at that, look at the Elsa Peretti sphere necklace, which I know is not exactly the same shape, but 
Um, I can imagine that's got a fairly hefty price tag on it, as it would do, because it's Tiffany's and Co, but, and also Elsa Peretti. But you can see that wonderful richness of colour. You can see it's not completely translucent, particularly that one which at the bottom, sort of middle right, um, where it's that organic shape with uh, um, the gold running through it on first dibs. You can see that's actually quite an opaque variety of your, uh, of your nephrite, and certainly the one to the other side as well. Um, so the quality that we offer you here at jewellery maker is not substandard is my point um, to even the uh, the nephrite that's included in Elsa Peretti's designs even if we were to stick here at 49.99 it's an amazing price point you could go for something like the jelly bean design where Elsa Peretti almost just has one floating in the middle of some beautiful precious metal um, you've got enough to make lots of those but a brand new low price tag for you this morning oh Oh. You've halved it. How many did you say we have? 30 available. I'm I'm feeling this strand. I want Absolutely. a long line necklace with these. Because yeah. with nephrite, you get that really intense... Look, from here, that real intense, beautiful green. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking maybe with, a, with the turquoise. Oh, Because I was thinking originally, maybe separate them out, like the pendants. But yeah, for that price, I mean, you could do a full beaded. Print. How beautiful yeah. would that be? Yeah. Would you together? just alternate? Yeah, I yeah, would. love Take it. Take the spaces out and then have those. That Obviously is, yeah. a brand new lowest ever price tag. We launched it at an incredible yeah. 49.99. This is turquoise and it's coming up as well. But again, do make sure you check out your baskets. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think take the strand and the layout, if mm. you like, and put sort of a couple of inches of sterling silver in between. Nice, nice. Rosary yeah. link. Yeah. Lovely. Over yeah. the top of the head style necklace. Um, you can do that. Well, in fact, you could multi-buy for, for the launch price, effectively, this morning. Well done to you all. Um, in terms of the location, what are you doing, Russ? He says, purely because it's the birthday weekend and I don't want you to think that this weekend is any uh, less exciting than last weekend or the weekend before, believe me. Um, we're coming to the closure and a lot of the best stuff has actually been reserved for this weekend. I'm going to say it as it is. Um, just because it's the birthday, we're going to take it even lower. We're going to do um, a mega closeout deal. It already was at $24.99. Well done to those of you that have shopped ahead. Well done to those of you that have uh, multi-bought on this too. And in West Midlands, County Durham, Antoinette, Gloucestershire, West Midlands, Pamela, Elaine, Susan, Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire, Barbara, Elaine, Sussex. This is not a clock to close the auction. This is a clock to drop the price. Under 20 for natural spinach green nephrite. Remember that diagram that I've showed you in the past? From this deposit, which is a uh, um, um, Canadian, um, 90% of this goes to direct to China and the remaining 10% goes to Van Cleef and Arpels, Cartier and Tiffany's and Co. So for us to even source this gem is um, difficult, very, very difficult. £20 for you today, though. If you go to any of those establishments, then you're not going to see a £20 price tag. You might have to pay more than that. In fact, I'm fairly sure you would have to pay more than that for just one of their boxes. Uh, Neil and Linda, well done to you. Pamela, well done to you. Penny and Bucks, well done to you. Jane in Lancashire, congratulations. Um, hello, Susan. Hello to you, Gloucestershire. Uh, Barbara, I can see you on the phone lines. It is busy this morning, so stay with us. Uh, our call centre will get to your call as soon as they possibly can. I assure you of that. Um, under £20, we launched at 49 so we've just put £30 back in your sky rocket. That's all right, isn't it? It's not bad, is it? Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Yeah. Love it. It's one of my yeah. favourite accents. That is the London accent. Is it? Love it. All right. All right. In sky rocket. Friendly. It is friendly. Yeah. I think so. It's like a Under accent. Eh? Like Brum is. Yeah. Brum has got a friendly accent. Yeah. I like all accents, to be honest. Yeah. They're all good, aren't they? Yeah. Um, 1999, well done everybody, congratulations. Kaz, hello Molly, hello to you. Um, and keep those messages coming through to the studio. Remember, you only have 20 minutes on this hour until each of these items do actually disappear from the website, including that topaz. So I would be shopping ahead on that one. Let's dive into the turquoise, Claire, as you mentioned it. Also, can I just throw um, um, a curveball? Yeah. How about this with your queen conch? Oh, nice, the pink and the blue, yes. Oh, lovely. Should we, I, I'm going to say this. Oh, that's a good call, that is. And as soon as I say these next few words, I, there will be a reaction on the web and on the phone lines. How about 15 carats of some of the best Mexican turquoise 
because normally it's quite green, isn't it, Mexican turquoise? Blue, blue, blue. Yeah, this is like Arizona blue. Under £20. No. Yep. This would look absolutely beautiful alongside your queen conch strands that are coming up today. Mm. I think that would look amazing. Um, hang on, hang on a minute. Not that one. Hang on a sec. Oh, it would be the furthest away. Hang on a minute. Oh my goodness me. Let me just, just, just let me. Stunning, aren't they? Uh, yeah, look how beautiful they are together. Oh. Mm. And of course, the sterling silver component. These are all launching at 10 o'clock today. Make sure you're with us in seven seconds. It's happening. It's going under 20 pounds for beautiful, beautiful Mexican turquoise, genuine turquoise. Um, remember, we always say it. We always say that the more um, uh, robin egg the blue, the more desirable your turquoise is. Um, under 20 pounds. How many did we have? How many did we have? 30 available, says Ross. That's not many, is it? Not with turquoise. And we tend, we recognise turquoise. With little to no mm. gemstone knowledge, we you know what know turquoise that, yes. is. And you know yeah. that it's incredibly valuable. I'm definitely thinking about that Cape Blanchette necklace. Um, oh, uh, <laughs> got a little rogue. There we are. Um, just perched there. I mean, it's fine. I, I'm yeah. happy for that to be yeah. part of my jewellery. Um, yeah, thinking of that Kate Blanchette lovely necklace where she has this almost crocheted like look, lid oh, design that she wore on the red carpet. It's got this ro lovely robin egg blue. £19.99. pence. Slight graduation to this, or even if you wanted to keep it ultra simple, definitely, definitely, definitely worthwhile putting it alongside oh, no. that topaz once again as well. Amazing. Shop ahead on this. Fabulous. And make sure you check out your baskets. Um, incredible. Okay, moving on to oh, oh, diamonds. Now I can only see the tassel. Oh, they're multicolored diamonds. Oh, Claire. Oh, look. And we've got the perfect show for for diamonds today. So the fact that you have blue diamonds, red diamonds. Colourless diamonds, how amazing are these on this oh strand? Oh my gosh, Al. Stunning, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. And they I are large in their size. Yeah. yeah, as with most gemstones, in actual fact, the larger the size they are individually, the rarer they are. So um, you can get melee sized diamonds uh, relatively inexpensively, but not when they start re reaching sort of uh, uh, carat weights as what's on this strand. Um, well, you always say it, Claire, the fact that they are drilled as well gives us so, as jewelry makers yeah. opportunities yeah. to work with pieces Absolutely, like this. Absolutely, isn't it? Just, we're, yeah, on your beading thread. Yeah, stunning. I mean, we're at 99 pounds for 1.95 carats of natural fancy colored diamonds we are talking some of the rarest blues the hope diamond we've all heard of that haven't we um you know it, it wouldn't be an inexpensive piece of jewelry and i'm not making comparisons quite clearly but um my point is the fancy colors can fetch significantly higher prices than even the colorless we're going to do a big birthday deal so if you've always always wanted to own diamonds maybe you've admired them on our screens here at jewelry maker but haven't yet to, uh, made a purchase then today this morning and in particular this hour has to be done within this hour uh, might well be your best bet because at 99 for just shy of two carats incredible but 49 pounds and 99 pence for just shy of two carats of genuine fancy diamonds I, I i've said it so many times i don't know anywhere else that gives us opportunities to to purchase some of the rarest most sought after most valuable gemstones in the world at price points like this um, it's a birthday deal, says Ross. And remember, you have got, what, 17 minutes to make your confirmations or more realistically until stocks laugh, uh, last. Um, you know, you could, you, you'd be quite frivolous, wouldn't you, with this carrot way? 16.66 on split pay. Um, hi, Neil and Linda. Good morning, ladies. Uh, the other day, I bent down and hit my head on a vice saw. Oh. St saw stars, sorry, uh, for a while, says Neil. Oh, oh Neil. bless you, Neil. I hate that. That's a horrible feeling as well, isn't it? When you bend down and, oh. It's so, it, it's oh, sharp, isn't it? On yeah. The, on the bottom bit of the vice. Oh, oh, bless you, Neil. Thing. Yeah, did you, yeah. Oh, and the head, it makes me go all squeamish as well when you bump your head. Oh, bless your heart. And a vice, oh, goodness me. I just, the more I think of it, Neil, bless you. You're all right now, though, aren't you? You're all right now. Just bumping your noggin. I always say that to Tiggy because she's two. She bumps her head all the time. Yeah. Like, oh, what's your noggin? Come here, let's rub your noggin. Well done. Check out those baskets. 
you've got all this to look forward to, Ross, you know. No. Because they forget their heads connected. Mind you, so <laughs> so so do we as adults, yes. it seems. Yes. Um, oh, I was hoping you'd say this, Ross. <sighs> These with that topaz. If you don't knot your pearls, don't worry, mm. because you could put some of those topaz, just or one or two, whichever you wish, in between these pearls, and it's going to be the most impeccable piece of jewellery. There are only four. Oh, look at that. These are your hint of lilac, oh, baroque pearls, beautiful. and they are huge in their size. Now, if you're wondering about the difference between the 12 and the 8 millimetres, it's because they're ever so slightly graduated. So you could, if you want, size sort these, or you could keep them in one incredible piece of jewellery. Know that these are completely and utterly natural. And when I was in Tucson at the beginning of last year, they were being sold only individually. Uh, that's because it takes a lot of time. Well, these are anomalies of pearl culturing. Um, they can't be instigated, for example. You've got this lovely fireball shape. But even more than that, there are anomalies in their size. There are anomalies in the, sh in the colors that you've got because the, the pearl would have formed sort of at the outer circumference of the uh, um, oyster shell. That's where you get these wonderful sashes of purple running across them. That's where you get these really beautiful uh, blush pinks. Again, if you, I, I know, I know, I know, and I apologize even before I say this, but if you knot it and you put it on an 18 karat gold class, then this is something that absolutely could command significantly higher than what's on your screens right now. I'm not valuing it. I'm not qualified to value it. All I can do is actually just tell you my own personal experiences of pills of this grade and the prices that they can and do sell for. Um, you know, I, I think this speaks volumes. The, gems, the gemstones that I am buying the most at the moment are pearls, jadeite, nephrite. Um, you know, at the most, because uh, yeah, you can't find them at prices like you're about to see here at Jewelry Maker. Um, we're going to do it in one price crash because we've only got four available. Again, they are impeccably beautiful. You've got the dominance of luster, luster being the most important of the five virtues. Do you see how mirror-like they are? That crisp, reflective surface that is premium, premium quality cultured pearls um, at one thousand four hundred and ninety-nine pounds. In all honesty, that that's fabulous. That is a great deal, but we are no way near. Oh, I've got my eye on these, Ross. I feel like I need to treat myself today just because I'm uh, I'm an invalid at the moment mm. and I've hurt my back. I feel like I need treats. Yeah, something um, nice. Yeah, something nice. £299. In all honesty, that could be the price of one. Just one of those cultured pearls. And it is the price of one in most places. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's straight those beautiful topaz over the back of my hand as well, because I think those two together will just make one of the most exquisite pieces of jewellery. Um, you can get hold of it on your three monthly split payments as well, which are 0% interest, £99.66 only. Again, I I'm not great at knotting pearls either, um, but using maybe some dazzling eye clean topaz of this grade mm. in between, I wouldn't hesitate. Um, I'll leave it with you. Remember, you've only got 13 minutes to make your confirmations and they still come with that 30 day money back guarantee. Um, no, I don't see those, Roscoe. Oh, I do. Yes, I do. Sorry, Dan. Because straight away I can hear Dan rolling his eyes. They're right in front of you, Al, for goodness <laughs> sake. Sorry, Dan. Um, and I'm meant to have all five of them, aren't I? Claire, you launched I, these. Oh, I love this collection. I love them. One. Look at that. Two. Full of play of colour. Yeah, they are. It's the fact that you don't have to choose your favourite. You know, that, that's like, true. All of them together. You're, all, you're an opal collector straight away. Four. And last but by no means least, five strands. Yeah. In your different cuts, your different shapes. Um, as, as rightly pointed out by Claire, you haven't got to go, oh, I'll have the rounds this time or I'll have the rondelles this time. Look at this performance of play of colour. Um, so this is the same bundle that I have draped across the back of my hand, but under a different light source. Um, one single light source. It's not light trickery in any way, shape or form. This is the more realistic in actual fact, more realistic appearance of what you can expect when you get them home. Um, we did something absolutely crazy on the launch of this bundle and I know we don't have many of them left. Five strands, yeah. I think I remember, Ross, what we took this to. Because, because we were talking about the fact that when we were part of Immediate, do you remember when a single strand of Ethiopian opal was a triple-figure price tag? Do, we all, do you remember that, yeah, Claire? Yeah, yeah. Now we're bringing bundles of five, which is just a, a, a amazing. We're at £10 per strand 
which is actually what I thought we took, we, 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 we uh, held this at. Did we? You've got tumbles, you've got rondelles, rounds, drops in two different cuts. You've got the uh, sort of full drops and also the flat drops. It's a massive parcel of opal. You know, this, let's not forget, this is how most of your jewellery traders will actually shop for their, um, for their gemstones. They buy them in sort of loose parcels, maybe with a, 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 a selection of shapes and cuts, and then they'll design a piece of jewellery in and around it. Um, to be able to get hold of this quantity of Ethiopian opal, which there is a huge, huge carat weight, I think you can see that. Um, and you get them all, you do get them all. For less than £50 is absolutely amazing yeah in my mind go back to when we were part of immediate a strand of ethiopian opal was round about 129 do you remember that usually about 129 pounds um occasionally we might have squeezed it under 100 pounds um but we're back part of the gemporia partnership so obviously we, our buying power has has excelled quite considerably um well done to everybody that has shopped ahead on this 39.99 that is crazy so that's working out at what eight pounds Eight pounds twenty. Eight pounds on the on the nose. It's madness, isn't it? It is with, with the, I mean, the quality of them is incredible. With, with a couple of mine, I, I um, took them off and, and treated them like they were cabochons. I think some of the pairs they, they yeah. were. So yes, I mean, you yeah, did. Bezel set them because they are absolutely beautiful. You know, uh, treated them as like solitaire cabochons and set them into rings. Amazing. But you're going to get, you know, also because you've got <coughs> so many on there. So I'd use, I'd done bubble style um, jewellery with them as well, which again, if you've got, if you're making bubble style with opal, oh, it just, it works so well. It you've does. Got, loads of movement, loads of light to it. Yeah. And, you know, the they, effect that you get is incredible. I love that, Claire. I absolutely love that idea. And you've certainly got enough to do it. Yeah, you, you have. That's, and which know, is really unusual, isn't it? It you is. Know, in, in one bundle like that. It really like, is. And you think about, you know, even when we were, for when we first started, eight pounds, you know what gemstones it used to buy you? Yes, eight pounds. Yes, yes. It wasn't Ethiopian opal. No. You couldn't get hold of Ethiopian opal. Shan, Pauline, well done to you. Anne, well done to you. Mikey, Samantha, Barbara, Caroline, London, congratulations. How many have we got left of these then, Roscoe? Seven available. Also, how beautiful would this be with the Queen Conch? Mm. Ethiopian yeah, opal, the Queen pinks, Conch. Lovely. Love that. Yeah. Love, love, love. Um, again, you've got until, what, nine minutes until we, uh, well, when we close this hour uh, to make your confirmations. But in all honesty, this might well sell out before that. Your early bird is coming up right now. Now, this opportunity is one not to miss. And we're not often fortunate enough to be able to bring you a variety, a selection, if you like, of, uh, of colourless stones. When you think about colourless stones, yes, there's a few that you can choose from. You can obviously go for your diamonds, you can go for your clear quartz, you can go for your zircon, you can go for colourless sapphire. Topaz is a firm favourite. I'll explain why in a few moments' time, but it is all really, really explained in this, this recording. You can see the, you know, the reasons why so many collectors and jewellery uh, uh, creators prefer topaz to many other this is going to be an early bird not to miss there's a mega auction quantity well done to those of you that have already shopped ahead it's up next <laughs> so as i said lots of different opportunities i guess for colors stones but there's always different degrees of quality of those colourless stones as well. Let's start with diamonds. Now, if this was diamonds, I, I'm not too proud to admit I wouldn't be able to afford it. There's no way. There's no way I'd be able to afford a strand of diamonds um, with this carat weight and with that clarity and with that quality of cut. If these were quartz, okay, a little bit more affordable, yes. Um, however, you wouldn't get the brilliance that you get within Topaz. Let's talk about zircon. Love zircon. And, and I actually think probably the one I would cl most closely compare to that of a topaz. Um, you get double the fire, but again, not quite as much brilliance um, within zircon. And I'll explain some more in a few moments time. Sapphire, another amazing alternative. Well, you see that there, that's you, you see that once in a blue moon. So I, I don't believe we've ever done a strand like this in, 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 in sapphire. Now, ooh, let's go back to that lovely recording for a second. There we go. It's with Topaz, 
And you'll certainly have heard me say before, this is a naturally brilliant forming gemstone. That's not me, me just going, yeah, well done, Topaz, you're brilliant. Um, it's a gemstone that loves to have clarity, more so than any other colorless gemstone, in my opinion. Um, so it shows off in that way. Look at the clarity that I have. This is another gemstone that actually is, is uh, very durable. It's 7.5 on the Mohs scale. So you know that you can create with this. You know that you can wear this on a regular basis without any real con cause for concern. It's a gemstone. And this might, I, I, it took me a while to get my head around this one. It was actually Steve Bennett that educated me on this some time ago. Here is a gemstone that can be cut more times than a diamond. Different gemstones have got different hardnesses, refractive indexes, etc. Certain sizes of diamonds can only be cut, say, like your, uh, your single cut diamonds, are 70, there's 17 facets. Whereas if it was the same proportion in a topaz, it can be faceted 47 times. So you are going to get more performance than you would do in many diamonds. And the most important, it's one of the more affordable. Topaz, I'm not going to say abundant, but it is a more abundant precious gemstone. In terms of the grade that we are looking at here, jewellery maker, it doesn't get any better than what's on your screens. And I'm only talking my humble opinion. I can't find a single fault. Is, it, is there maybe some blurring? Is there maybe some dark inclusions within? Is it lacking its fire? Is it lacking its luster? Is the, is the cutting not quite right? Is maybe the drill hole not quite central? You know, is there anything here under magnification that we can, where, where we can literally scrutinize this strand that we would prefer to change? It's perfection, yeah. I totally yeah. agree. Yeah. It yeah. is actual perfection. Yeah. Do you want to make it even better? There are 500 available opportunities and that gives Ross the power to bring you a mega deal price point. I'm going to say trust, trust our amazing producer today. If you've got your eyes on this, if you've, if you've been admiring it and you've been maybe waiting for the perfect colourless stone to accent some of your finest gemstones, imagine this in amongst maybe the Queen Conch that we're launching today. How beautiful would that be with the Queen Conch? How amazing would this be, say, with those pearls or with some of your lovely jadeite or with something like, yeah, black jadeite, I think would look absolutely incredible. That clock is counting down to your graphics. Lots of you have already shopped ahead on this one. And I don't blame you for that whatsoever. Um, and I, I would encourage maybe not just a single purchase, if your budget allows maybe multi-buying. You could just take two and put them either side. I don't know, how about a tanzanite stone? You know, to, 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 to absolutely be creating some of the finest, most luxurious pieces of jewellery in the world. I'm going to show you a piece of jewellery off Astley Clark. Now, this piece of jewellery, lovely. I always rave about the biography collection, which is what the two, you know, the ones which beaded, yeah. uh, those two bracelets are. Um, look at the white one. Look at the white one. Think it's moonstone, but does it have the same, so totally different gemstone, but does it do this? No. It doesn't, does it? I, it's pristine. This, I cannot sing this strand praises any higher than I already am doing. Um, before we go anywhere on the price point, we want to see, and I'm going to ask a big number here because, because the deal is going to be that great. Don't have to check out. We want to see 100 of you on the web and on the phone lines. You don't have to check out. You don't have to press your option one key, but we want to see you there. We want to know that you're watching. Because this, this strand is so good, Ross. In all honesty, this would at any other time of year, this would have been deal of the day. It would have been deal of the day. And, yeah, I agree. Uh, Ross is just saying, and if we didn't tell you what the gemstone was and said, guess, how many of you would have said zircon or diamond? Mm. Um, Topaz, in my opinion, it's always been one of my firm favourite because it has the most pristine clarity. Somebody's texting to the studio because the web is a little bit of a delay. Okay. The app has Opal for sale. The TV is showing diamonds. I'm confused. Right, I get the confusion. Firstly, it's just the delay. The, when we put the graphics in, it will still show the previous auction on the website for a moment of time, which was the Opals. Um, but let me just correct you, Deborah. Yeah, it's not diamonds. It looks like the best quality diamonds. And if it were diamonds, this would be thousands of pounds. Um, this is natural, 
pristine eye clean clarity white topaz we're already at a, di a ridiculous price tag how many people on the web and on the phone lines 37 not enough not enough we want to see a hundred of you there hundred of you there dropping it in your baskets you don't need to check up uh, check out as of yet I, I will i will say though you you will you will check out because the deal is going to be that unbelievable and i'm going to be quite uh, bold and say you're not just going to buy the one either mm. um because this is the kind of strand that i would want to stockpile and i want to stockpile it because this would be the perfect opportunity to put alongside my finest quality gemstones um within my stash and as like i said earlier on your, your, your tanzanites i don't know maybe your nephrites your jadeites as i said earlier on your beautiful pearls um have a little look at this this. Now this is Hershey and um, Hershey and Sons. So this is a London silversmith. You've got a white topaz birthstone silver bracelet in a. Is that a cabochon? Yeah, it looks like a cabochon to me. One single stone, forty-five pound. Forty-five pound. Lovely. And it is a birthstone. We've not mentioned that. It's November's birthstone. But you're not you're not seeing the best of a topaz in in, in a cabochon. No, no. T topaz needs to be faceted um, yeah it, it's a gem that has to be faceted in my opinion because you're wasting it's a, it's amazing ability to play with light you're wasting with its natural brilliance that occurs within this gem we need 40 more people on the web and on the phone lines and then we're going to start making our way towards your early bird deal there are there were 522 opportunities can you just imagine ross for a second i'm one of those 40 because i want to get about five of these strands genuinely i do it's Tiggy's birthstone, firstly, um, but also I'm thinking tassels. I'm thinking about using them as an alternative to a precious metal spacer bead. They're not going to tarnish, are they? And you're going to have that wonderful Can pristine you imagine clarity. imagine the twist, doing the twist with oh. them if you did have, you know, when people are buying, you know, twos, threes, fives. Can you imagine? That? How gorgeous. Oh. Imagine looming with something oh, like this. Yes. Um, hello, uh, what's that? Sorry. Uh, another one, round topaz bracelet, just a single stone. Now that is faceted. 68 pounds four and a half millimeters so it's like a mil and a half and it's gold vermeil right okay single stone one single stone 68 pounds again we need 22 people we need 22 people and then we'll start making our way oh, towards your twist. early bird that's lovely yeah, isn't it's it? beautiful absolutely beautiful i would i would be multi-buying on this yeah, opportunity yeah. um or rather i'm going to rephrase that i will be multi-buying on this sorry roscoe what was that on the next price crash, there's going to be another 100 people jump on the phone lines, but we still need 15 people right now. If you want to know why we're doing this, listen, there's 522 of these opportunities available, and we know the deal is going to be absolutely incredible. We don't want to crash the system. We've got a pretty exciting Friday morning show for you today, um, so we don't want to crash the website. We definitely don't want to melt down the phone lines. Um, so, yeah, it's a way of us. Um, it's a way for us actually preventing that. We need nine, eight, seven... People on the phone lines and on the web. Six. One more. And the next price crash I'm going to tell you is not your early bird. Are you ready? Not your final price tag. We are going lower. Not your final price tag. Okay. I'm, I, Per per permission to be completely unprofessional. Gorgeous Dan, can you pass my handbag, please? It's just behind you. I, I'm sorry, but we all need them, don't we? We're all desperate for our colourless stones. Mm -hmm. And there he is. Suits you, Dan. Matches your T-shirt, actually. <laughs> Matches your T-shirt. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Um, <laughs> amazing. I'm asking this because I have to... I have to I have to thank you, lovely. Um, I've got to get involved. Is he is he borrowing my lippy as well? Yeah, well, that's all right. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't mind sharing, Dan. It's all good. Um, I am joining you literally as we speak. I know this is unprofessional. I know it is, but I can't afford, uh, afford to miss out on an opportunity like this. We're at twenty pound for a strand like this, Claire. It's amazing. Do you need some? By yes. The way? Oh, yes, please. Uh, You're offering. Yes, yeah. please. Yeah. Oh, unbelievable. We should. If we'd have put this on promo for like the entire birthday week, if not more, um, then yeah, it'd. 
they've already sold out. The 522 would have already sold out. And also, if this was any other any, any other day, um, oh. sort of time of the year, i.e. outside of the birthday celebrations, this would have been your deal of the day, wouldn't it? 100% would have been the deal of the day. Oh, yes. Oh, I can hear myself. <laughs> um, just so you can tell, I am actually on the app straight away. Oh, Look at that, Claire. I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. Just oh, amazing. Love it. It's going to be an easier way that's, on our app of adding multiples, by the way. That is what I'm going to do with mine. I'm just going to have some lovely stackers. Simple stackers. How many yeah. do you need? Um, can I have a couple, please, then? There you are. There you go. Thank you. No probs. Just checking out the basket now as we speak. Look at this. Hot diamonds. Uh, white tote. So it's not diamonds then. Okay. Um, white topaz. Um, so like an Il Elsa Peretti. In silver, £75. But the summary actually says what? Wonderful white topaz gems. Symbols of love and affection encapsulated in sterling silver. The stunning 190 millimeter chain bracelet is beautifully crafted in 925 sterling silver and set with genuine white topaz. Love it. I know which I prefer though. Um, and I'm not just saying that because it's jewelry maker. I absolutely do um, prefer what's uh, what's on our screens right now um lots of you already making your confirmations lots of you with it in your baskets i should be able to is it is that love it there's me you'll see another price point you're not going to be paying today claire oh yeah well oh, you're me. not paying at all are you no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm not i'm gonna be paying yeah. oh i love it look at it come on check out you ready there are 522 that's why i don't mind doing this on air Fourteen ninety nine, and we are not stopping there. Have I checked? Come on, check out. Why well, I keep pressing it? Processing. I'm on the screen, but I haven't checked out. Processing your request. Yeah, there we go. It keeps bouncing back. I'm not having just one. No. Why is it bouncing back? Have you not ticked something? Do I need to tick something? Um, I'll just tick that. Oh, here we go. This is great TV, isn't it? Sorry about this. If it doesn't go through this time, then I will have to do it in the break. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah, I'm after six, by the way. Well done, everybody. Ella's got five. Look, you can see me there. And it keeps bouncing back. This is so frustrating. Um, okay, make sure, make sure you check out. Oh, sorry, Claire's happy about that because she wants to up her quantity. No. Um, right now, no problem. I can add another one to my basket. Yeah, too much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can add another one. Yeah. Look, look. How many times do I shot a say, check out your baskets, and I am oh, guilty of gosh, it. Yes. Hello, Sally saying, uh, these will go great with black spinel, please. Oh, sorry, will these? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I think that's a, an amazing that's suggestion. Um, great show, ladies, as always. Mwah to you, Sally in East Sussex. Idea, do you know what, Sally? I would like it a whole lot more if I could check out my basket. It's probably because um, it's probably because there's, uh, there's so many people, so it's causing a bit of a frenzy on the phone lines we are not paying 14 pounds 99 this morning lovely jewelry makers and i say we because i will be joining you infuriating absolutely infuriating well done to each and every single one of you uh, you watch now i've probably checked out and i've got about 12 of them on their way to me um i don't think that's a bad thing um well done in 45 seconds we're taking it to your to your true early bird price point everybody you could loom with this you could see oh, with this you could yeah. do your kiss cross with this you could use them as spaces sally i would absolutely be putting it with your monochrome gemstones mm. i think that would be absolutely amazing um i'd definitely be using something like a um a colourless beading thread or silk um, so it doesn't interfere with that lovely brilliance. Nice, nice tassel, couldn't you, with your... Oh, with your queen conch, it's yeah. just absolutely true. Yeah. In fact, we need to show Dave that. Imagine the two together um, when he steps into the studio. Um, yeah, it, nice it, tassel at the end. Yeah, yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. In seven seconds, we are going even lower. You might think that 500 is a quantity that we couldn't possibly sell out. It's a massive carat weight of, and going back to what we first said um, at the beginning, um, at the beginning of this auction opportunity, it's, it's faultless. I cannot find a single 
all negative to say, and here's me trying to sort of critique them, if you like. I can't find a single fault within the strand. They are absolutely pristine in their clarity. They are cut to perfection. Um, you have got um, amazing amounts of brilliance. You know, three millimeters, so they're incredibly workable for us as jewelry oh, makers gosh, as yeah. well. Twelve ninety nine. Well done, everybody. We had a quantity of five hundred and twenty two. 202 of these have gone. Look at the call screens. I'm not alone. Look, Kent wants nine as well. Susan's got six. Congratulations. Loads of twos and threes and fours. I'm not surprised. Sally, I can see you there. You've got yours, lovely. Um, it's infuriating that I can't check out my basket. Do you reckon it's because I'm not on Wi-Fi? Is that what it is? Infuriating now, because I want to get the older these as well. Oh, come on. Check out, check out. Sorry, just trying to get a signal in this, uh, in this metal box of a, of, a, of a studio that we have. Twelve ninety nine though, Claire. Sorry, the pressure. I know, the pressure's I know. on because this is yours as well, yes, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry. What you do, what you try, you try doing that then. It must be something I'm doing. Um, well done, Ellen. You've got two. Five. You've got two. Anne in West Midlands. You've got two. Dawn. You've got two. Sandra. You've got two. Janice has just snapped up four. Maker and Kent. I'll have ten. Thank you very much. It's that beautiful. I can't afford to miss out. Um, well, and Kerry, Erica, Suzanne, Geraldine, Hello to Cheshire, Gillian, Claire, Janet, West Midlands getting four. Amazing. Uh, Ray, Barbara, Cardiff getting four. Penny, Dawn, Joy, Suffolk. So many of you there, and there might well be a little bit of a queue on the phone lines please do bear with our call center we are completely and utterly bombarding them just give them a call claire just give them a call in a that's minute. not happening it's sorry. not it's not happening it's is not. it oh we'll give them a call in the break shall we or we'll just run upstairs um i can't run anyway uh 12.99 well done everybody there's it's, it's the potential of what you can create with a strand like so, this yeah and, and it would have wouldn't it to have impact if you just did a restrand had it as a lovely you know like tennis star stacker bracelet oh beautiful or, like we said you can do something really intricate and you could use lots and lots of them tassels looming everything like everything that. style your little accents mm -hmm. maybe in yeah. between i'm just going to grab yeah. one of your queen conch strands it's going to add something isn't it it's going to totally add so totally oh, look at that look at those together you know it needs you know it, it, it can be that complementary stone or it can be the standalone can't yeah. it yeah yeah yeah, all, I'd, I would put yes with the with the rice. I think that's lovely. I'm going to put them with all of them, Claire. Oh, why not? Why not? If we're going to go all out indulgence, I mean, hang on a second, and then you've got the beautiful class. Those, this is your kit. Look at that for a piece of jewellery. Yeah. You know, yeah. just one strand as an addition. Twelve ninety nine, Nottinghamshire West Midlands. Um, Ross is talking in my ear, and he's saying, "L, I want to show you something that he doesn't think he's ever done on Jewellery Maker." He says, "But trust me." I do. I trust What's him. What's he doing? Okay. What are you showing now? Okay. So this is what we see in terms of um, history. So the last time... Oh, okay. So this was the previous... Uh, last time we had a strand of white topaz in three millimeter rounds. I don't know what it looked like. It was a smaller carat weight. I can tell you that. 20 carats and you can see I was the presenter Ross was the producer you can see the date it was played on the 22nd of November um, at half past 10 oh it was the deal of the day yeah you can see deal of the day we had 125 of them oh I beg your pardon that was the quantity that we had left so we had 400 Right, 405, and you can see 392 bids, and you can see the end price there of 12.99. So this is what we call the auction history. Um, I rarely ever go on this, to be honest, because it um, makes no difference to me whether it's a, a brand new product or whether it's an older product. It doesn't make a difference. Is it beautiful? Um, but we sold, look at the quantity, essentially 400 of them. You can see nine of them were left when we closed the auction off screen. Um, 12.99, deal of the day. And it was a smaller carrot weight. Righto, okay. So this, oh, there you go. You're seeing a little bit of our, what we see on our com uh, computer screens um, in terms of auction history. So yeah, this is a bigger carrot weight. We're at the same price point. Pri everything has gone up in price these days. We have a hundred more in terms of quantity. 
Remember what we closed at, 12 99 a, 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 a year ago? It wasn't even a year, actually, about six months ago. Yeah, that's six months. That wasn't part of the birthday there, was it? Whereas this is. Shall we live up to our birthday celebration I status? I think we should. Can I just say to those people that have chosen multiples, I absolutely am so... Uh, you will not regret those purchases. It's even more beautiful in person. Mm. It really is. Look at all the multi-buyers on this. Today, we are going to live up to our true birthday celebrations. We have a bigger quantity than we had six months ago. We um, 400 sold at 12.99. But because it is part of the birthday celebrations, we're going to do something extra special. Again, ask yourself this question, or I'll ask you, what you're seeing on your screens right now, is there anything that you can criticise right now? Can you criticise that maybe, I don't know, the, 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 the cutting's not quite so precise, the polish isn't quite as bright as you and, and uh, um, accurate as you would wish, maybe the drill hole's a little bit off-centre, is the clarity maybe a little bit hazy, are you lacking fire, are you lacking uh, brilliance performance? No, I generally don't think so. Let me ask you another question. Is twelve ninety nine a fantastic price tag for, for white topaz of this deal? Yes, an amazing. Amazing it really concept. is. Yeah. yeah. But we are not stopping there. You will not regret the multiples that I see. Fours, twos, threes, elevens, sevens, fives. Can you imagine doing, um, if you're a multiplier, doing like a beady bead? You could do beady beads and then thread thread all of those on. That That would be, oh, I'd love that. It would be absolutely amazing, wouldn't it? Absolutely incredible. Hello, uh, hello, Ted. I added another to my basket at fourteen ninety nine, but the checkout is still on seventy four ninety nine. Come on, jewelry maker. Sorry, I think everything because we are bombarding the systems, and again, now you see why we do have to kind of monitor it. We have to kind of manage it. You know, regardless, Ted, you will pay the final low, and we're not even stopping here. You won't be paying fourteen ninety nine because we're at twelve ninety nine now, and the good news is we're going lower again. So, Ted. Check out regardless. Nothing's, de you know this, don't you? Nothing is debited. Nothing is debited from your account until it's ready to, uh, ready to be shipped. Um, that's why I'm desperate to check out. And look, you can see me there. Why is it saying three? I Hang thought on. I'd try and drop it. If it maybe dropped it down, it might. Oh, is that you adjusting it? Yeah. Well, I didn't know what else to do, so. Oh, I was going clear. And then I was going to do it twice. What do you mean I'm not a trusted customer? Are you maybe blacklisted? I am not blacklisted. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. They've got a post <laughs> upstairs. But yeah, Watch don't... out for this woman. Hey. <laughs> yeah, no, please do. Can you, can you, uh, Ross, I'm going to ask you to phone a call centre for me in a minute. I'm going to get, I'm going to, I'm going to get you to phone up the call centre. You need a disguise. What could your disguise be? I don't know. Yeah, big, big moustache. A minute clock, we're going lower. We've got a big quantity. We are taking it. I'm going to say it out loud. Ready? Oh. We are going to take this amazing strand under £10 for you this morning. Remember that one back in November last year? We've shown you the auction history. Um, nearly 400 of them sold. You can see the time it was sold. You can see the date that it was sold. It was a deal of the day. Look, show title at the end of the column. Deal of the day. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, even prior to me knowing that we were going to show this, um, I said, if it were any other day of the week, this would be your deal of the day. And there is the history proof. It would be. Um, and at twelve ninety nine, that's an amazing deal of the day price tag. But I've said it out loud now, jewellery makers, in 20 seconds, we are taking this to that single figure price tag. Uh, I, 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 do you know what, Ross? It's it's one of those that you kind of go. Ross has just said, I think it rivals that zircon. Absolutely, but there, there's different there's different traits of it. Both of those gemstones. There's a reason why they? They you would have yeah. you would actually have your uh, your zircon. There's a reason why you would choose the topaz. Look at our sister channel as a prime example. They alternate between the two mm. for different beautiful reasons. Are you ready today? 
you are getting this impeccable strand of dazzling white topaz for nine pounds and 99 pence only ross please can you phone the gallery for me uh, sorry the the call center for me pretty 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 please i and i would like uh seven please yeah because claire wants some as well so yes please what how many well they're not checking out anyway so it's not checking out so I, it's it's just is anybody else having this issue or is it just me? Maybe I am blacklisted. <laughs> Look at how beautiful these are. 9.99, well done to you, Susan in Essex. Elvina, well done to you. Wiltshire's getting six. Fabulous J. Marie, Margaret. Anne's got four. Paulie, Myrtle, Jenny, Ray, amazing. Um, hello, June. Good morning, Ellen Claire. Just had to get uh, the white topaz. Absolutely. I think, do you know what? We'd regret not getting it, yeah, June, to be honest. It, June. It's beautiful. Look at it. Mm. Yeah. Just look at that. And going through all of your colourless stones, which I love them all for so many different reasons, but topaz, I always introduce it as a naturally brilliant forming stone. Yes. It loves to have brilliance. It loves to play with light. That's why, yes, that suggestion earlier on, alongside something monochrome like black spinel or maybe your black jadeite, mm -hmm. complementing it with something like your Akoya pearls. Amazing. South Sea pearls. Why not? Um, beautiful Baroque pearls. In fact, hang on a second. Can we just add to this beautiful... Ooh. handful of incredible treasures oh gosh, that we that. have coming up i've got some beautiful pearls coming up in today's show and again imagine your topaz yes. how amazing is this collection um draped across the back of my hand we had 522 available but again um it might seem like a huge quantity i'm waiting desperately to see my name on the call screens um it might need to wait till the break now well done everybody pauline congratulations angela well done veronica well done uh Wiltshire again, well done getting six. Devon multi buying, I can't keep up with you now. Every time I say your name, this call screen jumps down. Fabulous. You can still do it if you're thinking you've missed out on such an opportunity. You absolutely haven't. And uh, and also, Claire, maybe the, I know that we have a lot of new cup, uh, customers that join um, Jewelry Maker during the birthday celebrations. You know, is this a strand that's very, uh, very easy to work with? Yes, yeah, really easy um, because you can, you know, you've got a good drill hole in there. So you could work with um, head pins, your beading yep. thread, wires if you wanted to. And again, because you're, you know, just a couple is going to give you impact, isn't it? Yeah. But, you know, layer, layer them up and you're going to get so much sparkle. Oh, love that. Um, hello, Miss Janet saying, I had trouble the other day when my card had expired. Oh, no. oh it is stunning. And my granddad's birthstone. Oh, 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 even, even Ross can't get through at the moment. It's that busy. Um, so super, what? Sorry. So super... I missed the last of that message. Sorry, Ross. Super special to you. Oh, bless, bless you then, Miss Janet. Amazing. It's stunningly beautiful, honestly. And wait until you see it when you get home. Oh, I like that. Um, how about That's that? Nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, we're going to do a 60-second clock. We're going to... Um, yeah. You, oh, goodness me. That. Check out the uh, check out the baskets now. This uh, this clock is uh, highlighting the closure of the auction. If you've got a phone in your hand, don't worry. Our call centre will get to you. Um, if it's in your baskets, you really need to be checking out your baskets sooner rather than later. And the, the item's going to disappear. And likewise, every other. There I am. I can see. Yeah, you. I know. This is infuriating. Just hanging You're hanging around. I'm not hanging muscle. around. I'm trying to check out. <laughs> You're hanging around with your moustache that side. You need to be over this side. <laughs> Check out, everybody. Good luck in 30 seconds. Um, speak to our call centre if you're having the same issues as I am. Um, now, the conch shell pearl is coming up in the next hour with Claire's beautiful kit. Um, we're going to do the demonstration first. And then we're going to uh, um, obviously introduce the gemstone. Um, so, yeah, these beautiful kits, they are mind-blowingly beautiful. And it will go perfectly with your white topaz. Check out your baskets, everybody. I'm trying, I'm trying, and I'll see you the other side of this. Happy 13th birthday, jewellery maker. Happy birthday. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. I can't wait uh, to share the celebrations and some cake with you guys. Tune in for the epic deals that we've got in store for you. Uh, and happy birthday once again. Hi, my name's Susie Mellon, and I just want to wish Jewelry Maker a very happy 13th birthday. Mwah. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. 
Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. The deal of the day on Friday is a conch collection, which comprises of a kit with three strands of conch in. Um, we've also got new development of carved conch, and we've also got a few individual pieces, collectible pieces, such as a donut. So for us to get conch into the business, it's a really long process. As we do with all our suppliers, we wanna make sure it's ethically sourced, it's being produced in um, factories where you know everyone's being treated correctly. Um, with conch, it's obviously a natural product so it takes us a little bit longer because we have to fill in extra paperwork get extra certification and it can take us about um, six or seven months to actually get it here so this collection has been in development for a really long time and I can't wait to bring it to the customers at Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Jewelry Makers, this Saturday is the closure of Jewelry Makers 13th birthday party celebrations. Boo! But don't worry, we've got a fantastic Saturday show for you. I'm going to be joined by the fantastic Susie, who is launching for the very first time her own Jadeite bead collection. Also, your deal of the day, you've seen it, is the beautiful Sakura Agate. We have it in brand new shapes and sizes, and also the most exquisite cashmere grey jadeite bangle there's more an exclusive book launch gem extender chains and lots of fun and games so make sure you don't miss out that's this saturday the last official day of the birthday Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. You are officially a teenager. Over the last 13 years, you have brought us the most amazing products and fantastic inspiration. So thank you so much and have a wonderful birthday. I'm very excited to come and celebrate with you. Hi, Charlie here, Sermon Street Director. Just wanted to wish Jewelry Maker a happy 13th birthday. Hi, you lovely people. Happy 13th birthday. Love seeing you when we take over from me at one o'clock each day. Have a great time. Keep on making. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, jewellery maker. It's Yvonne here. Just wanted to pop in and send huge congratulations for 13 fabulous years of jewellery maker. I couldn't be more delighted to be joining the jewellery maker team. I look forward to joining in with the frivolities during birthday week. And there's only one thing to say. Cheers. Oh, happy birthday, jewellery maker. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Let the party begin. 13 days of banging deals coming your way. Shitting. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. We hope you love all of the products that we've been developing for you over the last year. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Hello Jewelry Maker, John Scott here. Just wanted to wish you a very, very happy birthday. 13 years, my word. 13 years, you've not had me on enough, have you? I'll see you very soon. Have a fantastic 13 days. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. From the Hobby Maker team. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. 13 years of crafting your own gemstone jewelry. And I know this birthday celebration is even more exciting gemstones to come. Happy birthday.
So what happened on your sofa? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. So I don't know. <gasps> Dan was dog doggy sitting. Yeah. Which one was it? One of Claire's dogs. One of Claire's dogs. Did a doo doo yeah. on the sofa. And I panicked. I went. <laughs> and you panicked. Oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I had a weekend away. I felt like I needed to tell that story because it sounded a bit questionable at the beginning when I just asked that question. It did sound a lot worse than it was. Didn't it? So I was like, I actually need to continue this conversation. I sent down a message saying, everything OK? And you know on WhatsApp where you can see someone typing? Yeah. Every time I thought, oh, he's typing. Like half an hour later, oh, he's still typing. <laughs> still typing. And the first sentence was... I've got good news, I've got bad news, and then I've got some more good news. Because the second good news was that Claire was sleeping. Yeah, OK. Then it was cleaned up. Yeah. All oh, dear. <laughs> There's no secrets, is there? No. <laughs> Not with me around, anyway. Well, I did phone my mum before I saw Claire. Oh, you phoned your mum to get some tips on how to get <laughs> oh, it out. Oh, bless you, Dad. Bless you. He's oh, a sweetie, isn't he? He is. Um, now, a little bit of an update. Um, if, like myself, you were having trouble checking out, we've, we're going to do something quite unprecedented. Um, there are 95 left of the natural white topaz that we've just brought to you, those three millimetre stunners. Tell you what we're going to do, just because we, they're not available on the website, they've already disappeared, um, as they do with your lounge hour. But because we are aware that people would have had probably the same... Di we couldn't get through on the phone lines. Mm. I was having trouble on the app, which normally is what we would say. Just check out on the app. There's no queues there. But because, we, we, like I said, we've completely bombarded them, I managed to do it eventually. Um, yeah, we're going to do something that we don't normally do. We're going to actually load the graphics once again. So if you were one of the people that were, like myself, were having a little bit of a, um, a challenge... Uh, checking out and securing yours. Um, we don't normally do this. Normally, uh, um, your early bird uh, price points are set that way because basically uh, um, they disappear off the system. But we're going to do it just purely because, like I said, so many people, um, lots of you would have probably had the same issues that I do. I, I will never tire of looking at this. No. I, so I look at the front and you think, gosh, that's clear, pristine, isn't it? And then it's all those colours at the back. The fire. The, yes, yeah. Amazing. So lovely to see. Now can we all... Oh, we can't load it just yet. OK, leave it with us. If you're desperate for this strand, leave it with us. We will sort it. We will sort it for you, OK? So just bear with us and we'll uh, and I'll obviously tell you when, as and when, we'll be able to bring that to air. So, Claire, a little yes. bit of a different way around uh, yes. today's uh, kit hours because yeah. we've got Dave coming in to talk to us about Queen Conch because um, it's very much his baby and I truly think one of the most beautiful stones we've launched here at Jewelry Maker over recent years. Um, and also... Oh, I was about to reach over there, but my back won't let me. There we go. Um, Claire, the jewellery that you have created, just wow. Oh, it, do you know, I, f I feel it's like um, just classic, isn't it? Classic, classic designs. But what I love with this is the um, the indulgence of having those those three strands. Because if you... If I sort of... Can I um, lift it up a minute? Sure. OK? Sure. Because if you actually look... I mean, I didn't know if it, if it would be possible, um, but you've actually got... You know, there's so much there. There is no... There's no clasp on this. So, so I mean, it's an overhead necklace. Yes, yeah. So, I mean, you think how many... You know, how many are getting with that? Absolutely, you could put... If you've got a, a clasp that you want to work with. But, you know, I mean... It's to me. It looked like um, you know, like you always show the um, oh, it's that that slide with all the different like really incredible. Sophia pieces. Loren. Yeah, I know. I knew straight away what you're thinking yeah. of. Yeah, the Sophia Loren That's, coral it, necklace. It made me yeah. think. Of, made me think of that. Yeah, it just, does. When you're working, Do you with know the them, re reality is though that's rarer than her necklace. Really? Yeah, it's rarer because they are. They're so beautiful. The the markings on them, the colours. So this is the first time you've ever actually worked alongside yes. Queen Conch. It's yeah. beautiful. I've had it? I've had once I've had um, a, a clasp, um, but to w actually work with them, and it, and it made me think. Um, 
you know, like all the best things, I feel like, so they're so beautiful, but the drill hole in them yeah. is incredible. Well, if you've never heard of what Queen Conch is, um, Dave's going to be stepping into the studio after the demonstration. So what, we're in about 10 minutes time. So um, yeah, Claire's going to demonstrate whichever, which is, uh, so well, I'm just going to, I'm going to show you little bits because so what I, what I'd also, I'm going to show you some knotting. I'm going to show you how you can, because with this one as well, and this is really beautiful. Um, so I'll show you how you can just, you know, if, if you do get this one, how you can just add in your um, And that's all from one you kit. You yeah, know, all of this is beautiful. from one kit. Um, okay, well, what are you going to okay. talk us through it? And so, what are you going to show so us? So if I show you, I'll show you very quickly oh, no, if you've got again. the, um, oh, I've done it again. There, there we go. go. Better. So if you do get this one, um, there's, a, there's a lovely chain uh, there and then you can add in. Um, so the way that they've been uh, positioned, they do sit fabulously um, so you can just add in your add in your chain. So I'll show you that one very very quickly first, just in case you've never made any any jewellery before um, of how you add in your. And this is a, this is a good you know this is sort of for, for any sort of kit that you do. So you're going to have come to the end of the the chain there. So I'd just taken some of my um, uh, I actually with this one I actually use uh, 0.4 wire. I've got my round nose pliers. So I'm going to make a little loop here, and just straight in there and then we're going to close close that up so I'm doing like a wrap loop as if it were a head pin and then we can snip that off now you can either if you've got um any sort of uh maybe if you've got the um the topaz you could add in a topaz there that's a nice size but let's take one of those pop that on bring that down so then by doing that you can then add in anything that you want there. So I'm going to add in my, whether you worked with a jump ring, you've got your clasp, but that means now, and I'm going to do three wraps here to keep it neat. So that means that we can then, if you've got the, the queen conch one, then that's your, you'd have them and that'll be your necklace there. Beautiful. So you do exactly the same on the other side. And that means then that becomes rather than just that gorgeous chain, you, you can make it into a um, necklace or if you were going to cut it up, you'd have it as your bracelets. So if you're going to have a go with the, um, uh, the piece that is knotted, so if we have a look and I'll talk through some of it. So I actually worked with, um, I had three separate strands of um, silk. Uh, my starting point with both were just under that little bow detail. So I started uh, with the rice, you can see, so I've got three rice beads and I used every single um, uh, bead. Um, and I haven't knotted, I haven't knotted through the, the larger sections. Um, so the sections at the front with the larger diameter, I've actually put uh, sterling silver space in there. You, you can absolutely knot as well if you wanted to, but I've used the, the sterling silver there. Um, and I can put on my Facebook page the, the quantities or the amounts that I've done so that you get that nice um, graduated drape with it. So if you start, so you've got your um, thinking, you're starting each of the, the knotted sections underneath that, that bow. So if, if we look on how that would correspond in the board. So if we imagine that we've got our, you can see there you've got your jump ring and then you've got... Um, a knot. So if we think about that now, so if we're looking at that and then we come down to what's on the board. So if I've got, so I'm going to use this larger gold one and we'll pretend that that's our, that's our jump ring there. Okay. So I'm going to start and we imagine that our bow is here and we're going to start knotting from here. So if we've got the rice beads, and I'm not going to cut all of um, the lovely strands that, that Dave is going to be showing you as well, but so you can see, so I actually started off three, three of the rice beads, then I go into, um, into the rounds, into the smaller rounds. So our first thing that we're going to do, how you start off, so you take all of your silk off, and this would be the same for each of the three strands. So we'll take, we'll, we'll just do one. So I've got all of my um, silk off the, off the little uh, bit of card that it comes on. I'm going to go through the drill hole there. Now, what I would say is really point out to you, as I was saying to Elle, these are so beautiful. I mean, the markings on them are incredible. They just, they stop you in your tracks as you're working. 
but also it's just that as jewelry makers you know that joy of that if you look at that drill hole you're thinking all the time there's so much that you could you know you can do with that it's not sometimes you'll get really really beautiful you know pearls especially uh, and the drill hole will will mean that yes they are absolutely gorgeous but that drill hole um it stops you from doing certain things you know it's just, just unfortunate you know it's just the, the way it is so let's just i'm going to go through i'll go through this side so i'm going to go through here bring that down and then i take the needle through here and bring that so you can actually get two through. lots of your silk through. Well, so this is the beauty. And if you wanted to do this design, if you look sort of, if you look on the necklace at the other side, um, if you go up, you will actually get uh, three. So can you ah. see there? What what become what you'll need to do at the other at the other end is you, you'll have those three separate strands of silk. Um, you know, and this is the quite substantial silk as well. It's got that lovely twill with it um, and it absolutely goes through. So you'll get three lots through, which means it is possible to do that design, you know, and you keep it, keep it neat and tidy. So it's up to you whether you decide that you, if you want to have a knot at the beginning. So I'm going to have, uh, I'll have one knot there. So I'm just going to feed that through. I'm going to knot, I tend to knot with a macrame pin it's whatever you know suits you I come through I need to bring that one through there before I tighten it up too much just get the round through tie that first knot so the thing with knotting is to just take your time the minute you start to see anything twist in a way that you don't want it to just to stop, retrace your steps. So I can already see I need to pull one of those strands a little bit tighter, just work out. So I'm supporting it so that the weight of any findings or beads doesn't tighten the knot, but I've got good control of it. I'm gonna tighten that knot going up there. So it's more sort of as you're working, just, it's just thinking about, it's, it, often it can be um, just gravity of things. So you could see, so if that, you know, if I've got a weightier finding on there, that could tighten the knot. Uh, the bead itself could, could tighten the knot. So it's just sort of supporting uh, all the areas that, that you're working with. So that means that you're, you decide when that knot tightens and where uh, and at what point. So I've got a knot here. So I've got my long length of, of silk. So we can do, we don't need that shorter piece. So I'm just gonna get rid of that one there. So we'll have a, a knot on here. And I use the clear nail varnish to pop in there. Okay, so we've now got our thread here. Now remember, you would have this is these are the these are the lengths that I've got left. So you'd have a lot longer than that. So let's pop that here. I'm gonna get my macrame pin. So let's go through now. So I'm gonna feed that all the way down to the, this knot here. And I'm gonna do an overhand knot. Place that knot down again. So thinking about gravity, I don't want I don't want that knot to tighten in a place that um, I don't want it to. So I'm going to hold here, pop my macrame pin in, and bring that knot so that it almost folds over next to the the bead. Using the, my finger and thumb here, I'm pushing and tightening the knot up to the, so it touches the bead. Find the next one, and you'll really see. Really mindful, I think. Knotting. It is uh, knotting is knotting is lovely, and it's you know, it, like you say, it's really mindful. It's very relaxing, but you also it's um, you know that the difference it makes to your uh, the, the pieces of jewelry that you're working with, it, it, you know, it makes such a difference that the feel of a, a, a knotted piece mm. is 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 wonderful. I think that how it moves, how it drapes, it really is worth the time. So again, so I'm going to take that, tightening that knot around the pin. Let's push up there. Okay, so you're trying to get these knots that they're sitting really, really closely to, to the end. So now if we imagine that we've done, we've done all of those and you can see on the actual finished piece, so I've done it, I've started off because you've got that, that you've got so many of them 
And if you want to have that graduated strand, so I would say, like I have, you start off with the rice bead because it's narrower. So if you go, you've got the rice bead, the rice Do bead. Bring it out? There we are. And then can you see here? So if I sort of show you at this point here, so the rice bead and then you're going into the smaller and then larger. And if so, if you do it like that, make make the use of the of the, you know, the beautiful shapes you're working with, because then that helps with how it sort of splays out then. So you don't want too much bunched up by that that lovely yeah. bow. So if we look, if we imagine that we've gone all the way around. How we then finish off the piece. So I've got my last but one. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put um, I'm not gonna put do a knot now because this is my last but one. So I'm gonna take the the next one and let's bring that down. Let's bring that on here. Uh, and I'll go. Let me just I'm gonna close up this jump ring. Going to be really naughty and use my one lot of chain nose and one lot of round nose pliers. Ideally, you'd use your two chain nose. Make sure that that's closed up. Okay, so now I'm going to go through here. So I've gone into here. And I'm going to pick up my last round and go through. Let's tighten this up. So again, all the time I'm working, I'm working with my beading board, especially, you know, thinking about the gravity and the weight of the pieces. I'm gonna bring that down and tighten that. So now we've got this. So I'm gonna hold here and I go round my finger and go through, up through with the needle, feed all of that through. And again, just support the whole piece now so that again, it's this, this is your last knot, you're controlling it. Tighten, and I'm gonna do one more. So I'm just going through. And let's bring this round. Bringing it through, making sure it doesn't get caught up or not around in any other space in between any other rounds. And I'm just going to tighten that there as well. So now, if we look at it, you then go in very, very carefully. A little bit of clear nail varnish here. And then we can go in, snip off. So clear nail varnish, snip off. This one here, a little bit of clear nail varnish, let that dry. Go in and snip off. So when you're, that's how you would do your standard, standard knotting. Beautiful. It's lovely, isn't and it? And you're so right. The movement that you get from a knotted it's, necklace. You can even see that in that tiny. So what's that? Five of them. Yeah. And the, the knotting makes a massive difference. It Amazing. really, really does. And it's a lot safer, you know, when you're working yeah. with, um, you know, pieces like this, you want to really look after them. So if for any reason it breaks, you're, you're going to lose, you know, maybe one of them. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe one of them. Yeah. Um, well, Dave is coming on air in about uh, in a few minutes time um, to bring you Claire's very special kits. We've never done kits like this before um, in the Queen Conch where you're actually getting multiple strands and that beautiful class that mm. you saw in, in Claire's lovely jewellery. So you're going to be able to get hold of those in moments time. Um, but in the meantime, we have corrected it. If you were one of the many people, myself included, um, that struggled to check out during this opportunity, <laughs> listen, we had 522 of them initially. Um, we did somewhat. That's why, can you see why now we always say, look, uh, uh, look, join us. We want to see you on the call screens. You know, want to see you on the, uh, on the web, et cetera, even if you don't check out. It just literally helps us with the traffic, I suppose, um, the traffic on the web app and the phone lines. Now, um, if you weren't able to check out or maybe you weren't even watching, then you might well have missed out on the opportunity on Totally Natural, Utterly Pristine Eye Clean Topaz. We had 95 left. Uh, it disappeared from the website because we brought it to you in a lounge hour. But as I said earlier on, it's faultless. I can't, I, it, as somebody that has worked with gemstones for half my life, um, over half my life in actual fact, um, 
And somebody that has had the training to sort of say, okay, find a flaw. Fault, you know, where's, is there anything negative that I can find about this strand? Genuinely, I cannot find anything. It is naturally eye clean. I mean, look at that, how pristine that clarity is. And if, you, if you're thinking, okay, well, else, all the faceting, the luster, the brilliance, you wouldn't see any of that if they were, if they were included. Um, we didn't close this at 19.99, which is absolutely incredible. So many of us, and it is us, um, didn't just buy ones or twos. We got sixes, sevens, eights, nines, tens, and I think we even have twelves. I don't think you're going to regret that purchase because we said earlier on, Claire, you know, these could be an alternative to your knotting. Mm. You could use these as an alternative to your spaces, looming. You could do things like your beady beads. Tassel, yeah, tassels. yeah, bubble style, absolutely, yeah. But again, if, if you're just start, if you just started out jewelry making, you know, absolutely use a strand like this. Use some nice beading thread. Well, that's why I like it. It's easy to use. Yeah. I'm going to make high-end jewellery yeah, simple, with, with simple simply, techniques. Yes, yes, um, and was yes. it Sally that messaged in earlier on saying, can you imagine it alongside something like oh, black spinel or lovely. black jade eye? Um, and somebody messaged in thinking they were diamonds. I can totally, mm -hmm. totally, totally see why. If they were diamonds, we wouldn't be at 20 quid. Definitely not. We'd probably be at a four-figure price tag. Um, and again, I don't want anyone to think that topaz is maybe a gemstone that is a, um, an alternative. I think that's a dreadful word um, to use when we're discussing uh, Mother Nature's um, incredible gemstones. It's, it actually shows more brilliance than diamonds in many cases. Definitely the case that's on your screens right now. Incredibly, we had 95 out of the 522 that we initially launched. We have to recap this. We're recapping it purely because so many of you, like myself, did have tr uh, trouble actually checking out your baskets if you're one of those people now here's your call to action because 95 can be gone in a nanosecond especially when there's people getting quantities like twos threes fours uh, 12s i saw quantities 12s i got eight mm. well we claire yeah it went up again <laughs> it's no no i took it to i firstly started at seven and then Claire wanted some, so I upped the quantity. Then Claire reduced it to three <laughs> because she was thinking that might be why I can't check out. But it's all right, it's back up to eight now. Yeah. It's all good. The, honestly, exceptional. How beautiful would this be with your queen conch? How amazing would it be with something like your high-end pearls? Um, or simple, just really simple, knotting it with your silk, maybe creating some uh, wonderful crocheted style. This, you know, the opportunities truly are endless. Sandy, Vivian, Joanne, well done to you. Suzanne, you've got yours. Multi buyers, Bristol, how you come out than Janice, Linda, Catherine, Sue, Janice. You've got to remember we are recapping this just a minute, a few minutes later, mm. and there's still a volume of yeah. people on the phone yeah. lines. Um, we spoke about Akoya pearls, we spoke about some of your fine quality Baroque pearls, we spoke about I'm trying to think of all of our uh, ultra high end gemstones. Do you know I'm thinking because we had 30 inch Pink chains on um on Wednesday. So yeah, I'd have a long 30 inch chain, you know that some of the beautiful pearls that we've done. I mean, you've got a lovely one there as well in that. Um, so one of those, you could do a little bubble style um, at the end of it, couldn't you? I mean, I mean gorgeous bridal jewelry as amazing. well. Amazing, truly, truly amazing. And the fact that it is actually uh, uh, drilled means that we can work for, with it as jewelry makers. Yes, yeah. Now in 60 seconds, we are closing this auction. It was just another little recap. Um, and then, oh no. Um, we've got to pop a balloon. Clay, you can pop the balloon, can't you? Oh, okay. You can pop the balloon. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like balloons. <laughs> uh, it's, I, frankly, I think it's just mean. Oh, like, I'm, I'm ready. Are we going to pop a balloon after? Not yet. Oh. Not yet. Well, you can come in, though, Dan. Why not? Just come in. <laughs> after these 30 seconds, Dan, you can get ready with your balloon. Come on, here he is with your smouldering eyes, our gorgeous Dan. There he is, I know. Calm down. Calm down, everybody. We're going to be popping a balloon in a few moments' time. Um, can you do it in that direction, though, please? Makes me really nervous. Sorry, everyone's teasing our lovely Dan. Um, so what did happen on Claire's sofa? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> only joking. I'm only joking. Uh, well done, everybody. These are so close, to, so close to selling out. Well done, everybody. OK. Hang on. I, oh, God. OK. Yeah? Pop the balloon. Go on, just do it. Yeah? Oh, oh. good Lord. Oh. Get this code ready. Oh, that's a funny Ooh. code. S L little Z big V three little R. Oh, 
Mm. So, are we going to do another one? Yeah. Can we not do balloons when I'm on air? Do these with Carol? Because I, 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 I know you do it on purpose. I, I, I wouldn't say I'm scared. Oh! Hey! Just unnecessary. I don't get them. They're just so weird <laughs> balloons, aren't they? Just really weird. Oh! Oh, Dan, what is it? <laughs> yeah! You get the smolder as well. <laughs> <laughs> Only two people. What oh. two people for that code that Dan had? Yeah. Five for the first code. Just taking the Mickey. Oh, it's another one. Yeah. Taking the Mickey. I've got a bad back as well, so I can't even lean that. Ready? Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> there it is. Oh. That was the <laughs> Right, who's uh, right this code? Ooh. Ooh. Tullaba. <laughs> That's easy to remember, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh. Tullaba. Okay. Uh, how many people can use this code? Three for that code. Do we know what it gets them? Oh, you'll find out at the checkout. You can use it with your queen conch. So hopefully you've got those codes. Um, yeah, do you want to hold them all up Should again? Should we put them all up? Should we? Yeah, just so everyone knows what they are. There we go. So quickly take a photograph if you've got your phone handy. So there's this one. Yeah, take a photograph or write it down. Lovely. Yeah. Next one. Second one. Love it. And uh, next one. Ooh. Ooh, Tullaba. Love it. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Good luck. You can use these on the Queen Conch. Amazing. Go just down every Yay! Day. Yeah. Yeah. Next time, please do come oh. on our screens, Dan, but without yeah. the balloons. <laughs> just bring them in with the bits of paper. That's oh, my fun, gosh. Look I at know, this. It's been an absolute mess, haven't we? Um, the wonderful Dave is stepping into the studios to launch, to relaunch, I should say, um, your beautiful Queen Conch. Now, this is not only one of the world's rarest gemstones, it has to be one of the world's most beautiful um, that we've had the privilege of mm. seeing crafted into mm. Claire's beautiful jewellery. Um, for the first time ever, these kits, we've got kits which include multiple strands and sterling silver components, and we have some absolutely exquisite carved pieces too to tell the wonderful story, the legacy that is Queen Conch, Dave Troth. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Let the party begin. 13 days of banging deals coming your way. Shitting. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. We hope you love all of the products that we've been developing for you over the last year. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday, jewellery maker. It's Yvonne here. Just wanted to pop in and send huge congratulations for 13 fabulous years of jewellery maker. I couldn't be more delighted to be joining the jewellery maker team. I look forward to joining in with the frivolities during birthday week. And there's only one thing to say. Cheers. Oh, happy birthday, jewellery maker. <laughs> The deal of the day on Friday is a conch collection, which comprises of a kit with three strands of conch in. Um, we've also got new development of carved conch, and we've also got a few individual pieces, collectible pieces, such as a donut. So for us to get conch into the business, it's a really long process. As we do with all our suppliers, we wanna make sure it's ethically sourced, it's being produced in um, factories where you know everyone's being treated correctly. Um, with conch, it's obviously a natural product so it takes us a little bit longer because we have to fill in extra paperwork get extra certification and it can take us about um, six or seven months to actually get it here so this collection has been in development for a really long time and I can't wait to bring it to the customers at Jewelry Maker Happy 13th birthday Jewelry Maker you are officially a teenager over the last 13 years you have brought us the most amazing products and fantastic inspiration so thank you so much and have a wonderful birthday i'm very excited to come and celebrate with you
Hi, Charlie here, Seven Street Director. Just wanted to wish Jewelry Maker a happy 13th birthday. Hi, you lovely people. Happy 13th birthday. Love seeing you when we take over from here at one o'clock each day. Have a great time. Keep on making. Hello, Jewelry Maker. John Scott here. Just wanted to wish you a very, very happy birthday. 13 years, my word, 13 years, you've not had me on enough, have you? I'll see you very soon. Have a fantastic 13 days. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. From the Hobby Maker team. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. 13 years of crafting your own gemstone jewelry. And I know this birthday celebration is even more exciting gemstones to come. Happy birthday. Jewelry Makers, this Saturday is the closure of Jewelry Makers' 13th birthday party celebrations. Boo! But don't worry, we've got a fantastic Saturday show for you. I'm going to be joined by the fantastic Susie, who is launching for the very first time her own Jadeite bead collection. Also, your deal of the day, you've seen it, is the beautiful Sakura Agate. We have it in brand new shapes and sizes, and also the most exquisite cashmere grey jadeite bangle. There's more, an exclusive book launch, gem extender chains, and lots of fun and games. So make sure you don't miss out that's this Saturday, the last official day of the birthday. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Happy birthday! Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. I can't wait uh, to share the celebrations and some cake with you guys. Tune in for the epic deals that we've got in store for you. Uh, and happy birthday once again. Hi, my name's Susie Mellon, and I just want to wish Jewelry Maker a very happy 13th birthday. Mwah. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello Jewelry Maker, John Scott here. Just wanted to wish you a very, very happy birthday. 13 years, my word. 13 years, you've not had me on enough, have you? I'll see you very soon. Have a fantastic 13 days. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. From the Hobby Maker team. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. 13 years of crafting your own gemstone jewelry. And I know this birthday celebration is even more exciting gemstones to come. Happy birthday. Welcome back, lovely Jewelry Makers. Oh, uh, like I said, a little bit of a rejig for today's show, and that's because we simply had to have the wonderful Dave Troth launching these opportunities to you all. He is back, fighting fit once yep, again. Thank you. And I said it earlier on, Dave, uh, you know, rarity aside, because we know this is incredibly yes. rare, this has to be one of the most beautiful gemstones in existence. Yeah, I agree. I, obviously, I agree. But also, just actually seeing the finished pieces here today, actually getting to to see them. Like yeah. it's one thing kind of designing them, speaking with the team, seeing pictures over WhatsApp, but then to see them physically in the studio, it is a uh, take my breath away. I mean, if you was to see these anywhere in the world, it would usually be Basel World in Switzerland. Mm. Um, You'd, it would be price and application. And I'm not talking about for the, the conch pearl. I'm talking about this, which, you know, let's not forget, Bonhams refers to this gemstone as the conch pearl. Um, these intricate filigree carvings that we're also able to bring to you as the first time ever today with these wonderful patterns are probably the most difficult feat we have ever brought to our collectors across any gemstone. Um, I'm told that there is about a dozen people globally that can do it. Okay. There's about uh, a handful in Italy and then there are some in the Far East as well that are able to work with shell like this. You know, it's, 
it's uh, you know there's two different disciplines. But when you're talking about a gemstone, for instance, like jadeite, which is harder than steel, yeah. which is a, a gemstone like that, it's a very different set of uh, skill. But when we're talking about the delicacy of a shell and to have it this durable, it is something that very few will ever dare to attempt, especially when we factor in the rarity that we're talking exactly, about. Exactly, yeah. And then that three-strand satoir kind of necklace that we've got. I mean, I remember when the first time we ever brought a single strand, and by the way, that's all we've ever done is bring single strands. That was mind-blowing. But this opportunity today, and I want to remind everyone, of course, that that is ridiculously uh, rare to do. We will never be able to encapsulate something like that again. And it is very, very limited. Um, that whole piece of jewellery is maybe the finest commission that I've been a part of here at Jewellery Maker and at Gemporia. Wow. That's, that's the way that I feel about that piece. Um, even when we dared to dream that we might be able to produce something like this, I'll be honest, we never thought we'd be able to get it for the birthday. We thought it'd take much longer. But when we dared to dream, I was, I was ready for that to be even here, you know, thousands of pounds. And mm. the, the, the reason I'm telling you that is because it's not going to be. The deal that we've got on that is absolutely exceptional. I think every single one of you will be able to own it. And I don't want to just comp uh, keep comparing to the kind of Bonhams and Christie's, which is where we really see this material. You don't see it on the high street. You don't see it on the, on the Bond Street jewelers. And the reason is it's too difficult. Yeah. It's too hard to do. It's not easy. It's not mass produced. There's not lots of people that offer it. You know, I was fortunate enough once when we launched uh, our Queen Kong offering to produce, I guess, what we would call a donut, which is this piece here. And um, that was like a, an unbelievable commission. It was a one of a kind. It's 18 karat pink gold. It's VSI diamonds. It's a pink diamond in the center inside a no heat Montana sapphire torus wow. uh, cut by Glenn Lehrer. And it was 7,000 pounds. Wow. That's our own prices. And it's sold. It's yeah. never, we've never seen it again. A uh, private collector does own that, and it is absolutely amazing. The reason I reference that is because I was told you know, three years ago, four years ago, that that would be the only donut they could produce because of the, how difficult that was to do. Yeah. How difficult just that was to do, to cut the center out of a shell that large. And we have the donut today. And then we go even further with the, the, the filigree work, the open work, which... I'm told only a dozen people can do. Now, just to give you some idea of why we, we launched the kind of David Harry Jewels collection and the Queen Kong offering, it was because uh, Steve Bennett approached me and said, you know, why don't you work on your own brand? Um, and he said, look, he very kindly said, we have you know, millions of dollars of gemstones at our disposal in our vaults in India. We have the most incredible skilled uh, people in Bangkok, in Jaipur and in China. And and, and I think he wanted me to design something. And I said, to be honest, you know, the, the best, the, my favorite part of my work is sourcing gemstones, going out into the market, finding gemstones, going out to the mines. And if I was going to ever, you know, put my kind of name to something, I wanted it to be something that you've never seen before. Yeah. I didn't want to just give you my version of the Parade of Tourmalines that you've already seen or my version of design on the, the, the Burmese rubies mm. or my version of the jade. You know, when, when I brought you the David Harry Jules jade statues, that was something we oh. never dreamt we could do. Yeah. That's what I want to do when I put my name to something. It's not like, um, and, I don't, and I don't mean this, because I love my job, basically. I get to be with you all the time. I get to bring you wonderful gemstones all the time, I get to talk to you about them, talk to you about their, their incredible story. But if, if it was going to be me from, from you know, inception to delivering it to you, then I wanted it to be something that you've never done. And that's why I won't be doing this every quarter or no. every, you know, like Charlie Barron brings you the Charlie Barron collection. We do it every quarter. Yeah. Rudy Wabito, Glenn Lehrer, and we have four times a year and it's great. You know, the David Harry Jewels might be once a year. It might be less, it might be more. Mm -hmm. But one thing that I want you to know is it'll always be something that we have, you know, never, ever seen before. Always exclusive. Absolutely. And it was inspired personally by this piece here which I remember seeing uh, at an auction house. And I, I knew instantly that that central gem was a conch pearl, obviously, and I knew there was diamonds. But those long, incredible kind of curling petals that you know, striated out in this signed Tiffany piece, I had no idea what they were. And I was like, what is it? And by the way, it sold for three quarters of a million dollars. Wow. It's like a brooch. It's, it's amazing. And um, I remember speaking with a lot of people in the, in, that I know in the, the pearl industry, and the pearl industry is fragmented into two. There is the commercial pearl industry, and then there's what we call the natural pearl industry. And they're two different dealers. And, uh, you know, when I go to, I always talk to you when we go to the Akoya uh, people, Sid, who brings us to South Sea, 
He has like a seven floor uh, kind of, I don't want to call it a factory, but it is um, in Bangkok. That's what you would call it. And on each floor, they'll have like, you know, on one floor, they'll just have the stringers. On one, on one floor, they'll have the sorters. Mm. On one floor, they'll have the akoyas. Then they'll have the South Sea. And it goes on and on. And they have, and when we go there, you know, last time I was there was in November, we'll buy, I don't know, 100,000 pearls in one go. Like okay. literal potato sack sizes of okay. pearls. That's how we get the incredible deals. When you meet a natural pearl dealer, they carry, they carry their inventory in the lunchbox. Wow. And it's millions of dollars. There's a gentleman that I met, Steve, uh, just this Tucson, who had probably the most valuable pearls in the world. It's a metal lunchbox. Obviously, it's got a lock and everything. It's this size. And he opens it up, and they're all individual. And he'll have mellow pearls that are $100,000. He'll have conch pearls that are $100,000. And it was him that I spoke to a few years ago about that piece. And he was saying, look, I deal with natural pearls. Mm -hmm. And natural pearls, just so you know, aren't even pearls. We call them pearls, but they're not. It's not nacre. It is a calcious concretion. It's a very different gemstone. You don't have the orient that we have with uh, Akoyas and South Sea and Tahitian. You don't talk about the luster. You talk about the flame. And um, he, he told me what that was. And he said, it's the Queen Kong. Like, it's actually the, the, the incredible shell itself. And he told me how much rarer it was than even the conch pearl. Wow. And like that piece there that you've got with you, Al, <clears throat> that's what we're talking about. That, the reason I've got that is because it's not Queen Kong. It is Kong, but Queen Kong, in the eyes of the industry, is when it's probably twice the size, it's 20 years old, and it can be carved. That cannot be carved. It's got the color, and that yeah. can produce a pearl. At any age, it can produce a pearl. But it is not, um, it's not the, the, the carving grade. So it's sold to tourists, and it's amazing. The carving grade, they maybe find one a year. And if you, you see it there, it's so impressive. But if you turn it round, or if you pick it up and just show the, the, the top of it, that's almost impossible to find in the sand. And it's, 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 why are they as rare as that then, Dave? The well, green conch? It's, well, they're very slow growing. They're very slow moving. They're, they're very susceptible to predation by, you know, nurse sharks, mm -hmm. uh, uh, eagle rays, sea turtles. There's also uh, a massive, massive industry for the conch meat in, in that part of the world, in the mm -hmm. Caribbean and in Florida. And they're fished, they're commercially fished for that. So the chances of one ever reaching what we would call the mature stage, where it becomes the queen, where it can be used for the most incredible carving in the world, is far rarer than finding a pearl. They say it's like one in 10,000 or one in 15,000 uh, conch will produce a pearl in its lifetime. Wow. It's okay. like, they say it's one in two million. One in two million that reaches, and it's like I said, it's twice the size of that. Wow. Reaches that size. I didn't see one. I went to the Caribbean and I was looking for one. And they told me when they find them, if they find them, they, they're bought the same day. They send pe people are sent in and they, they buy them. And, and they're shipped off to those parts of the world where they can work with it. Um, I want to talk to you about the history and gemology of the Queen Conch very briefly, if, if I may. During Queen Victoria's reign, which was 19, uh, sorry, 1837 to 1901, the shell of the conch, the shell of the conch was imported into Europe to be carved as cameos. And they loved it because as you carved into it, the pink skin came through. Mm -hmm. This kind of sashimi pink uh, 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 skin came through. And it was the cameo's favorite in like Naples. Um, Italian cameo carvers preferred this shell because of its delicate pink tints. Now, they say the structure of the Queen Conch shell has been described in great detail by Bowman uh, and briefly by Brown. Uh, since the pearl is formed in exactly the same manner as the shell, one expects to find a similar structure. And that's what I want you to understand, that, you know, this gentleman, Steve, said to me that probably 50% of the conch pearls that he has are probably conch shell. Right. Or what we would know as conch shell. That when they get that full mature queen conch, some skilled carvers would just carve it into the shape of a pearl because it's, it's much thicker than that. It's so dense. Yeah. Um, I mean, so, that's heavy. They are, you know, but I mean, like, for the, you know, the lip, I mean. Yeah. Where we're, the, the lip there, that, that it becomes extremely thick, where they could literally carve a round pearl. Wow. Um, and it would be solid in colour. And because, you see as well, if you can, I'll just come over here and just point to it if I can. You see this part here? Yeah. You see how it has that shimmering effect? Yeah. That's the flame. Wow. So you get that in the, the pearl and you get it in the shell because they're exactly the same. What, what an oyster does, or a bivalve mollusk, when it creates a pearl, whether it's naturally or in a pearl farm, like the Akoya or the, the, the South Sea, for instance, that we're also familiar with. <clears throat> An irritant gets put in, whether it's artificial or whether it's natural. And then the, the, in that case, the bivalve mollusk surrounds it in nacre okay, to contain it. And the, that creates the pearl. 
And what this does, exactly the same process, but what it does is it creates a miniature version of itself. So it literally, it doesn't create with nature, it creates with itself. So it creates a miniature version of itself, and that's why they're identical. It's almost, I don't know if it's even possible to tell the difference. Okay. And, and that's why people like uh, uh, Bonhams will refer to this material as the conch pearl. Right. Okay, they don't refer to it as conch shell, because the conch shell and the conch pearl are identical. You can't differentiate. But they're identical. Mm. Like, the, the pearl is, doesn't even exist. So, you know, that is the same material that we are bringing you today. And they call it the star ruby and conch pearl flower brooch. Okay, this is, um, look, they say the principal flower head set with the star ruby stamen within a round of pink conch pearl petals. We are calling it, you know, conch shell today or queen conch. But that is the identical material that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And that's how rare it is. You know, it is the, the types of Bonhams and the Sotheby's of this world that carry this material. And we are absolutely competing with those auction houses today with, with what we're bringing to you right now. This is something that sits in the British Museum. This is when it was they could get this material and they could take it over to Naples and it would be carved by the most incredible cameo carvers, wow. like 1860, in the reign of Queen Victoria, and it's in the British Museum. And, and this is the same gemstone that we're bringing you. Now, a lot of the material that is uh, next to Claire, the, the kind of jewellery that we're offering you, Although it has been carved for you guys, the actual, I don't even want to call it rough, but the queen conch that it's carved from will might in many cases be even 100 years old. Because right. they're collated in these industry, these parts of the world, like in Naples, in China. There's not enough coming out to create a collection like this in the modern age. It's not like we could go, right, we need 100 of these huge shells. They, you know, they're, they're lucky to find one a year. I went there and I spoke to the fishermen. I spoke to the people who find the conch pearls. I spoke to the jewelers on the island in Turks and Caicos. And you can get them from Guatemala as well. And they just, even they have never seen them. Wow. This is the, the reality. You see, this is that Steve that I was talking about um, who carries the, the natural pearls around their lunchbox. He says, many conch pearls that have been sold in Europe since the 18th century are actually the Sanger. And the Sanger is the fully mature queen conch. That's what they call it. So when it's young, it's a stroller. Um, and then it becomes the Sangha when it's the queen. Um, and they are indistinguishable because the composition is the same. So the magic of the actual shell that we're referring to is that it carries the shimmering flame that only 10% of the pearls have. So only 10% of the pearls have that. He says, I carry stock of the pearl, but I don't get the queen conch itself. It used to go to Italy or Germany, but now it goes to Japan or Hong Kong. That's just how it's changed. They have the more skilled um, kind of carvers now. And that's a Mickey Moto piece. And like, if you look at it, it's like, hopefully it's big on your TV screen. You can see the flame on it. Yeah, that pattern. That kind of shimmering flame. Yeah. And that's like um, almost echoed in the carved filigree pieces that we have today. Yeah. It's almost like the, the flame has been cut into it. It's amazing. Um, this is a, a 9.5 carat conch pearl. When I was at source, not wholesale, at source, just come out the waters. Um, that's it on a coin with the flame. Okay. And that is $14,000. That's the reality. And what we're bringing you is rarer and indistinguishable from that. Yeah. Like we could have taken this and just carved it into the shape of the pearl, which is what we've done with the Sartois necklace and called it conch pearl like Bonhams would. But we're not going to. We're going to give you this in incredible opportunity. This is that piece that I talked about. When it went to Christie's, it sold for $60,000. It's a signed Tiffany & Co piece. Um, the pre-sale estimate was 15 to 20. Pieces like this just bounce around the marketplace. And it came back and it sold for 700000 Wow. So someone bought that for 60000 And then a few years later, maybe a decade later, sold it again for $700,000. Because of the extreme unparalleled rarity of the color, of the size, and of the, 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 obviously the impressive kind of chrysanthemum blossom that we're looking at. In Idar Oberstein, where I was, went uh, last March, I met with some of the, well, the best carvers in the world. And I was talking with them, and I spoke with one of the um, families there. And they showed me a piece like this. And they said, the Sanger shell is the only variety that is considered gem grade, of all the shells. Um, I've carved one in my life. It was a beautiful angel skin color that shifted to a coral in different lights. Um, it was a very hard stone, and I carved it like a large round pearl, and I could have sold it as one. Many carvers here haven't even seen one. I would say my experience is far rarer than even the pearl. Much of the examples you see at auctions are likely from the masters of Naples. It could be centuries old. Mm. Yeah. No one's really bringing this back because it's too difficult. And, and in many cases, it's far too expensive. 
Like it's, you know, if you're a massive jewelry house, you want to create these wonderful looks, these designs, like Buddha's has the rain dance that you can repeat and bring them back. This material is always one of a kind. Mm. Always one of a kind. So, you know, they, they, even Tiffany, when they did it, it was a one of a kind. It's like their flagship piece, but they can't create a line of jewelry from it. And even we've struggled to do that. This is where some of them also go to be carved into uh, these incredible pieces. These are a one of a kind mythology conch shells. They're like 11,500 pounds. 11,500. Or this one here is 25,000 pounds. And, you know, you're fighting with people like that to get that shell to cut into what we've got today. Because that's the, that's the fully mature one. They yeah. take carving, that they can create something like that. 25,000 pounds. Yeah. And you see pieces like this. This is like 5,000 pounds, just a very small fragment. Or this here, this is 3,800. Again, this is the same material we're dealing with. Uh, Michael Kneebone works this material a lot in the starfish, two and a half thousand pounds. And Sotheby's has like this necklace, okay, this one incredible necklace, and it's four and a half to five thousand pounds pre sale estimate. And even in their condition report, they're like really honest about it. They say, look, various shades of pink, cream, and white, varying shapes, some with crazing. Okay. None of ours have crazing. It's overall in good, in good condition, but it's four and a half to five thousand pounds. And then you find um, Valentino Magro works with it, seven and a half thousand pounds for these strands. And then um, I remember reading this article uh, from Katrina Perez, and she talked about it's. I call it. I say it's one in two million because that's what I've been told. But she says it's one in two billion to get the actual shell. That's how rare it is. An average female conch must lay two million eggs to produce one that survives into the adult stages. Amazing. That's why I say one in two million. But she goes even further and says one in two billion, which is amazing. They tried to um, create an actual pearl farm, a, 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 a conch farm, um, in the Caribbean. It was a massive, massive, uh, uh, multi-million pound investment. Um, and they had millions of conch in there. And they wanted to bring them all through to maturity, all through, make it more sustainable. And then at the end of, of, of you know, their life, they would separate for the, the flesh, for the, that, that part of the world, and then send the, the incredible shells out to the, the carving mm -hmm. industries. And then a succession of hurricanes destroyed it. Mm. And this was, the, this was like the shining light of the Caribbean where they thought they'd be able to do it. And I'm fortunate enough to visit there. This is our footage with the drone. And, um, and now they say the price has gone up a 1,000%. A 1,000%. A thousand percent. Like I said, the material we have for you is extremely old. Like We, we have uh, incredible uh, contacts in Hong Kong mm. who've got this material. But if you were trying to source this today, it's beyond... Uh, uh, um, Acquire, acquirable, really, for us, for our price point. This is Captain Rico, who's a third-generation conch diver. And he said, you know, he took me out, he was showing me where they would look for these. And he said, the Sangre is ancient in these waters. They have to be very old, between 15 and 20 years at least. The conch matures at three or four, which is what you've got under okay. the desk. But she doesn't become a queen until she has her crown. And basically, you see the horns. That's like um, these horns and this kind of cone structure... They kind of rep they're kind of like rings of a tree, I guess, is, is how it's explained to me. I don't really know how to age it. But for the fully mature one, she literally has this huge crown. And this is considered, I guess, a stroller. Um, and then I want to bring you on to the people that are working with it in the modern era. In the modern era, there's very few. Like, I've shown you the Sign Tiffany piece. I've shown you that piece at um, Christie's uh, or Sotheby's where it was... Um, I think, what was it, uh, four and a half to five thousand pounds. But there's a new, young, incredible jewelry designer called Alessandro Sabatini who, who learned his skills under Cartier in Paris. Um, and he's just gone on his own. And he, his pieces are only available in two galleries in the world one in New York, um, and then there's one in London. And the one in uh, New York is called the FD Gallery. He has no website, it's Saba. He creates about 30 or 40 pieces a year, that's it. And I went to the FD Gallery, you can go there as well. Um, and they have like the most incredible jewellery, as you can imagine. And I saw those earrings in, in the centre. And I remember thinking, that has to be Kong. It has to be. And, but just so you know, the earrings on the right are like Colombian no oil emeralds. Okay. On the left, it's like the most incredible coral necklace. And so I saw them. Saba signed pink conch shell and diamond ear pendants. That's how they refer to them. And you can see you know, everyone Bellissima. falling in love with them. Yeah. And I asked them the price. And I want you to understand, when I say it's gone up a 1,000%, and this is modern material, this isn't even like from Naples, this is you know, Saba working as a job, and I don't want to disparage this, they're amazing. 
Very easy to do though. It's not open work carving, no. it's cabochons. And it's conch shell, it's not conch pearls. We know the price of conch pearls. They're ridiculously expensive. The conch shell, which I say is rarer, I asked the price for these. They were $68,000. Wow, okay. And you can see I was a little bit shocked because I said, is that US dollars? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, it is. $68,000. And they, by the way, just so you're aware, I couldn't say this if it wasn't true. I don't know, maybe it's platinum as well. I'm sure it is, or rhodium or whatever it may be. And I'm sure the diamonds are incredible. But for the Queen Kong, we have the exact same gem. We have the exact same gem. It's, it's so exciting, it's $68,000. And, and they're one of a kind. Yeah. so beautiful. I would go as far as actually saying this is probably... If you would say, name the most beautiful gemstone in the world, I probably would say this. Yeah, I agree. And I think... It, I genuinely think this, and I might be wrong, and if I am, please message in. I think the reason that we hear so much about uh, conch pearls and not so much about this variety is because it's so rare. Yeah. Like, I just think it's so hard to do. They get a consistent supply, very meagre, but a consistent supply of conch pearls. To f do something like this, mm. it's so much time and effort. And I want to let you know, there's, for the Sartois necklace, which is just maybe the most... I know I brought you the kind of jade statues which are out of this world, but in terms of jewellery, I think that is the most, for me, the most insane commission we've ever done. Ever done. We've never done multi-strand like that. And the Sartois finish, everything about it, the connector, it is like Met Gala jewellery. Yes. That's how I feel about it. The yeah. colours, you know, the angel skin... The corals, the sashimi pinks, those creams, no crazing, the, the, the graduation, the sizes, everything about it tells me it should be a one of a kind. It's been honestly hell to get 40 of them. It's been so difficult. That's amazing. And had we, had we just got one, it would be thousands. Yeah. And I know, I know that you think, no, it wouldn't be. Trust me, you know, the, the only way we can do these deals is by working with the teams and, and you know, ordering more or trying to get more. When, I, when we only had one, that, this is not Christie's, this is not Sotheby's, this is not um, Bonham's. This piece here sold next door two years ago, 18 months ago, for £7,000. Mm -hmm. It's not because I wanted to do that. It's because that was what it cost. No, and that, yeah. you know, you know, Elle, and, and Claire, you'll know, and the whole team here will know. And do you know what? You guys at home will know as well. Realistically, the higher price something is, I can't speak for anywhere else in the world, but here on our channels, that's where we take the tiniest margin, okay? That is where we just bring you something because we want to bring it to you, we want to show it to you. You know, we're gonna, we, we make our tiny profits on the big volume, 20 pound auctions, don't we? Yeah, right? yeah Because yeah, we yeah. know we're the best value in the world and yeah. we can make a tiny, you know, we feel more comfortable making a bit more of a profit there. When we bring you something that is in that range, it would make no sense for us to go, we've only got one of these, let's make a huge profit on that. Mm -hmm. you know, it, so that was £7,000, and I can't remember because it was two years ago, but I don't even know if we made a penny on it. Like, I don't yeah, know if we did, not. but we just wanted to show it you. It was that flagship. It's the flagship piece. Yeah. And today, our flagship pieces are the open work carvings where we have some, a little bit of quantity. And I've struggled and I've struggled and I've struggled and I've found no one that is even doing this in the modern age. So I believe we're going to start with um, the open work carvings, Ross. And is that right? Is it, sorry, I can't hear you. Okay, I've um, just been told we'll put the strands on pre-order. Okay, we're going to put the sartois on pre-order. There's yeah. 40 of them. We're going to, and, and Claire, uh, Claire, uh, we, uh, yeah, I asked you this earlier on because um, I know you're going to be disappearing to do mm. some work behind the scenes, but mm -hmm. how did, uh, your first example of Queen Conch, they're on pre-order right now. Yes. What yeah. joy to work oh, with Absolute them. joy. So when I was, you know, doing the demonstration, saying it, you know, it, it was wonderful to have something that, you know, when you're making jewellery, it's twofold, isn't it? So you're making the jewellery and you're admiring the, the components that you're working with. And it's not very often that you'll get something that is just perfect aesthetically and perfect, you know, as, as a function as well. And, you know, like I pointed out when we were doing the, the knotting of it, the drill hole is incredible, which means that you can do, you know, sections like this, which means that you can go through one of the one of the you know the stones with three lots of silk so it sounds really 
dull to think, you know, to, to talk about that when you've got something as beautiful as that. But if you want to make something that is multi-stranded with yeah, you silk, need the, you need the you practical need to, side. Yeah, you absolutely need to know that. And so I think that for me, this piece absolutely, you know, it's the beauty of it, but it's all about, it's about that that conch shell, isn't it? It's, there is there is probably, what, three findings in there? It's a continuous. Over the head. You know, if I, if I lift it off, you know, you can see that is a continuous piece. <sighs> I mean, it's so... The luxury of that is incredible, isn't it? Yeah. It, it, it truly is. Um, 40 of those and they're on pre-order, we're being told. They are. So Claire, thank you so much it was for making It was an honour to work with. Thank you. Uh, Claire said earlier on, just before you dash off as well, she goes, it really reminded me of that Sophia Loren necklace oh, yeah. that we saw mm. in... Uh, um, that we saw in... Um, the, the GIA yes. Museum. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. Really yeah. reminds yeah, you agree. of that. Um, it has that elegance to it. I think pearls and, and in this case, you know, anything organic always has that kind of timeless yeah. appeal. Um, so th I'm just going to say to anyone, if, you, if, if that's the piece for you, if you fall in love with it, one, it's going to be affordable, and two, do not miss out on it. You know, yeah. we see the, the conch pearls for like three quarters of a million in three strand necklaces. This is one at Christie's, wow. which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's one of those kind of archetypal pieces that your jewellery houses want to make. Um, and, and there is another one here at Sotheby's. Incredible. Claire, we shall see you shortly. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Dash off. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Bless, thank, thank you. you. Shall be back, everybody, but right now to shop ahead. Yeah, for Let's sure. Let's do this. 100%. Um, I know, I can tell, I, I can feel the excitement in your voice, Dave, yeah. because like I said, this has been something that you, you, oh, you dare years, to dream. I think that was a perfect yeah. sentence. You but it is. It's dream. like, we, we, I don't know how difficult it is to do. And I speak to the teams and I say, could we do this? Could we do this? And they look at me like I'm crazy. And, um, you know, half the things never make it to your screens because we can't do it. But this is one of those unbelievable moments that is, that is here. And it's ready for anyone who wants to take advantage. The open work carvings are absolutely mesmerizing. Mm. And I'm, really gonna, I'm gonna encourage anyone who wants these to get involved because it is sublime. Like I said, there's about a dozen people in the world that can do this. They usually do it with um, shells that are a little bit more inexpensive. Um, you know, we showed you the con, uh, the conch shells, the, the, the 11 and a half thousand pound conch shells that are carved and pieces like this, 25 thousand pounds. But when we talk about the open work, they don't like to do that in, in the conch because it's so valuable. They do yeah, it in, the materials. In, they, they do it in, you know, there's like a dozen people that might work on pieces like this for so long. And you, you are absolutely in the best place right now to acquire something of this skill set. Wow. But in the world's most valuable shell, in the world's rarest shell. And um, again, to manage expectations, how many of these do we have, Ross? Um, of the pendant, I can tell you there's 70. Okay. Of the earrings, there's 50. Okay, let's do a 30 second clock to the pendant. So if or you the earrings, whichever we want to start with. Do you want to start with the, start with the earrings, okay. maybe? Um, so if you are looking for the complete set, you will need to be quick. We'll do the pendant straight after, I'm being yes. told. Dave, again, and, and I know you just spoke about this, but when you have something as rare, as precious and as valuable as this, mm -hmm. that is not being farmed, no. you know, they are... Um, you can't be farmed. You know, that is the one thing about it. Yeah. It's, it's rarer than a conch pearl. Yeah. It's actually called a conch pearl in the likes of Bonhams. To cut that material away, obviously, is... Is there 70 of these as well? 50 of oh, the okay. earrings. The earrings, there are just 50 of. They are basically twice the opportunity of the pendant, wow. to be honest. And I'm going to encourage everyone who's fallen in love with these, the most sensational, natural conch shell pearls carved into these beautiful open work designs. We've never seen anything like it, never thought we'd see anything like it, never dreamed we could bring you anything like this. And it's on your screens right now. You're already on the phone lines. 50 yeah. opportunities is all <gasps> we have. My goodness me. I didn't think they could look any more beautiful. No problem, you actually Jane. put them in the air. Oh, hi, yeah. Jane. I got the Queen Conch last. I'm stunning. I love it. Yeah. Do you know, it, it's, one of those, it's one of those pieces that you and people, people notice without the knowledge yeah. of knowing 100%. what it is. Uh, Caroline. Oh, it's lovely to hear from you, Caroline. She says, thank you to you all in the back room, guys. I own stunning precious gems. I own several pieces of Queen Kong. Thanks so much to everyone. No problem, Caroline. Um, like we said, it's a massive kind of team effort to, to put something like this together. 
It's absolutely beautiful. Like so they look even better, don't they, when they're actually being worn? Yeah, and these are much more difficult to achieve than the Saba earrings, the ear pendants mm. that we talked about. And they were at sixty-eight thousand dollars. Wow. Let's start ours at four thousand pounds. Let's start there. Never seen anything like it. You know, price on application yeah. anywhere in the world. They're a one-of-a-kind pair of earrings. Just it's that, it's that lace work. The lace work alongside the delicacy of that beautiful pink. Yeah. Just fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. And I've never, you know, I, I was privileged, Dave, to be with you during the launch of the first ever Queen Con yeah, show. Um, a real honour. It really, really was. And ever since that occasion, I've always said um, it has to be one of the most beautiful gems that's in existence. I agree. I completely agree. So feminine. Yeah. Uh, so, so feminine. So timeless. You know, any age, any skin tone, that's the beauty of organic gems. And then this cutaway, this unbelievable skill mm. that has been mastered, that has been honed for hundreds of years. And did you say one in 12, sorry, there's about 12 people globally? Yeah, I'm told there's about a dozen people that can even do this. Wow. It's such a skill. And Just already 10% of the stock has gone. Yeah, I'm not surprised. This is very limited edition. Right, there are 30 second clock. Available. We're going to start you know, getting down to your incredible deal right now. I wish you the best of luck. Remember, the, the Sartois is on pre order. Uh, uh, yeah, and by the way, yeah, it is flying on pre order as well. Of course, you can use, there's only 43 of the Sartois, which is obviously that amazing op uh, piece that Claire's created. Um, we do have it in the chain. Um, you could absolutely work these together alongside one another because you've got that wonderful uh, palette of, uh, of feminine pink it's it you know it's so unique you get the flames you get those wonderful flames those wonderful colors the mixtures of pinks and peaches um, and again to actually learn about how this uh, how this forms and grows okay I'm gonna do something crazy right now I'm gonna take a massive massive amount off the price and then I'm gonna tell you I'm still nowhere near done Okay. So this is going to be crazy. It's going to be scary. It might just sell out here. But even if it does sell out, everyone pays the final low deal and I'm still not even a little bit coming off. Nowhere near done. Wow. Let's take this down. In fact, let's take three and a half thousand pounds off the price. This is what's going to happen right now. This is how this showcase is going to be. We're taking three, three, and, a three and a half thousand pounds. We're going to 499 right now. Oxfordshire, Kent, these will sell out. There's yeah. only 50. And then we have the pendant coming up. Immediately there's a response, but then uh, that's because our expectations would be that these would be of a zero on the end of that yeah, day. for sure, 100%. A zero. And, 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 you know, anywhere else in the world, I genuinely believe it would do. If these were brought through as one of a kind, I think we would be, you know, at the, the £1,500 mark. Yeah, absolutely. We're at 499 right now. Teresa, Maker, Oxfordshire, Maker and Kent, Maker and Kent, our wonderful Susie in Wiltshire, Jenny in Dorset, Suzanne in North Yorkshire. Do not miss this opportunity. Do not let this pass you no. by. It has been quite literally years in the making. Mm -hmm. Truly has. You can see. Uh, I mean, this is probably like the equivalent of our Larique pieces yeah, here at Jewelry Maker, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't get any better no, than what's on our No, this is as good as it there. gets. And I think a lot of you can appreciate the skill, uh, the rarity, yeah. the value. You know, when I, when I showed you a $68,000 pair of earrings earlier on today, it needs of to the be same gem. Uh, they're more limited on the earrings. Again, we need to point that out. If you want to get the entire suite, which if your budget allows, then why wouldn't you? Um, then you need to be quick on the on the earrings because there are only 50 ever commissioned on this opportunity. Stunningly beautiful. Maybe right now this is the first time that you're introducing your queen conch. Maybe. Um, and you think, my goodness me, I've never seen anything like this. I hadn't. I'll be honest. I knew conch, obviously. I knew, And I knew it was a food source as well um, in uh, some, uh, some parts of the world. Um, but actually to, to, sit, to, to to know the story of the Queen Conch, to know that the Queen Conch you know, takes 20 years um, and is incredibly rare. Hello, Caroline. Outstanding workmanship. What an honour to see these pieces, let alone to own them. Wow. I totally agree with you there, Caroline. And again, stock permitting, I shall definitely be joining you on this opportunity as well. Um, already confirmations being made. Again, can you imagine? For, for me, the ear, if, you, if your budget allows, the earrings and that pendant needs to happen together. Um, but then maybe to be able to actually uh, uh, to, to bead with it. Okay, to what I'm, what I'm going to well. do is I'm going to take you to the Caribbean, you know, okay. where we went in search of this elusive gem. I want you to understand you know, how 
you, we talk about two different gems, you know, the, the, the tourist material and then the gem grade. I want to bring you the gem grade and then I'm going to come back and take hundreds of pounds off the price. Good luck. Take a little listen to this. When we talk about Tahitian pearls and South Sea pearls, uh, they are incredible, but they can be farmed, they can be cultiv cultivated. When it comes to working with either a conch pearl or the queen conch shell in jewellery, as Tiffany and co have done and many other jewellers around the world, like Mikimoto, we're dealing with something that can't be uh, farmed. So this is, you know, as rare as a natural pearl, they've got to dive and find these. Now you can find queen conch all throughout the Caribbean, but finding one that is suitable for use in jewellery, gem grade as we call it, is almost impossible. It's a one in two million chance and I'm very fortunate to have one of these incredible shells here. The, the, the longer this takes to form, the deeper its colour gets and, and the stronger the shell becomes and therefore can be used in jewellery. This truly is the miracle of the Caribbean. This is the, the pink gold of the Caribbean. This is a miracle. I'm going to give you a 30 second clock right now and we're going to destroy the price. Uh, it's going to affect uh, the, the pendant that's coming up. Um, and yeah. then we have uh, the Sartois, by the way, that is on pre-order. That's going crazy, I'm being told by Ross yep. in that clip of film. So there was only 40 of those. Make sure, if you find your piece on pre-order, you're, you're checking it out. Good luck, everybody. Good Use luck, this yeah. time wisely. Up, uh, and I always ask daft questions like this, Dave, when we're in the, in the midst of these wonderful shows. Likelihood of ever being able to do something like this again? Not the open work. Not the certainly open. not the sartoir. I mean, it's okay. just maybe some other bits along the way, but probably never a showcase again. No. Your deal right now, it's going to go crazy, but I want you to know, you know, we put this together for you. I'm going to take £300 off the price. It's going to get a 199 Only 50 ever made. I don't even know how many we have left, but we are going to 199 Pauline, you're there. Teresa, you're there. Maker, yeah, you're wow. there. Maker, another maker. Dorothy, you're there. Susie, Anne, Jenny, uh, Jane, Suzanne. Uh, Susan, you're there. Good luck, Maria. Um, 199 pounds 75 on your interest-free split payments. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The way low that I was expecting, Dave. Yeah. I mean, uh, for me as well. Uh, but we managed to get 50. And we always say, you know, the bigger the quantity, the bigger the deal. 49.75 on split payment. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Just, just stunningly beautiful. And, and I know that's such a... It's almost... It's not... A, it's not a good enough adjective no, for agree. something this beautiful. The, the femininity, that flame that you see, it almost grows up that carving. Yeah, absolutely. But to, like you said, uh, I mean, the fact that these have been carved by an individual who is one of 12 people internationally yeah, that can, they can, that can actually administer do this, this skill, they can even work with this material in this way. Um, we want to talk about rarity, we want to talk about value. This is it. This is yeah, the, the, totally. the absolute pinnacle of what we've been able to, to achieve here yeah. at the channel. And these really remind me of that chrysanthemum piece at the yeah, beginning. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there's something really magical about this material. And it's amazing to see the response on the phone lines, to see so many of you getting these into your collection. Absolutely. If you want to get hold of the pendant, it's coming up literally on the back of this. I should point out as well um, that with the, the rarity, with the, you know how celebrated this collection is, um, they do come boxed. They're all, they all come in these beautiful sort of queen conch pink boxes as well. Um, so, yeah, not just in sort of... It's not just, this is not just any auction that you're getting involved with right now. This is David Harry Jewels. Right, you know what, let's do something. It's David Harry Jewels, so I have a little bit more room on these auctions to do something even more incredible for you. I see, it's in, basically, it's in more baskets than we have available, but I want you to check out. Uh, we made this for you. So I'm going to ask for a minute clock, and I don't do things by half measures. If I'm going to go again, then I'm going to go again. This is part of you know, the, the brand that I've worked on, and I, I've only created this, not to sit in the, the vault. I want it to sit in your collection, your heirloom collection. I want you yeah. to get it. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'll give you 50 seconds. I'm giving you the heads up. I'm giving you some warning. I'm letting you know that I'm about to take a considerable amount of cash off these. Never been seen before. Commission for your birthday. It took us years to get to this point. Um, these are usually only ever one of a kind. Yeah. And you have the opportunity. I've got multi buyers and I don't blame you. Half a minute and there's a whole new price point coming your way. Wow. I mean, I, I, again, to be under £200, yeah. I wasn't expecting, but... 
The fact that if you, Just you, make sure you're checking out because it's already in more baskets. Yeah, have over available. allocated. Over allocated. There's the pendant in the background. You can see that it's coming up immediately afterwards. Yeah. To be able to say that you own Queen Conch jewellery. Oh, absolutely. In, in, any, in any facet. But to have it of this grade, to have it of this calibre, yeah. to have it of this skill set. But that's another level. Half the stock has gone already, jewellery makers. Okay, you know what? 149. Best of luck. I hope you're successful. I hope that's in your collection. Didn't need to do that. Probably shouldn't have done that. But that is what we're doing. £50 back into your pocket. You've just taken a split payment off, basically, Dave. Yeah, yeah. Why basically. Not? How amazing is that? They are going to sell out. There's so many of you there. It's just down to who. Who yeah. is going to get hold of these? Not a matter of, uh, um, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll wait till the end of the day. They won't be there then. No. They will not be there. Opportunities like this get snapped up by collectors around the world as well. Especially when there's a lot of collectors that are tuned in knowing how ridiculously, ludicrously low we've gone on these. And that's when I would say to you, if, if, if you see it and you can afford it, get involved. If you can multi-buy, £37.25 on your interest-free split payments, take advantage. Now, Make and, sure you're doing that. And Dave, this is very much the ethos of, of, of the Gemporia partnership, but can you imagine having this conversation or can you imagine some of the uh, um, uh, um, people that you've spoken to about Queen Conch around yeah. the world, can you imagine them seeing 149 on our screens right now? Ridiculous. For both of yeah. us, for a matched pair yeah. of, of the most exquisite craftsmanship, let alone the rarest gem, we have ever offered to our collectors. £37.25 and pence on split payment. Let's do a minute clock to close this yeah, auction Yeah, definitely. Um, we only had 50. It's extremely busy. Remember, our, our flagship, Sartois Necklace, is available on pre-order right now, oh. which we only had 40 of. Yeah, and it's popular on pre-order as well, so we'll keep you posted on that one, everybody. The, uh, and being the talented jewellery makers that they are, yeah. you know, you could uh, absolutely include... There's nothing saying this pendant can't go. No, with, for with sure. That, I mean, you guys might have a better vision for these stones, you know, for these incredible uh, carvings. And, you know, I'm not going to stand in your way. I want you to do what you feel is fit, uh, what you want to create, what your vision is. This is my vision, but you may have your own. Yeah, amazing. Good luck, everybody. Super over allocated. If you've just reached for your phone, I can see there was a little bit of a flurry on the phone lines. Uh, you can do it as long as you press your option one. Um, I don't want to say we can guarantee because we're super over allocated and we're yeah. in single figures. Dave, incredible. And from everybody that's watching right now um, and those of us who are lucky enough to say that we own Queen Conch, you know, thank you. Look, tell, let me tell you, though, you've seen nothing yet. If no. you've joined us for the previous Queen Conch collections, you wait until you get your hands on this material. There is something magical about it in, in, in terms of the designs, the skill uh, that, that has been administered, everything about it, and then the quality. And I think you're going to see a stark difference. This is why it took so long to bring it to you. It's incredible. Well done. Sorry, Ross, what was that now? You just... Four left of okay, these. Well, make sure you're checking those out. And now there's, what, 47 what? In baskets. Right, oh, well okay. Done. Yeah, okay. Okay, now we bring you the pendant. And this is huge. This is something that I think you're going to go wild for. Once you see this, beautiful. It is absolutely We have beautiful. 70 of these. I want to get one of these. Yeah. It's absolutely... It's large, but it sits on the neckline so beautiful. Yeah, it caresses the neckline, doesn't it? Amazing. Now, just before we get into this, um, Ross is just saying the... Uh, what, how are you just... What's the... What's the Sa Sartois. Sartois. Sartois is extremely popular on pre-order. I knew it would be. I've never seen anything like it. As is the uh, um, Queen Conch by the Yard. Yeah, uh, so course. the station necklace. Sartois especially. If you want it, I would recommend shopping. Yeah, only 40 of those were available at the start of this showcase. It has been on pre-order and we're being told it's very, very popular. Somewhere. Very popular. It does come with uh, also that beautiful little sort of Tiffany's bow. Yeah. So much we might need to bring that forward. No problem, I get it. Okay. Um, this is just, it's, it, this is perfection day. I, I, I agree, I agree. Um, we have a bigger quantity here, so you know we're going to do a very, very special deal. You can help yourselves by being early on the phone lines. Let's do, let's do a 30 oh. second clock so everyone has the equal chance. 70 available. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Large size. Once yeah. this clock expires, it's time to multi-order. Uh, do you know, with the filigree work as well, Dave, and I, um, it might just be in my mind, but I can almost see the, it, it, it is reminiscent of the sea. Yeah. You can almost see the sort of coral-like uh, shapes within this. For sure. And the fact that it's mirror-imaged, carved by hand, mm -hmm. 
just it's amazing. just and the polish that porcelain like structure everything about this is phenomenal and you know unbelievably rare get on the phone lines now good luck everybody 70 again you've seen we've done quantities of 522 today and they've sold out mm -hmm. um when it's something even rarer and and mes Dagmar, you're there and you're there jenny you're there jeanette you're there pamela you're there margaret you're there mary you're there sue you're there suzanne you're there fiona the phone you're there. Lines. trust me guys this is going to be something that you're going to have either got on the phone lines or you're going to have missed out yeah good luck we'll start at a thousand pounds i'm just going to start there this is going to be an epic deal it's the biggest quantity we have and we're going to make it yours. It's going to be in your collection. I've already said multi-buy if you can. Mm -hmm. And if your budget allows, get the suite. Yeah. It would be absolutely beautiful to wear these alongside those earrings. Absolutely beautiful. 20% of the stock gone. Okay, 30 second clock. We're going to do this in 30 second clock bursts. Um, and to, to anyone who's joining us right now, this is really happening. When you see these prices, this is priced to sell out as part of our birthday offering. Brand new, on and gone today. Wow. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, Ross was just saying what a perfect gift this would be. Yeah, but I think so. I don't think I'd be able to part with it. And this is why I'm saying multi-buy if you can. Yeah. Pauline, Margaret, Sharon, Maker, Susanna, Jeanette, Pamela, Margaret, Mary, Greater London, Oxfordshire, Manchester, Isle of Man, West Midlands, County Antrim, County Durham, California, Cambridgeshire. We're going to go to 299 straight off the bat. Nowhere near them. It's bigger, right? Yeah, this is yeah, a bigger yeah. piece than the earrings. This is a huge piece, but it's also a bigger quantity. And we know what you guys at home expect when we have those larger quantities. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's, uh, again, this is what I love about Queen Conch, is that you get sort of these pure whites that kind of... Is, is the terminology then flame into the yeah, colours? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Uh, and you can see that kind of shimmering flame and it will catch your eye when you're in different light sources. Sometimes it seems to almost shift colour as well from the, the kind of angel colour, the angel skin colour, into those unique deep pinks. Amazing, look at that. I'm just showing you all the way around this piece as well. Because even on the reverse, Dave, which is obviously oh, not yeah. what's intended, you can see that wonderful oh, sure. craftsmanship. Just beautiful, a beautiful piece of jewellery. A third of the stock is confirmed. Right. Adam, do you want to um, find another clip of film from my time in the Caribbean? Yeah. I'll let you choose. Um, and what we'll do is we'll take you to the Caribbean. We won't do a clock. When we come back, I'm going to call the sellout price. Make sure you trust us. I want to give you a little insight into the story behind this magnificent gem. Um, so we're going to take you to the Caribbean right now, which is where this material is found and has been found for hundreds of years. The most elusive, the pink uh, uh, diamond, if you will, of the Caribbean wars. And when we come back, I'm going to give you an incredible deal. Play, play close attention to this. Since the closure of the, uh, the world's first and only pearl farm that started by Chuck Hesse back in the 1980s, uh, the locals and uh, indeed the world market has seen the price of the fully mature Queen Conk go through the roof. Um, this really is the pink gold of the Caribbean. Ready for your deal? Don't need a clock. I can see you all there. There's a lot of you in the baskets. We've got 70. Bigger the quantity, bigger the deal, even though it's actually bigger, it's larger, yeah. more impressive. I told you to multi-buy because you know, we said it's going to be a perfect gift. Not even going to do 179, I'm not going to do 149, not even matching the price for the earrings, even though it's larger. Let's go to a new low, 129. Told you it's priced to sell out today. It's your birthday still, and we are celebrating that. We're bringing through the David Harry Jules only collection of the birthday. 129. Yeah, 129 pounds. Told you to multi-buy if you can. You're going to have split payments as well, which are going to be ridiculous. What do we take those earrings to? 149. 149. Yeah. So wait, you can get this suite of jewellery yeah. for less than 300 pounds today. Right. Uh, uh, genuinely, Dave, that's, m that's less than what I thought the pendant would be mm -hmm. on its own. I agree. There's four well, there's, be honest, of the earrings, this by the way. This pendant should be 299. All day long, and right. that's here at Gemporia. Yeah, and obviously. we've seen it. We've seen it even here on the channel. We've seen us bring wonderful carved Queen Conk for 249. Wow. This right now is yours today because it's the birthday, because it's so busy for 129. Um, I just totally unexpected. T 32 pounds and 25 pence. Goodness me. No problem, Mary. Oh, uh, it's your first piece. Yeah, you're going to love, love it. it. 
You will love it, Mary. It's, it's going to become a bit of an obsession. It's actually, um, I bought a piece on the first launch, Dave, and, and whenever I go out, which isn't that aren't often granted, but yeah. it's only like when if I go somewhere, yes. somewhere special, then I'll always wear that piece. And without fail, you get comments on it because oh, it's for sure. so unusual. It's so, yeah, it's so unusual. It's so unique. People don't see this. This is a, this is as I loved what Dave just referred to it as. This is this is um, pink gold, the pink gold of the Caribbean, but it's probably even rarer than that. Um, what an amazing opportunity! Stunningly beautiful. There were seventy available, but there's so many of you getting involved. Um, if you've got it in your basket, check it out. Seventy is not a huge amount. The fact that you can get the entire suite, so the necklace and the earrings, um, to uh, um, for less than three hundred pounds for you today don't forget as well you have got um the uh by the yard we've also got i keep forgetting the name i keep forgetting it um that wonderful piece that necklace uh, uh piece pieces that claire's worked with as well um and we've also satois so thank you and you've also got a donut i'm sorry to do this sorry ross sorry Al. uh sorry team and adam please may have a 30 second clock in fact give me a minute clock so i'm going to take a massive amount off this I'm gonna get this absolutely sold out right now. We're not putting 10 or 12 back in the vault. All 70 are going home to you guys. We said multi-buy. We said gift it. What? It's gonna happen. I'm going lower out. I'm going lower to anyone who's already got one and wants another one, I'd get on the phone lines now. To anyone with it in your basket, I'd check out now. There's no point waiting. That clock means there is a new price coming. You can wait for the price, but unfortunately it might have sold out by then. And that is what my, is my call to action to you right now is to trust me. That clock means I am taking more money off. So saw and I'm you going saw lower. you dash into the into the uh, gallery just a second ago. Yeah, Is that yeah. what you were sort of collaborating about? Absolutely. I'm saying oh let's do this. Oh my goodness me, Dave. But I guess it's really key for us to say here. This is no reflection of the true value or worth. Of absolutely not. You know, all around. Try the world and shopping. find affordable queen comp. You can't. You absolutely no. cannot. In fact, I paid more for that shell in the studio, which is like tourist quality. You couldn't even carve this material from it. I know it looks nice, yeah. it's like a decoration, but I paid more for what I'm about to do for that, which is not- Then this, you did this? Yeah, and this grade, this skill. You know what, I'm gonna do it, it's gonna be ludicrous, it's gonna be the fastest sell out ever, there's only 19 left. Go to 99.99, 99 pounds, double figures, good luck. Sorry, I'm, ge I'm genuinely shocked by that. 99 um, Wow, so now for 250 pounds, mm -hmm. I can get both the pendant and the earring. For sure. Amazing. Absolutely that amazing. That is crazy. When you say it like that, I know Sorry. I've gone far too low. But it is a deal that it's a live deal that is available to anyone who's tuned in right now, whether you're buying on the app, the web, or you're phoning up our wonderful contact centre. Yeah. This is it. Let's do a minute clock to close this auction out. There's only 14 left. We have to bring you the Sartois necklace. It has gone crazy on pre-orders. None of us have ever seen a piece of jewellery like it, let alone a piece of Queen Pomp jewellery like it. should be in our like museum, it. shouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. That should be in our, in our Gems Museum, alongside those beautiful pieces of jewellery. I agree, stones. the Arthur Ivy, yeah. Yeah, amazing. Uh, message for you from Susie in Leicestershire. Please play the VT of Adonis Dave in the Caribbean with his top off. And make my Friday. Uh, P.S. The conch is indeed beautiful. Happy Friday, Happy Friday. Uh, to all. Um, Adonis Dave. Yeah, I know. There you go. Never been called that before. Um, yeah, yeah. 25 seconds. <laughs> Dagmar, you've got two. Uh, Suzanne, you've got two. Rick, you've got two. Maker and West Midlands, you've got two. Maker and Kent's got three. Jenny's got two. Who else wants to multibar on this? You've got 15 seconds to do it. Me, I want to. 100%. Absolutely. And I should point out, this is genuine Zircon, of course. I know, yeah. We haven't As even mentioned that. Earring. We no, haven't even no. mentioned it. But no. you're right to. You Don't need to, do we? We know it's no. going to be a beautiful high-end gemstone. Um, the final six, good luck. Well done. Congratulations to every single <sighs> one of you. Now, this is a must. We have to bring you the Satwa necklace. We do, we do. Now, this is... We put this on pre-order because I know many of you just want to get that one piece. It yep. is here. It is the most divine commission we have ever done, in my opinion. Yeah. Absolutely phenomenal. Right. Let's do a 30 second clock to get the graphics in for that. Look, uh, seriously though, you know, you were showing pieces from all those different auction houses. Yeah, for sure. And nothing like this. And when you do get this, it's, it's conch pearls and oh. three quarters of a million pounds. And let's not forget, Saba, Alessandro Sabatini, who studied yeah. under Cartier, created a pair of earrings, stunning earrings, amazing, one of a kind, sold in the FD gallery in New York for 68 grand. Imagine if you had this necklace. It's the same material. Of course. 
Imagine if you had this necklace. If, if those earrings are $68,000, how many hundreds of thousands? I don't know if a piece of jewellery has ever been done like this from the Queen Kong. No. I genuinely so, don't. Just so everybody is aware, th this is the most exclusive quantity I think we've ever had on I Queen agree. Conch. But just to make you all aware how it comes, so it comes boxed like so. You get the three strands that you've seen Claire work with here. So in rounds, I think rounds are the first time, is yeah, it? Yeah. I think I, I think so, or is it the rice beads? Anyway, you're getting the two different sizes of the rounds and the rice bead shape. And you're also getting that beautiful sterling silver. Do you know what? Can I start where this should be? By the way, I want you to know if I'd have just got one of these. Yeah. This would be, and I'm telling you now, seven and a half thousand pounds. Mm -hmm. So I just want to put that price on your screen. It's not pie in the sky. I've not gone and got this valued. I'm telling you, if I'd have only been able to get one of these, that's what we'd have to sell it for. Yeah. Yeah. So Maker and Kent, Deborah, why. Anne, well, Jenny, well, we have Janice. done that, haven't we? Yes, we with did it with a big donut, yeah. How incredible. Oh, wow, well, I love that. That, that. that little nod to Tiffany and Carl. Yeah, totally. I thought that as well, The Tiffany, almost like a Tiffany's bow. Um, and let's bring this lovely necklace over this, Like well. you said, um, you know, that's not pie in the sky. That, that's what I love, seeing those wonderful multitude of colours as well. In fact, um, I want to show the, if I can, Ross, sorry, the... Um, the uh, Christie's and Sotheby's uh, three-strand necklaces of the Queen Kong next to that wonderful kind of close-up recording that um, Adam's got of the colours that are in this piece because it's just sublime. Mm. Wow. Again, you yeah. see the quality that you saw from David Harry Jewels. Yeah. You're not, you know, but... Can I just focus on that for a second, Dave? You won't put your name to something that is not impeccable. But, for and, and I don't mean that in like an egotistical way. No, I, I and I understand. To. I don't need to because I get to come here all the time. Yeah. I get to come here every day whenever yeah. I can yeah. and bring you the most incredible jewellery. And it's like, well, I want you, it's not for me. I want you to know what's different about David Harry Jewels because you always tune in. It's David Troth and I'm here with uh, Jade, I'm here with Kong or mm. Koya Pearls or South Sea Pearls or Highlight Opal. And it's like, okay, but what's different about David Harry Jules? And it's like, I wanted, I didn't want confusion. I was like, if I'm going to do something, then it needs to be a really clear distinction. Mm -hmm. Wow. Good right, luck. let's give you a minute clock. The We're, most exclusive of all Queen Conch. Yeah, and, and the most impressive. Oh, it's the peach. Do you know what? It, you've got that lovely, something like apricot and strawberries yeah. all in one. Is that, and that's that beautiful flame. Natural. You get everything that's on your Guys, I'm just right going to let you know because I can see the phone lines. If you want this, it's time to confirm. We're going to look after you on price, don't worry. But if, if you want this, if this is something that you've fallen in love with, then it's time to confirm. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Earlier on this morning, we, when uh, Claire was describing working with this, she said it really reminded me of that coral necklace that Sophia yeah, Loren... Sophia Loren... Yeah, the, but the uh, reality is this is rarer. Yeah, far rarer. Far, far, far rarer far than far coral. Rarer. Amazing. Absolutely beautiful. 15 seconds. Yeah, you need to use this time wisely if you want to guarantee a success. This is probably one of the most in demand. And, and I think in these strands as well, Dave, you really see that flame, which is so sought after. Uh, absolutely. Especially next to that Sotheby's necklace that yep. you're showing right there. Right, let me do this for you. Let me take it to a thousand pounds. Let me take okay. six and a half thousand pounds off the price. And then let me tell you, I'm still nowhere near done. This is why it's time to check out. I'm still nowhere near done. We are actually making this happen today. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm just doing the maths, which I'm useless at, but straight away, that's £300 per strand. Yeah. Sorry, 333 Just We sell strands for more than strand. that of yeah. King Kong. We always do. You know that? This is our birthday deal. It's the mega deal. It's the ultimate deal. We only have 40 though. And I'm, this price right now is amazing, but I'm still nowhere near done on the rarest gem we have ever brought to your screens. Fiona, Tracy, Maker, Nuno, Maureen, Maker, Karen, Pamela's trying to get two, Caroline in the Channel Islands. 18 have confirmed. There are over 40 of you with it in your basket. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, 300. We have sold strands for more than 333 mm -hmm. pounds. We should be. Particularly of these sizes. Yep. I'm intrigued. Okay, then this is it. Um, minute clock. The final minute. Good luck, everybody. The ultimate, ultimate deal is about to happen. It's about to take place. Are you going to be one of them that lands? this incredible Sartois necklace. Oh, good luck, everybody. Good luck. 
It is absolutely incredible. And the piece that I would say... You know, shouldn't you take a penny off this. No, if you recommissioned this piece, Dave, then it's obviously something that you need to um, maybe uh, get valued oh, for, have sure. ins for insurance purposes. Uh -huh. not Again, not just for, um, for ego purposes. Um, in 32 seconds, good luck. We're super over-allocated. This has probably had the most attention, I would oh, say. Of course it has. Um, and reaction. Not just here on our TV screens. I have to say, in preparation for today's show, we've been talking about this amazing piece this amazing uh, uh and claire demonstrated it as well um in the nine o'clock hour so you can absolutely watch that back good luck to you all a massive congratulations to those of you that have um already made your confirmations it comes with the box comes with the three strands which we have definitely sold for more than what's on your screens that's three 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 per strand currently it's gonna go a lot better good luck well done i love the fact that you're trusting us Ross, we're going to do this one time only, your deal, the big deal, 599. 599 for everything. The three strands, the different sizes, the wonderful connector with that nod to Tiffany & Co. That's Good luck, £200 guys. per strand. Yeah. So when we, if they were individual, they wouldn't be £200? No, never. Never. And you guys know that. We're not talking this about is, one piece. Yeah. This is the ultimate deal. I'm so thrilled to make it available to you. I'm glad that you are joining us. I know it's busy. Please wait on the phone lines if you want to secure this. Wow. We only had 40 available. There's so many of you. And I've seen multi-buyers. That's how ludicrous this deal is. Yeah, Each it, one of those strands is more than this. So did it, have we shown any Queen Conch piece of jewellery, which is the three-figured piece? No. Nope. No. The reality is this is probably more indulgent in terms of its abundance of Queen Conch. Absolutely. And here we are at 599. Yep. This 40 chances. Good I'm going to tell you who's on in the queue, okay? Kathleen, I can see you. Carol, I can see you. Julia, Patricia, another Patricia. Fiona, Tracy, Maker and Wiltshire. Nuno, you're there. Maureen in Midlothian, Maker in Lancashire. We've gone ridiculously low. Karen in Hampshire, Pamela in Northumberland. This is only for the birthday. It's the only way we're justifying this. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make it special. I wanted to make it yours. 599 or £149.75 on, on your interest-free interest-free split payments yeah incredible absolutely incredible again we've not even mentioned the fact that you get that lovely little uh, little sort of tiffany's-esque uh, yeah, bow piece, yeah. um absolutely beautiful the quality of the queen conch that you're seeing on well done to everyone along the bottom of the screen that has been successful oh. thrilled for you when you get this home you're going to feel a million dollars. Yeah, it is. It, it truly is beautiful. Um, make sure you are checking out Kathleen. You've just got yours. Amazing. Um, to give you the details of the uh, Queen Conch, so you've got your 8 mil, 6 mil, mm -hmm. and you have your 9 by 6 millimeter rice beads. Uh, like yeah. I said, that's 200 pounds per strand, and not even, uh, um, I, we haven't really focused on right, the Minute the clock, the minute clock, connector. and I'm going to do one more deal. I'm taking three figures off this. Minute clock. Off it. Yeah. I don't know how many we have left. We only had 40. There's so 17. many of you. Okay. There's so many of you with it in your basket. This is going to be the craziest deal I've ever done. Oh. I've ever done for you. How many do we have left? 17 left. Okay. 17 chances. There's about 50 of you on the phone yeah, lines that exactly. haven't even checked out. The 17 chances or whatever it is, 15 Oh, my chances. goodness me. You said earlier on, like, this is Met Gala jewelry. It is. It That's is. it. It's the only way I can describe it. Yeah. It's the it's, only way I can describe it. It's that special occasion piece. It sits in a cabinet. Yeah, absolutely. You never know. You might see Lady Gaga wearing Queen Conch next time. You too. never know, yeah. And, it, and you can imagine how that will drastically uh, change the price. And it only point. takes that, doesn't yeah, it? that tiny catalyst. But even as even as we speak now, Dave, this is a, this is not an inexpensive gem. No, God. This no. is a gemstone that can command a, a, a sort of incredibly high price points. Mm -hmm. Um, just as long as we know that 599 is not reflective of the true value. Good luck. But I'm doing it. Take £100 off. Be as fast as you can now. We have, what, 12 left? That's f Everyone who's already confirmed, you get that £100 back in your account. Anyone who wants to join us right now is paying the most incredible deal for Queen Kong we have ever done. 12 of them. £499. £124.75. Ridiculous. And you could be commissioning something like this. Absolutely. You can create this exact look or you can create one of your yeah. very own. Yeah, it's truly beautiful. Um, good Ten luck, left. everybody. Ten genuine chances. The phone lines and the, uh, um, and the baskets have gone completely nuts. So, for example, um, if you are Susan in Dorset, Karen in Hampshire, Kathy in Buckinghamshire, Carol in Devon, Teresa, Carol, Patricia, Patricia, Wiltshire, Nuno, Maureen, Lancashire, and you disappear off the screen, I can't see everybody's names, um, I would strongly recommend...
picking out your basket. Susan, you've just done it. Well done, lovely. You are also, let's be honest, 40 people in the world own this um, amazing opportunity. So if you see your name here, I've got nine chances. Surrey, Judith, Karen, Kathy, Teresa, Carol, Patricia, another Patricia in Yorkshire, uh, Wiltshire, Nuna, Maureen, Maker in Lancashire. We, um, Lancashire, especially if you want those five, you need to be checking it out. Um, opportunities like this, and, and I know it's probably the most obvious of statements, Dave, but we are not going to be able to do something like this again. Never. Never. And uh, we've done it once. We've done it for the birthday. There's seven chances left. And uh, you have that unique opportunity right now to make this yours. Good luck, everybody. Good luck to you all. So, OK. OK, what we're going to do is we're going to take you back to the Caribbean. Do you remember at the very start of the showcase where I talked about the first piece of conch I ever sold on our sister channel, which was a donut? They said, you'll only ever get one donut in Queen Kong because it needs to be thick, it needs to be big, and uh, you need someone extremely skilled to be able to carve the centre out. There's so much risk in, in play for that. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you the piece that was, uh, we sold for £7,000. Uh, it was on here, sorry, Ross. Uh, I'm going to share it with everyone right now. There it is. Wow. This was it, which was unbelievable. Yeah, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to bring to you right now. Take a look at what we're going to show to you. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is happening. Um, how many do we have, Ross? 60. Can we put it on pre-order yet? Okay, look, we're going to put this on pre-order right now. Remember what happened with the Sartois? I'm going to take you to the Caribbean when we come back. That is going to be yours, and I wish you the very best of luck. I'll see you on the other side of this. Hi right, guys, I am in possession of possibly the, in fact, I'm gonna state it, the rarest gem of my time gem hunting. There is one gemstone in the Caribbean that is regarded to be rarer than the conch pearl, and that is indeed the gem quality, queen conch shell. This is material that has been worked with by Tiffany & Co, Cartier, David Morris, and a whole host of incredible jewelry stores in the Far East, which is where it is in huge demand. In fact, we have arrived in, in the midst of a kind of a gem rush. And what they're looking for is this. Now, I'm not talking about any Queen Kong uh, uh, shell. Uh, many of them will be disregarded by the fishermen. You'll find them washed upon the shores. What we are talking about is the ultra rare, fully mature version. And the reason for that is what I'm going to show you. As you flip it around, you see this incredible, incredible hot pink color that is obviously extremely natural. And you can, you can kind of see how, how solid this is. It's like a porcelain. Now with immature uh, queen conch shells, you don't get that. They can't create jewelry out of it, or not durable jewelry. And so the buyers in China don't want that material. The problem that faces the people in the Caribbean is they can't farm this material. They can't culture this material. And of course, for it to, to, produce, for it to become gem grade, as it's deemed around the world, it needs to be over a decade old. A decade old. This this uh, incredible Queen Kong is estimated to be about 12 years. And um, we were doing some research earlier. And if you want to talk about rarity, a Queen Kong has to lay two million eggs in order for one to survive to this incredible mature stage. The one in two million. The one in two million. And, um, you know, I had the opportunity to bring you guys the one in two million two years ago. It was that impressive donut. Wow. The flagship piece, as we called it, with a Montana sapphire, a pink diamond, 18 karat gold. And I actually think we've surpassed it with this. Oh, fish. the design on this is absolutely breathtaking. Yeah, to, to, to bring you those myriad of natural colours around mm. the outer halo that are all of them Queen Conk themselves in the most supremely valued colours. Yeah. That intensity of colour as well, Dave. Oh, that's not easy. I mean, you can see it, it's night and day compared to the other piece. Yeah. It's, it's that much more intense, isn't it? But if you was to ask, if you was to say right now, which one of those, they're, all, they're the same gemstone. Okay. Which one's the most valuable? The one on the right? Yeah, 100%. Okay. 30 second clock, and I'm going to make 60 of nice. these available. Wow. 60? We have 60 of these. It's so beautiful, this design. Um, 
16 have already gone on pre-order. Oh, blue minute. Yeah, I forgot that. Um, already. Okay, I'm just going to say it, Ross. And I, I, if look, I'm going to get in trouble. It's been the lowest price of the whole show. Really? Mm -hmm. But you've got more queen conchas in in terms of the little little melee size. Yeah, and they're extremely difficult to do because you're you're choosing the most prized colours there. Yeah, and I guess they're the also, perfect rounds. I guess also so sort of cutting it away. Yeah, absolutely. Now the price is so good on this. I think you buy three. Really? Pair of earrings and a pendant. Oh wow! Pair of earrings and a pendant. That's what we're talking about right now. I'm going to start, I'm actually going to start at 499, just so you know how ludicrous this is going to be. Let me just give that. They'd be perfect in earrings. Wouldn't they? You could do that, Dave. I hope you're trusting me, guys. We have 60, it sounds like a lot, but look at the multi buyers. And I've said you're probably going to want to buy three of these. It's my favourite of all of the Queen Kong piece of jewellery I've bought to your screens. Oh, I, do, I do love this as well, Dave. It's, like I say, it's the contrast. Baker and Kent's got four. Jenny's got two. Moira, you're there. Julie, you're there. Suzanne, you're there. Sue, you're there. Anne in Cardiff. Caroline, Jeanette, Maker, Philippus, Caroline, Pamela, Mary. Trying to get three. Absolutely incredible. Good luck, everyone. 60 in the world. Again, to be able to say that, that highlights the rarity of the gemstone, the rarity oh, sure. of this amazing treasure, is that you were only able to commission 60 mm -hmm. or one originally. There yep. was only ever one. Jenny's got three. This is, look, I wouldn't say that if I wasn't going to make it affordable. I've said buy three. Not flippantly, I mean it. So I'll give you a 30 second clock. Um, Suzanne's got three. Moira's got two. Jenny's got three. Kent's got four. This is the way it's going to go. Yeah. We're not, we, we, we might have 60 opportunities, but we're not going to be selling to 60 people. No. It no, may be 20 not. people. And I can see some wonderful sweets of jewellery or opportunities for us to gift Queen Conch. Imagine. To loved ones. Mm -hmm. I mean, what a legacy piece. What a legacy opportunity. Significantly rarer than, than, than many, if not most, gemstones out there. For sure. And significantly more beautiful. Absolutely. Half okay. stock's gone. 199 and I'm not done. Once we see that price, I'm going to give you another minute and then I'll give you the final deal. This is going to be gone. Okay. Wow. I know I said this earlier on, Dave, but for the benefit of people that have just tuned in, likelihood of doing another show like this? We won't. Like, if we see the odd piece, amazing. But this has been so many years in the, in the works. Yeah. So many years in the works. Probably five years. But look at the split payment. Yeah. Forty-nine pounds and seventy. There's a clock on your screen pence. because we're going lower. We're going to the best price you've seen um, for this piece. The most incredible, the most majestic, the most beautiful. It is. It's fascinating. Is it's got this. I'm trying to think what era. It, yes, a 20s. little bit sun-like. It is a bit 1920s. Yeah, I think it's. Oh, I, I love that. The gallery is saying a bit Mayan. Oh yeah. A bit Aztec-y. Yeah. Stunning. It's absolutely stunning. I hope Good you're luck. checking out. If it's in your basket, that's great, but you need to be able to be ready to check out, be poised. You did say what I think you said. Yeah, best price of the show. For this? Yeah. Wow. I mean, I mean, they've all been pretty affordable for something that's well, they have been. precious. Well, they have Yeah, you're right. I think we've all been pleasantly surprised today. Your deal, 99.99, taking 100 pounds off, double figures, and you've got your split payments. I told you to get three. Some of you have gone even further than got four. I told you to multi-buy, make the earrings. Maybe you want to gift one. Oh, Caroline, wow. Janice, Angela, Valerie, Catriona, Caroline, Teresa, Fun Me, Tina, Rick in Oxfordshire. £24.75 pence on your split payment. The call screens has gone completely and utterly crazy. If you don't check out your baskets, then you are going to miss out on this opportunity for sure. Ella, amazing. Kent's just got five, Dave. Yeah, I can't Absolutely blame you. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. I was, I genuinely, I wasn't expecting any of these items to be anywhere near the price points you've said today, Dave. And I know it's our birthday. Yeah. And we always do um, not just special Okay, deals, let's do a minute clock to close audiences. this one out. A minute clock to good close luck. this one out. Well done, guys. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Eight chances. Six, five. Right. Look at the quantity. We might not even need a minute, but we'll put it on. No. Anyway. Might well sell out before that. Mm -hmm. Three, two. Okay. Oh, there's a queue on the phone lines. About a minute, but bear with our call centres. Make sure you speak to them. And if you do, are told you've been unsuccessful, one left. Wish list it. 
wish list, wish list, wish list, because if anything falls back into stock, our call centre team will give you a call. Absolutely. And the likewise across all the pieces, that is. Um, yeah, I think it is going to sell out before the clock, Dave. Yeah, I, well, look, at a deal that good, we knew that it would. We yeah. knew that it would. Amazing. I think it... Well done. Well done, guys. Well, well done, done, well done, well done. Now, my, my final piece with you, although I know Elstel has some incredible pieces to bring to you, is what we call the, the Queen Conk by the Yard, you know, the station necklace. But I don't know if you guys know this. It's got Kotan mutton fat jade in there as well. So it's stations of rarity is what we're bringing you realistically. Conk and jade put together in this epic, unbelievable design. How many of these do we have, Ross? Um, 70 available. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'll tell you now, I'm going to do something absolutely outrageous for, for a necklace, for a strand. You're going to layer this up. I'll give you a 30 second That's clock perfection. to bring the graphics in. I agree. I think it is perfection. I love you know, the, the two rarest gems, Mutton Fat Jade, yeah. Queen Kong, put together the same sizes, the same shapes on this uh, a station necklace. Well, they're a marriage made in heaven, aren't yeah, they? With that really wonderful are. translucency of the Kotan alongside uh, the opacity of what you're seeing in the Queen Conch, but that flame, I love it. I just, I absolutely love the simplicity yeah. of this piece. In terms of its length, by the way, um, so it comes again boxed in your diamond cut chain. In terms of its length, did you, sorry, Ross, I didn't quite, 70 centimetres, so the well, perfect Yeah, length, I think actually. so, especially for that kind, of, uh, that, that kind of look. And you've got that four to five centimetres separation yeah. beautiful all you need to do is well attach done. your clasp That's well done for it. trusting us 70 chances on this good luck everyone good luck the elegance of the rice uh, rice shape both um in the queen conch and in your cotan uh, mutton fat which we all know cotan's not only the most historic but it is also um the most expensive um uh, location of source of your jade you've got beautiful translucency in that pure white color um, again, Claire showed you earlier on how to do the little rosary linking and how to attach a clasp directly. And um, we've certainly, over the birthday celebrations, brought you some high-end clasps that would be perfect alongside. We have 70 available. So again, simple. You don't have to sil you don't have to solder this. You can easily use your 0.4 wire. It, but again, something that you can learn on another occasion if you haven't got those skills as of yet. It's sourcing opportunities okay, like Okay, just so everyone's aware, because it's my final deal with you, I'm going to do something outrageous you know you know what i do you know what i'm about we've chosen this one to be my last deal with you you've just seen how quick 60 sell out i'm telling you this is gonna be the lowest price ever huh? not on a on a queen conch strand and a mutton fat strand you you've never seen a deal like this it's going to be affordable it's going to be something you layer up and i have got 70 chances available to to put this into some idea of perspective i'm going to start at a thousand pounds so I was ex expect. I'm not trying to persuade you otherwise, but the fact you've got Kotan and Queen Conch, oh, I was expecting to be much, much more Much more valuable than the sum of its parts. You know, when you combine those two ultra-rare gems... And Kotan's the most expensive, coveted, right? Yeah, the most expensive gem on the planet. Translucent, ice-grade, mutton-fat jade with the most prized Queen Conch and the stations of rarity. 70 chances. I'm already in triple figures. And I give you a 30 second clock. Good luck, everybody. Absolutely beautiful. Again, it's the simplicity for me. I like that. I mean, if you want the fine filigree work, yep. we've got the carvings. But if you want something that is almost quite linear, very yep. Elsa Peretti, uh, sort of the diamonds by the yard kind of look, I love the simplicity of this. It's, it's uh, relentless on the phone lines. Is There is a bit of a wait. It's a free phone number. But make sure you're getting involved. Make sure that you are getting involved. Right, we're going to go, to, we're going to half the price, and I'm still hundreds of pounds away from we're going to finish up. Just trying to manage the, the, the call center, trying to manage uh, the, the flow of calls. But for those of you that know how this works, especially with it being my final deal with you today, I'd be on the phone lines early. I would really be on the phone lines early. Uh, Susan, Frida, Ron, Karen, Angela, Carol, Hazel, Karen, Maker in West Midlands, so many of you there. You're going to see multi buyers like Jenny. You're multi buying. This is that moment. Four nine nine. We're at one hundred and twenty four pound seventy five on your split payments, and I'll take another thirty second clock. Good luck. I'm going to give you a final deal. Good luck. Good I'm luck. Give you a final deal right now. 
amazing. Again, I, this is kind of my, where my expectations were, Dave, was yeah. something like this. Absolutely, Absolutely. incredible. Um, and anywhere else outside of these four walls, I know we say it in an almost blasé manner, yeah. anywhere else. You're not going to find this anywhere you, else, That's are the you? one thing. I can't even find you comparisons. You know? yeah. Thousands is, is very, very easy to see. I actually remember when I was kind of tailing you in Tucson one yeah. day, um, and we stumbled across there was one trader who had a single conch. Yeah, you remember? Yeah. Remember how expensive it was? Yeah, yeah. there was one, literally one. one. And you've got a multitude on this strand. Right, this is, it's gonna go wild. How many do we have left? Maybe, I don't know, 50, 40, whatever it is. About 27. Oh, 149. Wow. That's the craziest deal we've ever done on a queen coin. That's a, that's a, that's a ever. big jump. And again, going back to that conversation, there was just one yes. in a little box and it was more than 149. Oh sure. my God, it was, you know, it was thousands. Yeah. But that's the reality of, of, of the Queen Kong. And here you have your opportunity to acquire this full strand. There's 70 of them available and a lot of you want to multi-buy. A lot of you want to jump on in and get involved. It's, third, it's literally, it's 37 pound 25 it's on interest-free split payments. It is an unmissable deal. It's absolutely unmissable at this deal. Amazing, it truly is. Oh my goodness me, sorry, the show, oh, the show continues as well. But, Absolutely, we still um, have, oh. Elle still has lots of incredible Queen Kong to bring to you, but right now your opportunity is on this strand. Stations of rarity. Stations never, we've of never Queen done this before, have never, we? Never, ever, ever. It's, it, it, it's just, again, yeah, that combination, that marriage made in heaven um, with the Kotan Jade, yeah. love that. As good as it gets. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And is this the kind of thing that if you were able to do a show like this on our sister channel, I guess that would be one of the, 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 the fastest sellers. Yeah, that would be what, we, what you referred to earlier as the flagship piece. Yeah. It would sell out on pre-order. Um, to have Queen Kong and Mutton Fat Jade oh. on the, the most famous kind of design inspiration of, you know, by the yard. Yeah. Would be incredible. Look at the split payment, £37.75. and pence. Well done. Uh, again, lots of you multi-buying on this opportunity. It does come, as with all of your Queen Conch from David Harry Jewels, um, you do get the beautiful presentation box. Um, amazing. This is going to go beautifully with lots of the items that I'm going to... Um, that I'm going to continue bringing you as well. Sorry, I'm getting so enthusiastic here that, um, that I'm knocked over the bus. Um, okay, so yeah, you can get still get hold of that, but only just you need to be checking out your baskets again. Loads of multi buyers on this one as well. Fa it's beautiful. What an amazing privilege this is to see Queen uh, Conch. That's the quantity. Yep. Live I'm going to give you a minute clock to close. For those of you that love the Queen Conch, there is still lots uh, to come for you that Ellie's going to take you through. And look, the, the team are going to be doing the, the most incredible deals. But I've got the final nine chances right now of the Mutton Fat Jade and the Queen Conk. Stations of rarity, you know, Queen Conk by the yard, Mutton Fat Jade by the yard. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Down to the final 44 opportunities. Um, I don't blame people like Suzanne and Frida and London for multi-buying on this opportunity, no Dave, because we're not going to be commissioning anything like this again, are we? No, I'm absolutely not. Never Look, say we never. Will, but never I'd... say never, but it's taken so many years to get to this point, literally. Yeah. The, the work that goes on behind the scenes. And then finally for it to arrive here, you know, in time for your birthday celebrations and your birthday deals is something that is sensational. 20 seconds remain on this live deal and lots more still to come for you. Oh, what a privilege. Um, I mean, the, the story behind it as well, yeah. the, the, the fact that this is so to, one in two million. Yeah, I that's was, conservative estimates. Katrina you know, Perez says made, one in two billion. I was thinking about the odds of the lottery. Yeah. I was like, what are the odds of the lottery? I'm not entirely sure. I don't Generally, know. I don't know, but it's got to be round about that, surely. Uh, well, I think it's a little bit higher, but... Is it? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know, but still. Look yeah, at what absolutely. we just got for what for, for, for an affordable price tag. Absolutely ridiculous. Stay holding. There are, I think, seven left or something. Well done. I will see you am I with, tomorrow, I think? Tomorrow, yes. Yeah, tomorrow, we will be with you. It's going to be incredible. With Sakura Age. Oh, my God, yeah. How could I forget? I mean, what a lineup this weekend so, is. So, tomorrow, 10 a.m., myself and Al and the whole team, the, the legendary return of Sakura Age. We can't wait for it, so make sure you tune in for that. But right now, the Queen Conk continues, and I'll see you very soon. Oh, Bless, isn't he wonderful? There you go. So Dave returns to our screens tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Now, I have, uh, do you know, I was distracted, and I apologise to Dave. I know he's in the background right now, but I was distracted because I saw some of the pieces that were launched um, alongside Carol, I think it was. Um, oh, my goodness. Which one? Because I haven't seen a couple of these pieces. Is it? Are you talking about that hand-carved pendant? Oh my goodness me!
So you get the box and the bale. I'm going to show you that first, because let's be honest, that's the, that's the boring parts. Look, so you get, this is what you get, a pinch bale. You got it there, you get the box, which by the way, nice little detail with the queen. With the queen, there you go, for queen conch. But you also get, oh my word, I've never seen this before. Earlier on, Dave showed some carved pieces, didn't he? There's, there was a suite. There was a full suite, which had the most beautiful carvings. There was horses at the top. No. And I, I really want to show you this before. There you go, that one. Take a little look at this. Done by hand, and you can see, 1860. In, it's currently displayed within the British Museum as we speak. Check this out. Oh my goodness me. I'm blown away by this. Absolutely blown away. Can I also just turn it round so you can actually see that flame on the other side? And you can see that it's carved out of one queen conch shell. Look at, I can't, I'm speechless. I don't know what else to say. How many of these are available? Less than 20. If you've got the budget, and I don't know what this is going to, genuinely this is the first time I've actually seen it, but imagine this and earrings, and I'd put something like a black jadeite at the top or maybe a, a pearl of some description. Oh my goodness, straight away these are getting snapped up. Um, and we're going to take it immediately into three figures. I wanted to show you that carving because I was blown away by that. I was looking at the horses at the front, you know, the muscle definition, sort of the, the hooves. Um, and then I'm now looking at this thinking, oh my goodness me, it's not in the shadows. And that's displayed, by the way, that is displayed within a British museum. Here we are bringing you hand carved, genuine Queen Conch for a triple figure prize tag. And you can, it, it, it is exquisitely carved. It get, you get the pinch bale, you get the queen conch box uh, from the David Harry jewels, but most importantly, you get this absolutely amazing master carving. Remember this, because this is always going to stick with me now. There are, it's estimated 12 people in the entire world who can carve queen conch. 12 people in the world. What's the population of our planet? Seven billion, approximately? Twelve people, approximately, can carve this beautiful treasure. We're under 500 pounds, but they will sell out today. Do you know, I've got to be honest, I'm jealous. In a minute, we're going to half that price tag. I've just said it out loud, just so you know, it's fair for absolutely everybody. Again, look at that quality. Look at the, the wonderful folds of the petals all done by hand split payment you know that's going to reduce quite dramatically it comes beautifully boxed let me just open that for you as well so you can actually see that split bale um, that also comes alongside this well done to each and every single one of you that have already um already shopped ahead hello margaret hello lovely um saying it it looks like a victorian brooch it's beautiful isn't it it's blown me away margot it's absolutely blown me away, this piece. And it's the first time I've seen it. First time I've, because this, like, this was on a show um, in, on the other shift side, basically. So um, absolutely blown me away. Good luck, everybody. And well done to those of you that have already checked out. Yeah, it's happening. In three seconds, we are going to half that price tag for you all. The detailing, and it just puts it into, uh, into perspective, doesn't it? The fact that you can see a carving a set that's displayed within a bit at British Museum. Uh, heaven knows what's that, what that's worth. And you can see something here in the Jewelry Maker Studios, carved by one of those 12 individuals, they estimate. But today you can get hold of it for 249 pounds or 62 pounds and 25 pence on your split payment. Nottinghamshire, do I feel some earrings coming on? 
Oh, that would be absolutely beautiful. Linda and Margaret in uh, Margaret, well done to you. Nottinghamshire, I've got London, M Michael and Miranda. Um, Anne in Cardiff, amazing. Judith's there, Surrey's there. Why well don't you, new customer? I can see you there as well. Make sure you check out, check out, check out. Um, okay, now I'm going to leave that with you because there's only a couple left. I'm going to bring you now. I don't see that. I see one with rice beads. Um, you get, am I meant to have this in there too? <gasps> it's a clasp. It's a clasp. Let me show you this first. This is a box clasp with queen conch. And the most beautiful brilliance. I'll confirm in a second, but I'm pretty sure that's topaz. So again, look, you've got your box clasp. If I hold, I know it's not a great way to demonstrate, but you can see the security of a box clasp. So this is, you know, a vintage piece of uh, jewellery for the future. You get this, but you also get your queen conch in your rice shapes. How beautiful are these? Okay, I know I won't have many of these available. You could just do a simple restrand. You could incorporate these alongside um, um, this piece that we brought you earlier on if you wanted to. It's amazing class, this one. I absolutely love it. It's a box class, and again, you can see the investment of the sterling silver. Um, you can see you've got that lovely flame. Look at the flame in the center of your queen conch. Um, again, yeah, that on its own. That on its own, and again, casting. I can only sort of talk about my own personal experiences um, of gemstones like I said when I was in Tucson not the beginning of this year but a year previously I only ever saw one queen conch um, and believe me it was nowhere near three figures good luck everybody I've got 20 available opportunities it comes alongside the strand and the box obviously so you could literally knot this in the same technique that Claire demonstrated earlier on 299 pounds only can I also just say as well this you know also highlights how incredible this deal was, doesn't it? I mean, they're both absolutely fantastic deal, but it really highlights the fact that this... How much were they? How much did that go to in the end? 499 So less than £200 per strand of Queen Conch. Goodness me. Absolutely incredible. But with this, if you want just the rice beads and that beautiful connector, today you can get it for £74.75 um, on split payment or two nine nine. Limited though, super, super, super limited. Again, to put this into, pers into perspective, we talk about the different, you know, the rarest gemstones in the world, the likes of Kotan jade. Um, we talk about your, uh, um, your Olmec jadeite. We talk about sort of your Paraba tourmalines. I could go on and on. This has to be up there in terms of its levels of rarity. Okay, let me squeeze in now. Um, oh, that's a lovely box clasp. Oh, it's beautiful, this. I like this one treating myself to some queen conch today i think we're going to do it in one price crash again it comes box which i'm just going to put there for a second you get your six millimeter queen conch rounds and then this beautiful box clasp i love the simplicity of this less than 20 of them available so it is limited if this is grab pulling on your heartstrings absolutely beautiful look at the qualities of the color Wow, just one set onto some precious metal, I'm sure you could sell for, yeah, at least £100, at least. I mean, yes, you'll probably need to educate your customers or if you're gifting it, obviously the people that are receiving it, because not everyone is going to know about Queen Conch, not everyone is going to know. I didn't, I didn't know prior to Dave um, that, you know, the likelihood, the statistics of a, a, a Conch reaching Queen status um, is one in two million. Remember, how many, how many eggs do they have to lay for a, a Conch to, um, to reach adulthood? Millions and millions of eggs effectively so this is such a rare material but i tell you what the end result when it is um seen witnessed in beautiful jewelry i tell you what it'll blow your mind keep dialing through i can see you there i'm moving quite quickly through these pieces now i've got one more strand um there's 16 do i have it here i've got pearls yeah this 
So the last strand opportunity in your queen conch. Now this comes with, let me show you. You've got a cabochon of queen conch. And then this comes with not one. Oh, then you have your setting. Let me put that there. Which is a connector, effectively. And you have a box clasp. And you have not one, but two strands of beautiful, complementary pearls. Yeah, amazing pearls. Totally natural in their color. Eight by seven millimeters. And again, you've got that really beautiful sort of blush pink color. Um, there's 10 left available. They come, they, uh, they come beautifully boxed. Again, in terms of individual components, this obviously brings you um, sort of some of the most uh, plentiful offerings. Um, you've got 10 available. Again, split payment, even if we were to stop here, is absolutely amazing. What is that? Hang on a minute, 149 pounds? They're natural colored pearls. They should be that each, shouldn't they? But you get the two of them. For, you know, I, I personally, I can say, have brought pearls which are naturally coloured of similar size, similar uh, um, criterias at 149 in the past here at Jewellery Maker. You're getting two plus the queen conch, plus the beautiful zircon clasp and that wonderful um, display case as well. Well done. £49.66. Um, one, one more finale opportunity on your queen conch. It's a beautiful pendant that was part of, um, part of the... Uh, initial launch that I was very lucky and proud and privileged to be part of. This um, is, is I, I believe it was kind of based around, was it a Tiffany's piece? I feel like it was a Tiffany's and Co piece um, that Dave, thank you, Dan, Dave first saw. I'm just going to get this off, um, borrow the chain for this one. Now, it also reminds me a little bit of Fabergé, where Fabergé, I think, are quite uh, renowned for the sort of their beautiful uh, egg designs. Um, so it's quite reminiscent of this. You'll pro some of you, if you, were, if you were watching during that show that we launched Queen Conch to the world, then you'll already know which one I'm talking about. Um, this is always a bit of a talking point. When we talk about Queen Conch, we always describe, um, we always describe, that's okay, don't worry. Um, we always describe this wonderful pendant. It, it does open and close. In fact, perhaps I should show you that first um, because it opens and closes like a pendant. So if I point that towards you, you can see it just there. Can you see that there? How it opens and closes, the front and the reverse. There you go. Comes part of the, part of the actual bail. And then you have your, punch, uh, your conch pearl in the center. We're not playing this one? Oh, I beg your pardon, have I got the wrong one? Sorry. This one, I can come back. Okay, no problem. Sorry, sorry, Roscoe. Um, actually, this is the one I bought on the launch. Love this. Yeah, really, I love the simplicity of it. Um, it's that classic look. So you can see there you've got that beautiful, very sort of regal halo-like design. And then you have a wonderful flame in your conch pearl. Shall we do the lowest price point um, of your uh, conch pearl opportunities? So £99, we've matched. What, the launch price? Of anything we've done today, that's the lowest price we've done. Okay, amazing. But we are going lower on this opportunity again. But it's a simple gemstone setting. That's all you need to do. Um, I'm looking at it thinking there's, what, four prongs that you just need to gently cradle over um, your, conch, uh, your queen conch just to make sure it's absolutely secure. We are going to take this to the lowest price of the entire showcase. How many do we have, though, Roscoe? 40. Of, really? Okay. So can I just make a request? Because we launched this back in October last year and we've got the final remaining quantity. Now, it's a it's a smaller queen conch. It's a beautiful quality, though, um, because you can see that real intensity of the pink. If we're going to make, make that price pledge, then we need to make sure that we do actually sell them out as well, especially in Dave's absence. No pressure here. So I, we need to see, I'm going to say, what do you reckon, Ross? We need to see 20 people there. 20 people on the web. 20 people on the phone lines. Join us and we'll take it to the lowest ever price point. Maybe your first introductory opportunity of Queen Conch. Maybe, maybe you've loved this. You've been sort of sat watching from afar. Um, maybe it's not been quite within budget as we speak right now. Well, here's your chance. Because today we're going to take this to the lowest price of the entire showcase. Good luck, everybody. 
Here's your chance to own Queen Contra. I bought this one on the, la on the launch. I loved it. I love the traditional design. I like the fact that the Queen Contra really takes sort of center stage. £79 only. Again, you get the mount, you get the Queen Conch cabochon, perfectly calibrated to go alongside one another. Um, and excitingly, you can get hold of it for £39.50 on your split payment. Well done to you, Cardiff. Congratulations, Michael and Miranda. Mary, Tracy, hello to you. Jamati, Sally. Um, absolutely fabulous congratulations to you uh west midlands you're there but you i'm saying congratulations you need to check out your baskets there was only 40 available opportunities um so don't leave it in those baskets well done and have you used any of those codes that we offered you at the beginning of uh, um the previous previous hour karen esther veronica well done nicolette jamati amazing congratulations to you um at this kind of price point and if budget allows you could potentially remove that bail and turn them into some beautiful drop earrings i think that would be amazing um and with a bit of uh, um guidance from claire or if you're a silversmith you could maybe solder this into the most beautiful ring um, lowest price of the show check out those baskets though esther i can see there is a little bit of a, a queue on the phone lines i'm not the most incredible jewelry maker i say it quite openly um, on air quite frequently i set this and if i can set it then absolutely anybody can i do assure you of that one no it's true it's true i know i know this just a little bit of gentle coaxing just over that conch shell um, to secure it into place dremel is coming up as well so i'm very very excited um, so I've got one last piece that I haven't got it physically here in the studio, but we can show it. Um, we can show it uh, via recording. So this is one of the only, if not the only, Queen Conch rings. It's definitely the only one that we've got today. Again, I love the simplicity. Look at that flame that you see within. Seventy-nine pounds. It's available in all your different sizes as well. Love it, absolutely love it. It reminds me, take, if you cast your mind back to the first Queen Conch piece that we saw, um, that Tiffany's & Co chrysanthemum, it was that Queen Conch pearl that you saw in the centre of the chrysanthemum that had a similar flame. Well done, everybody. Now, TTU has sold out. Uh, R to S is limited, L to M is limited, but again, you can absolutely get this resized. It's all about owning the rarity of this precious gemstone. You have that wonderful flame. Do you see how the colors kind of swirl and migrate together? Amazing. Don't go anywhere, lovely jewelry makers, because I'm going to be joined by Dremel, um, who've got the most amazing birthday deal for you all as well. Um, so yes, Kez, I've seen a setting up in the background here in the studios. Do not go anywhere. Anyway, a very special guest joining us after this. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Let the party begin. 13 days of banging deals coming your way. Shitting. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. We hope you love all of the products that we've been developing for you over the last year. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday, jewellery maker. It's Yvonne here. Just wanted to pop in and send huge congratulations for 13 fabulous years of jewellery maker. I couldn't be more delighted to be joining the jewellery maker team. I look forward to joining in with the frivolities during birthday week. And there's only one thing to say. Cheers. Oh, happy birthday, jewellery maker. <laughs> The deal of the day on Friday is a conch collection, which comprises of a kit with three strands of conch in. Um, we've also got new development of carved conch, and we've also got a few individual pieces, collectible pieces, such as a donut. So for us to get conch into the business, it's a really long process. As we do with all our suppliers, we wanna make sure it's ethically sourced, it's being produced in um, factories where you know everyone's being treated correctly. Um, with conch, it's obviously a natural product so it takes us a little bit longer because we have to fill in extra paperwork get extra certification and it can take us about um, six or seven months to actually get it here so this collection has been in development for a really long time and I can't wait to bring it to the customers at Jewelry Maker Happy 
13th birthday jewellery maker, you are officially a teenager. Over the last 13 years you have brought us the most amazing products and fantastic inspiration. So thank you so much and have a wonderful birthday. I'm very excited to come and celebrate with you. Hi, Charlie here, Sermon Street Director. Just wanted to wish Jewellery Maker a happy 13th birthday. Hi, you lovely people. Happy 13th birthday. Love seeing you when we take over from here at one o'clock each day. Have a great time. Keep on making. Hello, Jewellery Maker. John Scott here. Just wanted to wish you a very, very happy birthday. 13 years, my word, 13 years, you've not had me on enough, have you? I'll see you very soon. Have a fantastic 13 days. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. From the Hobby Maker team. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. 13 years of crafting your own gemstone jewelry. And I know this birthday celebration is even more exciting gemstones to come. Happy birthday. Jewelry Makers, this Saturday is the closure of Jewelry Makers' 13th birthday party celebrations. Boo! But don't worry, we've got a fantastic Saturday show for you. I'm going to be joined by the fantastic Susie, who is launching for the very first time her own Jadeite bead collection. Also, your deal of the day, you've seen it, is the beautiful Sakura Agate. We have it in brand new shapes and sizes, and also the most exquisite cashmere grey jadeite bangle. There's more, an exclusive book launch, gem extender chains, and lots of fun and games. So make sure you don't miss out that's this Saturday, the last official day of the birthday. Happy 13th birthday, jewellery maker. Happy birthday! Happy 13th birthday, jewellery maker. I can't wait uh, to share the celebrations and some cake with you guys. Tune in for the epic deals that we've got in store for you. Uh, and happy birthday once again. Hi, my name's Susie Mellon, and I just want to wish jewellery maker a very happy 13th birthday. Mwah. to Kiz. Hi. Hello. Thank you. Thank it's, you for having me. Oh, do you know, <laughs> thank you for coming on here because I know it's a little bit daunting and terrifying. But I <laughs> yeah. remember very, uh, very well my first. Is this first time? No, no, this is my third time. Oh, there but you go. It's still... You're a pro <laughs> uh, so, so, Kez, you're from Dremel. Uh, yes. Yeah, and I've, I've already had a little sneaky peek at some yeah. of these mm -hmm. videos uh, of how you created it. Yep. The Dremel, I have to tell you, when we first were introduced to this amazing tool, it was just a revelation because yes. you do so. I mean, of course, we, I was lucky enough to go down to, um, is it Bosch? It is Worcester Bosch, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, to yes, actually yes. have um, some training with them mm. as well. So this tool is a revelation. It does um, so it's much. It's multi-purpose. Yes. yes, it doesn't just do wood or metal, um, glass. It does. It does so much more you know, um, within the, all the accessories. They all do different things. And it's not just craft either. I mean, no. obviously, I know that's no. why we're here. Yes, because we want to make beautiful jewellery. Yes, but you can use like I have a Dremel at home, and my husband uses it probably more than me. Yeah, <laughs> for cleaning his tools. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. things like that, and, yeah. and like you said, woodwork. And I even I remember so clearly. I think it was Andy. Um, yeah. That first said to me, you can sharpen your lawnmower blades with yes. a Dremel. Yes, you can. Yeah, Do absolutely. absolutely everything yeah. with this tool. And it's not an intim... I always use this an intimidating tool yeah it's not. some people do find tools intimidating yeah, and that's that's them. you know that that's natural so yeah. you know that's what i'm here today to show you you don't be intimidated you know you can do this it's so easy i love it i absolutely love it now that's what we like to hear now if you've not got the dremel as of yet then don't worry um we are going to be bringing it to you today now i'm just looking elsewhere we've just heard it's not currently available on that river website not currently Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I don't, uh, yeah. And you know that we will always endeavour. So it says there, currently not available. There you go. Good. 
um, on that River website. So you can get it from us today. And we always, always endeavour to bring it at the most affordable price tag. And this is from, oh, really uh, something as well that uh, we've manifested over the years of being a wonderful partnership, I guess, with, mm -hmm. uh, with Dremel. We've always endorsed how fabulous your tool is. Now, there's 100 available for you all today. And it's a prime op opportunity, as we are live here in the studio, surrounded by confetti. Yes. Completely Happy normal, birthday. Like, happy birthday. <laughs> Um, yes, that's exciting. You're it part of the birthday it. celebrations. Yeah, it's great. If you have any questions for Kez, is it all right if people yeah, text Yeah, absolutely. In? Yeah, yeah. Always happy Wonderful. to answer questions. Wonderful. So what about, I mean, obviously we'll show you around the tool. Kez will be able to tell you sort of mm -hmm. how it works, what you use for what, etc. And we actually have some additional accessories to bring to Yes, wear. yes. So they are all available on the website right now. So if you want to shop ahead on these, we've got a hundred of the Dremel and then we've got, uh, so these, are they accessory packs? Is that what you call yes, them? Yes, they're accessory packs. So they are obviously sold separate. Um, the Dremel itself, the kit that we've got here today, yeah. um, has got quite a few of the bits in to kind of so like you get, get you going. Okay. Yeah. So it gets you going. And then obviously as you gain more confidence and want to do more, then you buy the accessory packs to suit your needs. Fabulous. So can we show what you just showed? Did you, you, I assume this is you. Yes, this is me. Oh, you talented lady. So that was done with, this is glass etching and that is done with the etching set that we've got there. Um, and it's just a picture etched in the glass. And to get the different depths, you use the different stones that are in the glass etching set. That's amazing. Mm. That's absolutely, I had a go at this when I came down to uh, your, your headquarters. Okay. It was fun. Yeah, it was a lot. It of is. It is I have a to lot say, of mine doesn't look anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> mine, mine <laughs> it is. It is a lot Much of fun. More basic. It, it, well, it doesn't matter. You start basic, yeah. and then you you build your way up, and that's what you do. You build. It's um, practice is progression. Love. So yeah, you're building up and it's... So would you mind introducing um, yourself to everybody? I mean, obviously we know you're from Dremel, etc. And your name's Kez. Yeah. But um, how long have you been sort of doing um, crafting, if you like, using the Dremel? Um, I've been working with Dremel for the past three years. Mm -hmm. um, but we've had a Dremel in the workshop for about 15 years. Okay. Um, my husband, it, like yourself, he, he's done all sorts of different things with it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I actually started with artwork and stuff with Dremel so I produce content and stuff and demonstrate how to use the tools for artwork and things like that. Um, and I remember as well that one of the things that we've really had feedback from our, our customers and audience before is that the fantastic customer service that you get with, yes. with Dremel yes. as well. So, yes. not, you, you know, if you have any questions, you can actually contact them directly. Yes, can't yes, you? absolutely. You can. Yeah, you can do social media. Um, you can contact them via social media or you can contact them um, via emails or through the, through the website or anything like that. And they will get back to you straight away. They are brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, they are pretty amazing. Back. I think that's yeah. something that really, and that's so important, isn't it? Especially it is, it something is, that you're yeah. going to progress with. Um, okay, now the graphics are on your screens. Um, a tra uh, again, I, I bought a Dremel tool. Um, I'm going to admit it now. I didn't buy it from Jewelry Maker <laughs> because they'd sold out on Jewelry Maker. So I had to go to my local DIY shop where I know I probably paid more, but that's fine. Yeah. And it's a tool that, you know, you reach for time and time and time again it is because you can do so many different applications with it yes you know i mean here we've got here some little fox and uh, turtle pendants and stuff that i've carved out with the dremel tool um but obviously then i've done the cat um etching with the glass so you can do so many different things and i will show you but i have got some metal here yeah that we can also engrave. So if you've, you're making anything like um, bracelets or things like that, and you want to put your little handmade tag on, that is something that I'll show you in a minute on how to do. How amazing. Yeah. How amazing. Well, shall we talk to, shall we tell everybody what we're going to get yes. um, first? And then, of course, we can dive into your yep. demonstrations galore. Um, so this is the Dremel 3000. Yes, it is. So... It is. Um, because there's, there's different varieties of Dremels, aren't there? There is, yes. And this, this is a really good kit to start with. So if you're a beginner, you're just sort of starting out, this is a really good kit to start with um, because you do get um, all the accessories. So what you get here first is your little bag. Yep. And we all love a little bag. Absolutely. That we need to put things in. Yep. And you get your kit of accessories. We'll go through that in a second. Um, you get a multi-purpose cutter. So there is a piece... Um, in there that goes with that and we'll go through that in a moment you get a little sample thing with a piece of leather 
and oh, a piece okay. of wood. So it's just a little sample to just get you going. Go. You have got your user manual for all the different things. Okay. And you have got a quick start guide here to show you. So if you're a complete beginner, you're not quite sure um, what setting you should have the Dremel at. You have got your accessories here and it gives you the number of what you should set your actual Dremel to. Oh, so like the speed? Yeah, so your okay. speed settings. Yes. Okay. So it, you've got a quick start guide. And then it shows you what, what, what's that down the side there? This here shows you, so the yellow one is what would be this section here is cleaning and polishing. So I have got some resin bits here. So if you've worked with resin before, yeah. you obviously you clean it, you need to polish it. Yeah. So this is what this section is for and it shows you what you need and at what speed you need these accessories Fabulous. at. Fabulous. So then the green would be for... The green is grinding and sharpening. So okay. if you've got um, knives and like you said, the lawnmower and things, yeah. you need these tools. Oh, your kitchen knives? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, we ha um, in Dremel, within Dremel, we have um, a team of misfit makers, and we have a couple of knife makers, and they use them for the for making knives from start to finish. How have I never thought of that? <laughs> because knives. you don't, you don't no. until you're told. Yeah, you learn Amazing. something new every day. Amazing. And then um, in the in the teal? turquoise, yeah, turquoise steel. It's um, the carving, engraving. So wow. that's what you would do. You would carve in Intricate. and things like that. Yeah. I mean, I've carved these as you can see yes. with these sections. Okay. And then you've got your sanding bands and your sanding discs, and then you've got sanding buffs, okay. which take down to a lower grit to be nice and fine. Yeah. Then the next section here, the red section, you've got cutting. So if you've got at home and you're doing some pipe work or something and you've got a rogue screw that will not come out. Those you, rogue <laughs> screws. Yeah, you can actually you know, click, clip on a disc and cut it off. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Do you know it happens though, doesn't it? It does. It does. Yeah. You know, um, we, we, we recently at home, you know, sort of like taking out tiles and we've got bits behind it yeah. and it's like, you know, we need to take them off and you can't get them out. No. You know, get, so your Dremel. get the Dremel out. And then you've got the drilling accessories. So you, you can actually put this tool inside this workstation here. Yeah. Okay. So it screws in here by this nut and then you use it. Uh-huh. To give okay. you nice drills, the, the, it gives you the down cut, so it um, gives you the straight hole rather than Which it being Which would probably be wonky. difficult to do by hand, wouldn't it? Yes, it can be difficult so. to do by hand. I mean, I, with these particular things here, you can see that I've done the hole. Oh, you there? Yeah, that's it. Yep, yeah, I've done the hole in, I've drilled the hole in the fox's head to be able to put the leather through yes. and what I've used is the workstation yeah. to do that with. So you've got so many accessories and you can accessorize it so much with um, with just one tool. Wow, they're fabulous. Like I said, yeah. you get you get so anything else? You get yes. the Dremel itself. Yes, you do obviously you do get the Dremel itself, but you also get this and it's called a flex shaft. Oh, I remember how excited all the designers were. Yeah, yeah they shaft. are. They're absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Can you just put those in there a second? Yeah. Now this flex shaft just goes on to here. So I'm going to take this off here a second. Yeah. And take this cone off. Now in here, what you have is a little nut. Okay. So there's a little nut there. And what we're going to do with that little nut is put that in here because this changes uh, this collet goes from this one because you can actually use this tool just like this. Okay, yeah. So we're going to take that collet off there okay. and that collet will go on there in a second. Okay. So we're going to put that there. So what this is is a locking knot. So we're going to press that down as that screws on. Right. Okay. okay and it's little things like this yeah. I need to see. So then what you've got in here is you've got a wire. Okay. A, a, a can you see that? Yeah, just inside. about. Yeah, there. there we go. So inside you've got like a little wire in there. If we point it towards Ethan's camera there. There, so right in the middle, you can oh, just yes. see the little wire there. Perfect. Now what that does is that that goes into the hole on that nut. Okay. Yep, you got that. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to push that over there and screw 
that on. Just like that. Lovely. Making sure that that is nice and tight. Okay. What I'm going to do is hang that back up there, just for a second. And this collet here, remember it? It slots in when it wants to. It doesn't jump do out. Yeah, <laughs> so it just slots it's not in a live there. TV. But... And you've got a button here again just to hold that collet still mm -hmm. as you screw on that piece there. So you screw it down. Now this piece here, um, you will need to obviously every time that you change your accessories, so we've got a ton of accessories in here. So every time you change your accessories, you've got a little spanner. Tell you what, let's just do this. Tip it out, tip it out. Let's have a look, have a search through it. Okay, so we've got sanding bands. We've got the easy, easy click for the discs. You do get lots of other accessories for the easy click. So the, the shaft just pulls down and oh, okay. twists on. So if I show you now so that one it just goes slides into the hole now some people all the way down or too far out and what i suggest is you put your thumb on the end so you can see it, your thumb is in line and you push it down to where your thumb meets the collet and it's about a thumb width is where you need right your accessory okay, top tip, to be you. there we go there you okay job done now with these, you can just pull the green collet, uh, the speed click down, place over the top and turn until it uh, clicks. Yeah, because you don't want that flying off, no, do you? No, you don't. So that is then ready for cutting this. And you use this, you can use it like a pen or depending on what you're doing, you know, you can actually get the sanding bands that go on these kind of things yeah. and the buffs and stuff like that. So there's lots of different accessories that go onto that. Amazing. Okay. So I'm gonna take that one out. Right, you do have a spanner for locking these off. And that end there is also a little screwdriver for okay. some of the accessories like this one. Lovely. Okay, so you get, you flex your shaft, mm -hmm. your Dremel itself, mm -hmm. the Dremel itself, you get numerous accessories. Yes, yes, definitely. Alongside this as well. Yep. Um, not available in, uh, um, uh, on Amazon at the moment, no. but let's let, let's just start introducing a price onto your screens. And to be honest, you're probably not going to need to replace your, your Dremel. It's one of those tools that you know they are quality, aren't they? They so are. They will last. I mean, our three thousand that we've got at home, we've had for around fifteen years. There you go. So you know you you don't and I bet generally you use a lot. We do, yeah. we do. Um, so we don't you don't generally replace them. No. Oh, there we go. How amazing is that? Now. Um, we did find one price comparison, so uh, Arts and Crafts Kit, £3,109.99. Mm -hmm. That seems very good. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Yes. Another one on eBay, look, £109.95. Uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, amazing, very good. We yeah. will, Here's what you'll come to realise is here at Jewelry Maker, we always try and do better. That's good. It's not always That's possible, good. obviously, mm -hmm. but apparently today it is. Brilliant. So we're going to bring, um, and we've got 100 available. So if you've always wanted, I, I, I tell you how many designers that love the Dremel. Yes, yes. Well, we had Claire yeah. earlier on, um, who's a, an amazing silversmith, incredible yes. jewellery designer working with the Dremel, mm -hmm. polishing with the Dremel. Yeah, polishing, yeah, that's what these buffs here are for, yeah. um, for polishing. So you can polish. Um, I've got a piece of silver here. So you can polish your silver, you can polish your resin. Amazing. You know. It's not just your metal. You can work no. with lots of different materials. Yeah. Um, like I said earlier on, we will always endeavour to bring the best possible price tag, particularly when it's part of the birthday celebrations. <gasps> there we go. Special birthday wow. deal for you, £94.99. And, and just the amount that you actually get alongside yeah. it. I do remember when, like I said, it was going back some years ago now when we went down to, um, had a day with uh, yourselves at Dremel and mm -hmm. we had a little bit of fun with like sort of the, um, I remember Andy was like a rabbit in the headlights because all of a sudden <laughs> there was this, this sort of this gaggle of women, all very, very excited <laughs> yeah. about the Dremel. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, he was, um, and they were particularly talking about the flexi shafts. I remember yeah. the designer saying, 
saying you know, that's a must for us. Yes, it is definitely a must because um, this is brilliant. It's got the motor in. But then yeah. to have it's the flexi, heavier, yeah, it? to have the flexi shaft. I mean, you feel the weight different. Yeah, exactly. It's like holding a pen. It, well, yeah, exactly, yeah. and that much easier to to, to yeah. sort of be more precise. Sorry, I'm left-handed. I've got it on my left side. That's You're okay. right-handed. I'm right-handed. Yeah, so um, but you can be that much more precise. You can't can. You? Yeah, it, it, it's it's precision. Yeah, definitely absolutely. precision. Amazing. Um, already loads of you getting involved. Plus, you've got your split payment as well. So 0% yeah. split payment. How amazing is that? £31.66. We did always say, and I remember that um, um, for, for me first experiencing this, and it was like, you're going you're gonna to need to hide it, though. If you've got any other people in your house that are slightly <laughs> creative or particularly like to do sort of the odd jobs around the house, then you're going to need to hide your Dremel. Yes. Because they will be reaching. I'll tell you one of the reasons why I bought mine was I was actually sanding down the banisters in my house. Also, to get into the intricate bits. Yeah, they are absolutely brilliant. Perfect. Um, in this kit, you actually get two different grits of sanding bands. Mm -hmm. So you get the coarser grit, which is 60 grits. Yeah. Okay, so you, what you would do is you would start off with that, and that would take out... Um, a lot of the material away from whatever you're working with. Yeah. And then you have the 120, which is, if you feel them, you can feel the difference. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can feel the difference. Massively. Um, and then you would you go see to the, the difference. Yes, you can. You can. And say, going from then the, the going to the 120, you've got less hand sanding. So that's where you get that really lovely smooth. Yes, yes. Bit. So when you feel those and they're, they're smoother, they can still go down a little bit further, but that is where you would add yeah. the extra buffs and you get the um, sanding discs and stuff like that that they... Amazing. Now, everything is available and on the website now, so you can shop ahead. Is that right, Ross? Um, have a little look. It's all loaded there. And again, if you have any questions uh, for Kes, then feel free to yeah, uh, message us live into the studio. Well, do you want to take it away? Do yes. Do you want to show, yes, you want to show us how we, how we make some these beautiful fox pendants? Yes. yes or absolutely. do you know what? They could be um, you know, little decorations around the home. They could be oh, yeah. just beautiful. Yeah. I, I actually made these um, at Christmas for stocking fillers because I'm not generally... Um, um, a jewellery maker, but I thought, well, some stocking fillers and to personalise a few things, that's just what I, I kind of made them. They're that's gorgeous, they're so absolutely you've got a gorgeous. Fully finished one just there. Oh, look at that. Here we go, we'll look at it on so the fully finished one. I'll turn it towards Ethan for you. Look at these. Yeah, so just in the little boxes and they just look really good for stocking fillers. And, and have you like stained that. this one? I haven't stained it, I put um, an oil on it. Ah. Oh. So it's, it's just really Oh, okay, really love smooth. this. Absolutely love this. And I love wood jewellery as well. Yeah. So um, I always think, because it's nice and lightweight, it's a natural natural yes. material, of course, and it yes. just looks beautiful. It does. Um, okay, over right. to you then, lovely. Okay, so what I would recommend is when you are using a Dremel um, to make sure you have your PPE. Um, for purposes of today, obviously a mask isn't possible because of explaining things, but generally you would need a, definitely a mask. Okay, just so you're not inhaling any of No, the... you don't, because these sanding bands give off such fine dust because they're sanding, um, they're just, you know, you don't want to inhale that. It's so, you know, the particles are so tiny. Okay, so. okay, fair yeah. enough. Okay. And eyewear, I guess, protective eyewear. Yes, yes, definitely eyewear if you need that. I mean, I've got glasses on today. I might reach for some in a second, <laughs> yes. but yes, we'll have some somewhere. If not, I'll vacate over this way a little bit. Um, so, but no, yeah, absolutely. Safety first. So come on then, Elle, pick one. Which one would you like to see done? Oh, I like the resin. Yep, let's yeah. go for it. Which one would you like? I've got a fox. Yeah. Or a cat shape. I've only, I, I just, I did the cat shapes yesterday and I thought I'll have a try for different... What, oh different gosh, am I putting you under pressure here then? No, no, you'll be fine. I don't know. Do you know what? Rather than ask me, text in. Are we doing the fox or the cat? You'll have to be quick then. Yay. You'll have to be quick. First one to text in, because we need to be quick on this one. Yes. Fox or cat? Fox, fox or cat? Fox or cat? Fox or cat? <laughs> um, I don't know, because I love them both. They're both beautiful. They well, are. Fox, there we go. Fox, OK. He is stunning. It's like he's got a little button nose as yes. well. Yes, yes. Uh, that's that. actually wood burnt on ah. the little details. OK, so what I've got here is the coarse sanding band in. So it's a 60 grit in. And I'm going to... Have we got to turn? Yeah. Turn Power it. on. Okay. okay. So these go up. And that was Tina, by the way, who asked for the fox. Brilliant. Nice one, Tina. Uh -huh. Great choice. So we're going up to number six on the Dremel itself. Yeah. What I'm going to do is just... Okay. 
just taking out the excess material As you can see, you can see the fine dust flicking up, can't you? Yeah. The ventilated room, though. Yes. Or oh, say just a mask. A mask will do just fine. Yeah. Especially with um, resin. So we just. This is more like of a, a geometric type fox. So they're really sort of quick and easy to do. Take it in for its ears there. So what I'm doing is just taking the edge off first. And then once I've taken the edge off, I will take in for a shape. Oh, lovely. And they're just really, really quick and easy to do. Yeah, but so effective. They are really, really effective. And, you know, if you received that in your, as a gift, you wouldn't sort of, you know... Oh, no, we love it. Yeah, you wouldn't think it well, only took somebody Adam. ten minutes, yeah, <laughs> would you? Director Adam was just saying he'd love this. He likes this. Yeah. So, again, on this side, just taking the edge off first. And then, once the edge has been taken off, you start to shape. So I'm just going to take that around there just a little bit more. Because we have to be symmetrical, don't we? Of course, yeah. Oops. Jumping out my hand. But it doesn't want to stay today. Frisky fox. It's alive. <laughs> it's a frisky one. Yes. I love that there resin as well. So you what you've just bought? How? I so guess that's a demo for another day. But actually having uh, the resin in between the wood. Yes, it's um, it's been set. It was actually a friend of mine that did it for me. He sent me some resin blocks over, and um, that's just what I made. I beautiful. Yeah, carved a dragon out of one side, and then I've got some left, so I've just done the little foxes. Wow. So, but um, yeah, now with this, all you're doing is the little spannery screwdriver that always sprouts legs and runs off. Yeah. Um, you have got a screw in the end of there. Okay, to undo it again. Yep, to undo it. So pressing the button down here, making sure it's locked. You just right, and tidy, in lefty, the loosey. Yes, that's the one. It's just fiddly. And yeah, it's fiddly. and it never works. It never works well live, does it? No, <laughs> and also I always uh, case people. Uh, you're doing it arm's length, bless you. Yeah. <laughs> so don't uh, don't worry. We're used. Yeah, we are very understanding. <laughs> If you want to bring it up closer, you can. You can. Don't worry. We won't put the pressure of breathing there down the go. back of your neck right it's now. It's fine. Um, yeah, by the way, ideal opportunity maybe for me to say that we had 100 of these. How are we doing in terms of quantity then? Um, okay, less than 30 of them remaining. Wow. If you've got them in your baskets, make sure you do check them out, everybody. Don't leave them um, there. And uh, do you know what's really wonderful that you can get hold of this today on split payment, which is 0% interest? Because really let's good. be honest, you know, as a tool, you know, it, you know it, it's... It's an investment. It's a fantastic it investment. One it that is. you won't regret. regret no, ever. no. I tell you, you, I've never regretted picking my Dremel lock no. and using it. No. I use uh, it every single day. Do you? Yeah, every, absolutely. Every I single day. I can't say that, but I do use it a lot. Mm. I use it a lot, quite a lot in my um, sort of home decor and things like yeah. that. Yeah. And upcycling. I like to upcycle furniture. Oh, yeah. So yes. it's great for that. Because yeah, it just gets in the little details where, you know, when yeah. you take in, I mean, do you, do you do the shabby chic area or things I have like that? done a bit of shabby chic. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. it's kind of like they're taking all the, the old varnish away and then yeah. being able to put it back on. Obviously, you wouldn't be able to put the shabby chic on if you couldn't take the old varnish away. No, absolutely. 
Absolutely. And there's always bit, those pesky bit, crevices, isn't no. there? <laughs> crevices, absolutely. So, <laughs> in more ways than one. Um, <laughs> amazing. Right. So, what I've done here is I've changed the sanding band and we have now got a 120 grit. So, it's a finer grit. Yes, it is. So, as you can see on the um, resin here, you can see all the scores for where the 60 grit has taken out, but it's also left little tiny crevices mm -hmm. in there. So, we're going to get rid of those. Yes. Okay. okay. So let's get rid. With so. your flexi shaft again. Yeah, with the flexi shaft. So we're going to turn up to number six. And we're just going to do in the same action again. A little bit of time. Now, what you do with this is you let the tool do the work. You don't push into the tool or into the piece of piece that you're working on. Mm. You don't push in, you just touch lightly over the top. Does that apply with all of your attachments yes, as well? Yes, with all the attachments, job, yeah. right. um, You find that um, if you push into something, yeah. um, the tool runs away yeah. because there's just too much pressure. So if you find that you're pressing down and it runs off, you need to light, lighten up on the pressure. Okay. Fair enough. Because I think, yeah, um, I think the first... Sort of movement I did with the tool took a big, great big gouge out of my banister. Yeah. And that's because I was probably holding it yeah. too. Yeah. It's too, you just put too much pressure on. Okay. That's all. Right. So Should it's... have had a pla practice run first, really. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. So this doesn't take um, all the deep, well, it takes the deep scratches out, but it obviously puts its own little scratches in. Um, but it's less. It's not. Not quite. They're not. They're not quite as deep with this sanding band. Mm. But then what you do is you go down from there, and you sand even more. So let's turn that off. So what you've got here is you can see there's less wood yeah. in there and taking it out. And then what you would do is you can go down to. Um, the different polishing, these different buffs that you can use to get down to about 320 grit. Yeah. Um, and then you can use the uh, polishing uh, buffs. Pads. Um, yeah. yeah, polishing buffs with the, the, it comes with polishing compound. Wow, amazing. So Did you've you call got that rouge? Um, or is it not called? No, this one's not rouge, but you can use Jewelers Rouge with, with these as with well. These as well. Okay. Um, I do have some Jewelers Rouge in there. I have the white one, but this one doesn't come okay. with this Okay, pack. but you get the polishing compound yeah, as well. Yeah, and that can, you can just put the Jewelers Rouge on there as normal. As you can see, I've used it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and of course, you know, um, like you said it mentioned social media earlier on as well. There's mm -hmm. lots, of, lots of demonstrations that are uh, um, yourself. Yeah, there, are, there is a bunch of misfit makers and we just do misfit a lot of... Misfit makers. Misfit I makers, yeah, that's what we are. Dremel's misfit makers. And we do a lot of um, demonstrations for Dremel um, from different applications. So then we have got jewellery makers. We've got knife makers and things like that. So if you want an application that's not necessarily something that you normally do you can yeah. have a look and you know somebody will show you how to use it love it like somebody I said, knows. it is a wonderful it's the first thing one of the things i took away from dremel is how fantastic they are um mm. with support um we've got some messages coming through uh from deborah in derbyshire um love the dremel couldn't live without mine um but where are those wooden wolf heads i see here i need those in my life well, um, that's, you made them. Yes, I did. I made them. Um, I've actually uh, had got, just got a template and for yeah. the shape that I wanted, and I've just cut them out on a scroll saw. There you go. So have a little look. Yeah. Um, Janet in County Down saying, I love my Dremel. I have a corded and a cordless. They're excellent piece, uh, pieces of kit. Yes, I can are. really recommend it. That's yeah. nice, isn't yeah. it? They are absolutely brilliant. Lots of you messaging in, sharing the love. Um, hello, Gloria saying, hi, Elle. I use my Dremel every day, actually. Uh, um, I had... I had mine nine years ago and couldn't be without it. Absolutely. I, I get it. I totally get it because it, it can do. Genius. I was only complaining about my knives being blunt the other day. <laughs> yeah. Use your Dremel. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Absolutely. And if you are not sure, if you lose your little 
guide. Little guide here. Dremel actually have an app now. Oh. So you can download their app, find the tool that you want, and it's all on, on online. Perfect. There you go. Top tip, so, everyone. Um, everything is uploaded to the website as well, so you can have a little look on jewelrymaker.com um, and they'll see lots of accessories to go alongside. Uh, Michelle, 40 seconds ago, says, I'm still using my 25-year-old Dremel yeah. regularly. Yeah. Um, it is a really good build quality. Uh, good Good build, quality, and I wouldn't hesitate to recommend Dremel to anyone. Absolutely. Do you know, that's, it's lovely, isn't it? It is. It's, it's great nice to hear. hear that. Yeah. Um, it's great to hear. I mean, the lady that had it nine years, you know, they, they go a long time. They do. Long time. And you exactly. you space the, that, 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 that price at over even nine years, you know, you... It's you, a good point. It's a winner. I mean, if you just think about it, actually, how much does it cost to go and have... I don't know. Even on a, if you're thinking around the home, how does it cost to have your your your, your lawnmower blades sharpened? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Generally, don't know the answer. All your knives sharpened. Mm -hmm. But you can also personalise stuff as well. I love this. So I have um, bought the kids for Christmas um, the reusable cups. Yeah. And I've got five kids, so yeah. everybody's hot arguing on whose cups whose. So oh, yeah. I went come round, and I got my Dremel out and. I, I can solve this. All the names on it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Genius. Yeah. Uh, and do you know what? Uh, you only have to look on places like not on the high street to see how big personalization yeah personalization is. is really big yeah really love really it big. yeah and you can you, and it's not just sort of your your metals it's mm. w it's glass as you said wood lots yeah. of different materials yeah. as there well are so many different things that you can do oh uh, kez you're very talented and very lovely as well so thank, thank you, you so much for coming on thank air. you very much for having me oh brilliant bless, yeah um so keep an eye out for Dremel's Misfit, Misfit makers. makers. There we go. Um, you can get more top tips. Make sure you do Sweet. check out your baskets and all your Dremel goodies as well because we have got, like I said, the glass etching set there as well if you want to have a little go at that. Um, all of which work with the same uh, Dremel. Mm -hmm. um, we had a hundred of the Dremel itself with the additional accessories at the beginning of this hour. Um, and we are approaching, I think, did you say 25%? 23 left. Brilliant. There we go. So Brilliant. you can still get hold of yeah. it, but I also don't know anywhere else that get, brings you um, that brings you the split payment option. Mm. So fantastic, you can uh, get hold of it in bite sized chunks. It's a um, great option that is. It it's is a really great option. It's more affordable, isn't it? it and is, you haven't yeah. got massive interest, so no. it's a plus plus no. win win situation. Absolutely. Um, cares everybody <laughs> from you Dremel. Thank you, lovely. Now don't go anywhere because Claire, another Dremel fanatic, um, yeah. will be stepping into the studio. Um, who used uh, like so she was with me on that workshop who uses it for polishing and precious metals and everything else. Now, Claire's coming up after this. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Let the party begin. 13 days of banging deals coming your way. Shitting. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. We hope you love all of the products that we've been developing for you over the last year. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday, jewellery maker. It's Yvonne here. Just wanted to pop in and send huge congratulations for 13 fabulous years of jewellery maker. I couldn't be more delighted to be joining the jewellery maker team. I look forward to joining in with the frivolities during birthday week. And there's only one thing to say. Cheers. Oh, happy birthday, jewellery maker. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Happy 13th birthday, jewellery maker. You are officially a teenager. 
over the last 13 years, you have brought us the most amazing products and fantastic inspiration. So thank you so much and have a wonderful birthday. I'm very excited to come and celebrate with you. Hi, Charlie here, Summer Street Director. I just wanted to wish Jewelry Maker a happy 13th birthday. Hi, you lovely people. Happy 13th birthday. Love seeing you when we take over from me at one o'clock each day. Have a great time. Keep on making. Hello Jewelry Maker, John Scott here. Just wanted to wish you a very, very happy birthday. 13 years, my word. 13 years, you've not had me on enough, have you? I'll see you very soon. Have a fantastic 13 days. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. From the Hobby Maker team. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. 13 years of crafting your own gemstone jewelry. And I know this birthday celebration is even more exciting gemstones to come. Happy birthday. Jewelry Makers this Saturday is the closure of Jewelry Makers 13th birthday party celebrations. Boo! But don't worry, we've got a fantastic Saturday show for you. I'm going to be joined by the fantastic Susie who is launching for the very first time her own Jadeite bead collection. Also, your deal of the day, you've seen it, is the beautiful Sakura Agate. We have it in brand new shapes and sizes, and also the most exquisite cashmere grey jadeite bangle. There's more, an exclusive book launch, gem extender chains, and lots of fun and games. So make sure you don't miss out that's this Saturday, the last official day of the birthday. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. I can't wait uh, to share the celebrations and some cake with you guys. Tune in for the epic deals that we've got in store for you. Uh, and happy birthday once again. Hi, my name's Susie Mellon and I just want to wish Jewelry Maker a very happy 13th birthday. Mwah. Uh, you do a bit, we see that. Claire, everybody. Hello. Or, aka, what's her name? Maggie. Maggie Gillenall. Maggie Gillenall. I was talking That's about really Jake because nice I watched a film with Jake Gyllenhaal last night. Yeah, and people, and Claire was like, "Oh, people say I look like Maggie." I was like, "You do." Yeah, I like that one. Yes, like yeah, that's that nice. One. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What and a day! Right. What a morning! I know. I know. She's back. Bless her. What a trooper! Early starts, but you're powering through. We've still Ooh, got yeah. your amazing kits. Yes. Now the, these kits here. are going to be quite straightforward because they yes, are they effectively this. Yes. There's the gemstones and the and the setting. Yes. Yeah. And we've got right. what. Six, six di different available styles. So I'm going to assume, rightfully or wrongly, that Ross is going to put all of these up on the website. Yes, he says, I'm doing it momentarily. Momentarily. Um, now, we've done adjustable rings before. They're always incredibly popular because you ha A, if you sell your jewellery, you haven't got to worry about the sizes. Yeah. Um, if you gift your jewellery, likewise. And let's not forget... I don't know about you, but anyway, sort of, the, my jewellery sometimes needs to go up, sometimes needs to go down. Yes, I'm with you on that one. Mm. Yes. Particularly yeah. at the moment. A bit like, bit like your jeans. Yeah. 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 Just sometimes yeah. they seem to shrink. By yeah, magic. I know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Yeah. No. So must be that, those pesky washing machines. Yeah, that's it is. What it is. Yes. <laughs> um, but, or, let's also not forget, maybe you suffer with arthritis um, or swelling of the joints or anything like that. It can be quite uncomfortable, can't it, to push jewellery mm. over, yeah. um, over sore joints. So, this you can almost uh, sort of stretch open and then almost wrap around so, it, so it's not 
not loose on the actual finger itself. There's lots of positives to an adjustable and, ring. And also, it's, isn't it? It's like sometimes I feel like, um, you know, I've got some quite uh, big rings that I wear. But if you, you know, sometimes you feel like wearing them on different fingers yes, as well, don't it's you? True. If it's a start, if it's just that set size, you're, you're stuck with that one finger. Whereas these, yeah. you can sort of move them around. Love that. I mean, I, I always find as well, if I go on holiday or fly, everything swells up, doesn't it? Mm. Kind of. Yeah pop yeah. up like a fish yeah um yeah but particularly your fingers and things like that so mm. great if um if you uh sort of get swelling <laughs> i do on a flight if i go on a flight like a puff fish yeah like a yeah. puff fish i do yeah particularly particularly your fingers and toes don't they mm. stop it adam i know what you think of <laughs> <laughs> um okay anyway i do digress but we've never ever ever done um um, adjustable rings like this before have we these are quite possibly the most intricate yes yeah they are I think I think it's the level of detail on these they are absolutely lovely and, and where and how you can see on that one there I do think it oh. the flow of the of the design is, is really really lovely really really works absolutely beautiful plus the choice of the gemstones which they are genuine gemstones so yes I mean, very this, very high end. oh my goodness me claire they really really are if i tip them all out for you so you've got a real color selection um and also in terms of the design so if i try to put the the stones in front of each of the pieces of jewelry then you can um shop ahead on each of those you've got some beautiful garnet that was the ring that you were just looking at a few moments ago um and they're adjustable so one size quite literally fits all there you go, and, uh, and our lovely Ethan can work his way along so you can see which designs um, you want to shop ahead on. So you've got the lovely dragonfly, which includes... Oh, that one's the most popular, the dragonfly. I'm not surprised. Um, I'm not surprised. So, yeah, you've got beautiful, what looks like topaz. Is it topaz and peridot? Sky blue topaz and peridot. So there we go with the with the adjustable dragonfly. Moving along, then you've got this absolutely beautiful butterfly. The butterfly includes sapphire and sky blue topaz. Next one along, you've got uh, another little butterfly, um, but that's in amethyst colours. So absolutely stunning. Uh, moving along, you've got another little dragonfly, um, and that's with Rose de France and Rose Quartz. Then you've got um, your two flowers. Um, one's in garnet, which you can only just see against that black background. Um, but then also you've got that lovely citrine with white topaz. So shop ahead on each of those. The flowers, by the way, are the most limited. So um, if you've got your heart set on owning the adjustable mm, flowers, they are lovely, aren't they? Likewise, as I said about Kez, um, then if you have any messages or questions to Claire about gemstone setting, then uh, now is an ideal opportunity for you to do it. Is gemstone setting tricky? I would say not as tricky as you think. It's about, um, I would say, the time that you saved in that you're not creating the setting. Just take your time then um, when you're setting the stones in try not to get too excited about it and then uh, you know so sometimes it can be tempting not to um concentrate and so you know you want to get the stone flat in the setting and the seat that it's in um and with some of these it's a really nice um it's a nice challenge of so you've got if you can see some of the settings so some of the the prongs that you've got uh, they'll they'll go for um they might go for two gemstones as well mm. and you're also going to manipulate some of the um uh, some of the seats as well, uh, such as where the gemstones sit, just ever so slightly up, and that's going to hold the stone in as well. Um, Perfect. So, yeah, I would say the results you get look really, really high-end so professional, professional, especially with these designs. Um, but it's, gonna, I think, going to be easier than, than you think, yeah. Wow, yeah. amazing. Um, okay, so in terms of quantity of each of these kits, have we got many of them? 100 is the highest quantity. The butterflies, we've got about 70 and 100. Oh, they're quite exclusive, the flowers, then, aren't they? Yeah. 50 of each are very, very exclusive. So, um, And I know that Ross, producer Roscoe um, has got your back in terms of the amazing savings. So um, I tell you what, should we, start, should we start bringing these graphics to end and then we can yes, dive into your uh, yeah. amazing demonstration. Yeah. So which one would you like to start with? Should we start with the flowers? That's, that does make sense, doesn't it, I suppose? So shall we start with that beautiful Rajasthan garnet? 
Oh, lovely. Um, yeah. Which I really yeah. like that one. So you've got the wonderful, perfectly colour matched Rajasthan garnet. It's totally and utterly natural. Um, and that adjustable ring, even down to the adjustability, if I can just grab this ring for a second, you can see, because you, you could, precious or oh, sterling silver being as malleable as it is, you could absolutely kind of separate it slightly, Claire. Mm. Yeah. Because I yeah. quite like my adjustable rings. Yeah, like definitely. Well, you've got lots of um, wiggle room almost, haven't you, to, to do that? Look at that. So beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's really elegant, so, isn't it? Very, very much so. Um, so you've got natural Indian Rajasthan garnet again. You can see the intensity, the beautiful, um, beautiful intensity and quality of the garnet there. I wonder if you can pass that over to me, Claire, so we can um, show it alongside the lovely kits. That's the one. I can tell by that wonderful, beautiful, hypnotic red. I almost said blue then. Not blue. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not blue. Um, so can you imagine seeing this piece of jewellery in a, um, in a, I don't know, high-end jewellers for £39.99? Definitely not. Not for the quality of the garnet. It was going to be significantly more than that. Look how intricate that. it is. It looks, yeah. yeah. It is. It's beautiful, isn't it? You have that amazing adjustability. Again, I like to separate so it almost uh, becomes part of the design, yeah. not just part of the function. Yeah. Um, we have 50 of each of the flowers. And again, shop ahead if you would prefer this version in the citrine, or maybe you want both of those. At £39.99, it's not your price point. Six perfectly calibrated uh, natural Rajasthan garnets to go alongside it as well. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And Claire will co uh, talk you through... Anything that you what? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, I can only just see. You it. sounded like you're about to tell Ross. Like, hey. Hey, Ross. No. Hey, no. now. No. 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 You just stop. No. He says it is done. You said that sounded like a line out of Lord of the Rings. It is done. <laughs> Roscoe. Um. That's not what it says here. No. And also, Roscoe, can you just explain? Does that apply? Yeah. Let's do it. How about we say make a price pledge, Claire? Across the board, the most intricate of your adjustable rings. Let's make a price pledge, shall we? How about £14.99 per adjustable ring. I think that's fantastic. I mean, some in, in, in a lot of places, I don't think you get the gemstones for that. You wouldn't get either or. That's true, that's actually. You're getting everything in there. So it's not you don't need to add in. And what and how I've set set mine. Oh, you've got a, um, there's a stone in the centre. Yes, yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah. One. Claire. It's beautiful, isn't it? Right, Absolutely yeah. beautiful. So I would also be looking at these as well. I mean, I would I would actually consider, I mean, there's nothing to stop you very, very carefully. If you wanted to get sort of sweets of these, you could manipulate that ring shank because it is open. Yeah. You could do other things with that. So there's nothing maybe to stop you from, if you wanted to file down, you could almost have like um, like a brooch pin or something yeah. as well. Yeah, oh, lovely. You think for like 15 pounds, that's incredible. That's absolutely brilliant. Hang on a minute. Simple. You could get, well, there's six different kits here. Just over 100 pounds, you can get pretty much all of them. Will you go away? What you? a collection. Like, uh, will you go, no, less. Of course, ninety pounds. <laughs> Terrible mask. Dan, l l love you and all, but can you go away with them? <laughs> love I'm ready. <sighs> which boss? Who? Do, which boss am I talking to about this? Are we ready? Which one? Are we, we're just doing it, yeah. Go on, this, this. Go on. Three, two, one. Oh, oh goodness me! Goodness me! Oh. Go. Yes, yeah, so there's a code. I'm glad you're bending down to get that because I can't. Oh, why are they oh. the most obscure codes are, ever oh, as well? They? Right, quickly, we need to. You, we need you to take a photograph of this if you got, or write it down. You get Dan Smolder in the background. Oh. There he is. Yeah, <laughs> very nice, Dan. Love that. Uh, T uh, T R M X L K. Now, what does this code win us? What is it? What? Oh, it's a mystery. Right, oh. okay. Okay, it's a mystery. Right, is this the last one now? These codes are very peculiar, though. And then you're just going to pop all the balloons, but that's just mean. It's just mean, that is. Are we ready? No. Ready? Three, two, one. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs>
Was it that one? Oh, oh, it oh I think it's that one. It's that, oh, one. that one. That's oh, sorry, it. my bad. There you go. Okay, ready? Ready for the smolder. Okay. Love okay. it. Ooh. So that's either 9IBPVO. Smolder, please, Dad. <laughs> smolder, smolder. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you put them in at the end of your order and you, you will win um, a surprise discount Ooh, of some sort. Don't that's know what exciting, it is. isn't don't it? Don't know what it is. We don't even know it's that much of a surprise. Amazing. Well done, everybody. There he ah, is. Gorgeous Dan, everyone. Yay. Keeps me in check, doesn't he? <laughs> Bless him, though. Can I just say, can I just say, he is so also very thoughtful because he was like, Al, is your back all right? Bless you. Yeah. He's lovely. Bless you. I don't get that from my husband, Dan, so thank you. No, I do really. I'm only joking, Dan, if you're watching. Um, okay, Claire. Right. So all of these are available. We will keep you updated on the quantities. How are we doing so far then, Roscoe? Um, have you got... Uh, Roscoe? How are we doing in terms of quantities of these? Ten left of the... Of the okay. Okay, let's bring you the citrine. Oh, so it's just the same, isn't it? Citrine. Same, but yeah. with citrine. Yeah. So you, it's, it's whether you want... I don't know. I'm not great with my flowers. I mean, can you imagine if you, could, if you were um, buying all of them, you could mix and match. Oh, £90, you, pounds, well. you can get all of them. It's pretty amazing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, nice. And you might have got a discount code yeah. as well. Yeah. So that's pretty amazing. And I've said it, they're all going to the same price. So no surprises here. £14.99 pence for that same adjustable... It's like a nice primrose, isn't it? Ah, primroses yellow? They, yeah, aren't they? No. They are, aren't they? Oh, yes, they are. Yeah. You can get... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they are. You can get yellow primroses. <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah. 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 Well, name primrose a red, yellow. Name a red one. A red flower? Mm. Dahlias? Dahlias are red. There you go. <laughs> Check us out. <laughs> Move over, Charlie. Come on, Mark. Where Move are you? over, Charlie. Char Charlie Dimmock. <laughs> Claire, <laughs> Claire and I are going to give you your horticultural expertise. No, don't, don't, don't get him from me. Nothing grows in my garden. Amazing. Well done. Fourteen ninety nine. Look at the call screens. This is for the citrine. So it says yellow flower. So obviously it's the citrine and the gemstone. And I didn't realise you get that lovely little dazzling white it's topaz beautiful, that goes isn't in it? the centre. Yeah. Fourteen ninety nine. We had fifty of them. Lots of multi buyers. Adjustable rings always are popular. But when um, in preparation for today, we were also talking about the fact that we haven't done um, anything anywhere near as intricate as these. So no, Claire, when never. you're ready, yes, yes, take you have it a look away. at them. Let's have a look. Okay. And so what I also think was really really nice with these is maybe if you are uh, new to jewelry making and you haven't actually made very much jewelry, so you haven't acquired loads of tools, it's, you can actually do these. I found these worked best with not not my my uh, prong pusher, I use my chain nose pliers with this. So if we have a look, so some of the uh, bit of troubleshooting, what you might find um, is uh, what I would do is I would test the stone in the setting. So I've just got a little bit of, of blue tack. Okay, just get, get that. So before you do anything, I would test the stone and your options maybe are if you find that it's the stone is maybe a little bit large or um, it's struggling to sort of sit in, in the seat. So a couple of things you could do. What I would say is not to, uh, very, very carefully, so you can move the, um, the adjustable bit out of the way. What I would do as well is just, if you find that the stone looks like it's a little bit large, you could take your chain nose pliers and just just check that that seat, not too much pressure, but check that it hasn't sort of curled in a little bit so you can open and flatten it out. That can sometimes um, have an effect. Or you can get one of your, um, your needle files. And, and if you watched the demo this morning, we talked about those. And you can just take a little bit, a little bit out here and here. So that's a bit of troubleshooting if you find it that it, that it doesn't, um, you're struggling to, to make it fit. So with these, what we've got here is, so it's, it's a prong, but actually what we've got in this section, so we've got a piece of, um, a piece of silver and in it is a little, uh, almost like a little triangle shape that's cut into it. And that's going to go, go over the, the point of the marquee is going to sit in there and sit in there. So with this one, it has actually, each stone has got two, two points um, that it will uh, secure the stone with. On some of them, on the butterfly, so the butterflies have got, uh, I think, one here, 
So one on each at the end of the stones and then one a sharing one here. So what you sort of do with those ones is you put them in and then I pushed this side they did these ones first and then that shared one to push over the top. So with these ones, I'm gonna pop that in. So I'm just gonna turn it round. Again, you're looking from all angles to make sure that it's sitting, sitting in there. So I'm just gonna turn this over. I'm just gonna start and just push some angling in, little moves and just push that down. And just again, come in from this side, make sure that the point is there. Take your time and push from that side. Okay. And do the same on this one. So let's bring this in. And we'll do the same there. So let's pop that in. Sorry, I have actually, what I would do before you set any of the stones, my mistake here is, so what I would do is I'd just test all the stones in all the, in all the settings. So uh, this one, I would have gone in, does, yes, it sits in that one, double check that it also sits in that one and vice versa, because you might find that uh, some of them sit a little better bit better. Yeah, but this one is actually fine. So luckily I'm all right with this. Okay, so I'm gonna hold here. Look at it from there. I'm going to get some little bit. I'm going to move that out just a little bit so I can access this area. And I'm going to go in and push that down. So I'm just using my chain nose pliers to just bring that round. And do the same on the other side. So I'm just going to push in and push that down. You can also use your burnisher too. You could rub that, rub it over as well. So let's bring that down. Try and get a little bit more pressure at that angle so it's pushing over, that's better. Okay, so now we set those. So again, just get my blue tack. So on this one, I will do that. I'll just test in both sides there. Okay, so I'm gonna go in there. Yes, it fits in there. Yes, it fits in there. So let's try this one. Yes, that's fine. And yes, that's fine in there. Okay, so we'll leave that in there. So you're gonna do exactly the same on this one. So I'm gonna hold here, push in. With some sort of angling at the, at the base, I'm putting some pressure down. So I'm pushing with a hard, uh, steel of my pliers onto that soft silver and just pushing in there, but I am making sure that it is caught in that setting there. So I'm going to do the same here. So I'll pick this up and I'm going to pop that in, in there. So just take your time with it because you've only got the two points there. Just make sure that it's sitting in. Push that down. I'm going to do exactly the same on this side. So sit it in. And we'll push down on this side. So like, you know, you can see how you get on. I, just, I did need to just move that just very carefully. Follow the curve of it, but just follow that round so that I can get in and access from the bottom. Amazing. You can see that. I mean, the gemstones are really, really beautiful. So beautiful. I love the sky blue. The sky blue really contrasts perfectly yeah. with that peridot, doesn't it? I can just bring that back round, and then that's going to sit there. Should we do that ring now? Should we bring that ring? To yeah, to it? yeah. It's lovely, uh, isn't it? <laughs> Um, amazing. Claire doesn't know what I'm laughing I don't know what you're laughing at. I'll tell you after. <laughs> Sorry, it's like trip up on the words. Um, anyway, uh, but your beautiful dragonfly, and they do have wonderful visions of blues and greens. They do, well, so they do, that iridescence, here. yes. Lovely yeah. combination. So yeah. let's do that one then, shall we, Roscoe? So the sky blue and uh, sky blue and the peridot. <laughs> 
<laughs> and of course, these are 925 <laughs> sterling silver. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. In Marquis cut, so I would actually expect these to I be know. Uh, slightly more expensive. Yeah. Uh, just because uh, the, we know that the Marquise is the most wasteful of cuts, therefore tends to command the higher price tag. However, here we are bringing it to you at £14.99. Love that. Everyone loves Beautiful. dragonflies. Yeah. yeah, they're wonderful, you aren't they? You hear them as well, don't you, dragonflies? Yes, they're, quite, they're quite chunky, aren't they? Yeah. And they bite. I've been bitten by a dragonfly. Have you? I, I was, yeah. Yeah, they do. It was on holiday. Well, I think it was a dragonfly anyway. I saw it fly off. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sure they do. I'm it's sure they do. Aren't they? Yeah, but you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll let it let, let it off. It's pretty. It's a pretty. It's a pretty yeah. uh, bug. <laughs> um, <laughs> amazing. We had just under a hundred of your uh, dragonflies, and again, likewise, you can shop ahead on the dragonfly in the sapphire. Um, so we got it in the blues as well. So I mean, they'd be really lovely worn together, almost sort of. Oh yeah, around. nice. So you've got. Yes. I don't know what we say. A group of butterflies is called a kaleidoscope. What's oh yes, a, I wonder what. What are a group they? Of of dragonflies. Dragonflies. Yeah. I'm not sure. Or are they solitary? Oh. Maybe solitary. Oh, I like to, to think of them having a... Having a pal. A little crew, yeah. Yeah, have a little crew. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Um, well done again. Lots of you are getting involved. Have you got any questions for Claire? You've still got time to do it. Goodness me, I've just noticed the investment of sterling silver in these. I guess if they're going to be adjustable, they need to have more sterling silver, yes. don't they? Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, because otherwise, you know, you, you, you wouldn't want it to maybe... Um, if it was finer, you might get brittle yeah. and snap. Yeah, you've got absolutely. No, it's, it's a lovely, lovely curve to it. So if I just open that up a bit, you can see there. That's beautifully finished, isn't it? Amazing. We had 100 of those available. Um, you can shop ahead. Let's go. Let's do the next uh, um, dragonfly, shall we? Can we Google what's a, what's a group of dragonflies or are they not in groups? I don't know. If I don't know, I think they're solitary, see? I don't know. I feel like I've only ever seen one dragonfly at a time. I might be wrong. Are we able yeah, to Yeah, maybe that? actually. Yeah. Oh, look at them together. See, they look <gasps> cute. Oh, look, look cute. at that. Stunning. Can we Google it? Oh, we're having a look as we speak. Oh, I love oh, that they together. they look beautiful. Look at the gemstones in there, aren't they? It's a swarm. Oh, it's not very romantic, Not is really. It? No, a, squ a swarm of dragonflies. Oh. I don't know, it'd be pretty though, wouldn't it? Very, very oh, pretty. That's very pretty. Well done. You know where it's going to. So this one actually includes the rose quartz, which Claire's actually holding alongside the previous, um, and rose de France. So, yeah, it's all about the beautiful, pretty mm. pastel pink colours. Um, yeah, I always think it's quite a privilege to see dragonflies. Yes. Yeah. Because they're slightly, yeah. they are, I don't know, we don't see them that often. No, we don't. Not in our neck woods. You probably do around Wootton Wowen. Hopefully I'm going to see some tomorrow when I'm doing the garden. It's like a jungle. Is it? Yeah. Good luck with that. Yes, <laughs> going to need it. <laughs> um, we had 100, but again, they're absolutely flying out the door. Congratulations. You can equally shop ahead on your butterflies. Um, we've got the two butterfly colours to bring you um, as well in these beautiful rings. So um, and mix and match them all together. I so think they really look pretty. lovely. Very um, summer vibe. Not in a million years does that look anywhere near, does it? What, what would that be together? £30. £30. Pounds. I know. Not... Not at all. You could probably solder those together. I was just thinking you? that, yeah. Before you before you set the stones, solder that. I mean, that looks like um, this looks a fabulous cocktail ring. Isn't love it? that. Absolutely love that. But I also like the fact that you could wear them as a midi, a midi ring. Yeah, so yeah. That well, that's are, the adjustable um, bit, isn't it? Yeah. So you'd have it like I've that. Worn it, yeah. Wear it up there, so they do look like they're dancing, don't they? Amazing. We have a hundred of these left. Congratulations. Loads of multi buyers getting involved. Yeah, we need to bring the other kits in as well because we've got the butterflies. Um, let's bring you the sapphire, shall we? Um, the sapphire butterfly. Oh, I love oh this. so that's this one here. Again. Pardon the pun, but they are flying out. Yeah, everybody loves butterflies. Well, I say that. Most people do. Most people. Yes. Yeah. Pretty, aren't they? So pretty and so delicate. And look at the gemstones in this too. I know. Sapphire is, is amazing. Genuine uh, genuine sapphire and blue beautiful black... Why can't I talk? <laughs> beautiful sky blue topaz. Sorry, I seem to have lost the ability to talk um, in the last half an hour. 
Amazing. Fourteen ninety nine. Well done, every single one of you. Again, you can get all or you can get all six of these for ninety pounds today, which is pretty oh, amazing. What a collection. Um, and the last of the um, of the beautiful adjustable rings. Each of these are adjustable. Um, so this one comes with the amethyst, purple amethyst. You're gonna put, you're gonna create oh, your own yeah. little kaleidoscope. Yes. What about mixing the butterfly with the dragonfly? Yes. Can we do that too? Ah, oh, Claire. Oh, look at them all. I might put that one actually on here. Look, yeah, let's see. Ah, oh, Claire. Um. A swarm and a kaleidoscope. Oh, I feel like a nice, nice summer cocktail now. That's what a I pims or something like that. Yeah, very nice, very yeah. nice, delicious. Um, fourteen ninety nine. Well done. So that's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. Sixty pounds for that on your hand. Sixty pounds. Um, and they are, of course, all genuine gemstones. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Again, make sure you do check out your baskets. Now, um, earlier on this morning, we launched this amazing strand of white topaz. I said it's faultless. There's nothing, nothing, nothing that I could do, oh. I could say, to make this better. It's impeccable as it is. Um, yeah, we had 522 initially. We've got how many? Less than 20 left. Okay, so over 500 of these have sold this morning. Um, I'm not surprised at all. Well done. And lots of multi buyers um, getting involved because it is one of those strands that I think you're gonna. I think if you only got the one, you'd probably regret just getting one because you we always need mm. colorless stones, especially yeah. of that amazing grade. Um, so, again, do make sure you check out your baskets on those. There still is opportunities, but just so you know, um, less than 20 of them remain. Uh, Sanchia, hello to you, Richard, Kathleen, Vera, hello to you, Deborah, Christina, Joyce, Wendy, London. I, I mean, already I've got two full rows of names now. Mm. Um, Claire. As always, love being with you. Aww. When you're back, um, I'm back on Wednesday. So oh, with us! Ah, oh, see, yay! You see Good you double there. dose yeah. of our lovely Claire McDonald. Um, I'm back with you now, bright and early in the morning. I'm rejoined by the lovely Susie, who oh, is brilliant. launching her collection. <gasps> very exciting! Oh, wonderful! Very, very exciting. And I'm also going to be joined uh, by wonderful Dave, launching brand new shapes and sizes of your Sakura Agate and that beautiful cashmere grey, uh, cashmere grey uh, jade bangle. So it's going to be amazing. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Thank you once yeah, again. We love you, you and we love you. Have a good day. Hello, jewelry maker.